All right, we are playing close in the drawer for the NES. Um, <laughs> and, it's an expensive uh, game. <laughs> yeah. And uh, as you can see, this is Ninja Gaiden. Not Gaiden, Gaiden for the NES. And I'm here with J-Man and Jeff from Street of Sega American. Uh, American. American. <laughs> America. And I'm this uh, is Sega, Indiana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Street of Sega, Waco. Uh-uh. Hey, Illinois is better than all you all. All <laughs> And this game is awesome to say the least, and it has awesome cutscenes as well. It does look pretty awesome. Oh yeah, and uh, this is the first video for this channel. Yes. Uh, thank, you, thank you, Skip Rogers. Now get out of here. Uh. <laughs> thank you for sending me out. Yes. <laughs> this game has awesome music as well. Yeah, uh, Ryan is reading the map right there, so we're going to be good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he made sure to make a map. And go to America and see the archaeologist, Walter Smith. Will Smith. <laughs> Ryu, 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 whatever, be always brave. I will get my revenge! You know... You know, I'm sorry, I never really played this game that much. I think Ninja Gaiden's better. So you can, I mean, not Ninja Gaiden, uh, Shinobi. So you guys can <laughs> yell at me if you want to. Oh yeah, I think Shinobi's better too. I think Ninja Gaiden is better than Ninja Gaiden as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, I know, I, I made a poo poo. And J-Man did part two of this of this game. Yes, please check it out. Everyone. Ninja Gaiden 2. Not, not Ninja Gaiden 1, part two of the video, but Ninja Gaiden uh, 2, the game. Correct. And we got boxers on the street trying to box the guy with a sword, okay? <laughs> we got blue turtles coming at blue turtle dog coming after me now. Wait, this is a little tiny in it, isn't it? No, this is no you think the Wrath of the Black Manta. Yeah, okay, I don't know why I don't think the guy. That's the game we definitely gotta commentate on the people. Yeah, they that works. Yeah. yeah, they got Beavis in the game, but anyway. This game is freaking hard. It looks freaking yes. hard. And me, the unknown, and Archangel did a low budget review of this over a year ago. Ah. Here's the boss, um, Donkey Kong in an armor suit or something. I don't know. Surprise the 13th. Yeah, and, and, and you fight, and you fight in the streets of Rage Bar. <laughs> I think I see Mr. White, he passed out back there. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. I have good news today. I found a missing shirt I haven't seen in six months. I found it. Oh, my mother found it. Sorry. <laughs> There's a lame bitch. So on the show is Jeff's mother. Yep. <laughs> say hi to Debbie, everybody. Hey, Debbie. Pretty say good mother. <laughs> Okay, and, and Elaine Bennis from Seinfeld just shot Ryu. Maybe the dingo ate your baby. Ow. Where? Where am I? I see the anesthetic is wearing, is wearing off. Give me more. Who would you? Shh. Don't make so much noise. I got a favorite ass of you. Escape. What is this? Dot dot dot. The statue. Question mark. Quotation mark. <laughs> Wait. Who, do, who are you? Wait, who are you? Shut up and leave. Did you try to kill me? No, you idiot. You're still alive. She just shot you with a tranquilizer dart. What kind of a ninja are you? It's Skip like Ace Ventura too. Skip Rogers ninja. <laughs> All right. Stage two one. We're at the limestone factory. Yeah, or as the announce said, we are killing all these construction workers on construction yeah. site. <laughs> Four I don't think the union's going to be happy, too happy with you. Yeah. Nine junior construction workers <laughs> stand between you and the foreman. Oh! oh. Thank you. They got you. No, the, I got myself. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. It's a hand hero. The pit got me. Ooh. 
Oh, those blue turtle dogs. What the heck are those things? I thought they were like humans when I was a kid. Look like just humans running around on all fours. But I don't yeah. know what they are. I guess so. There Get you right. Go. There you go. And those guys, they're like riot gear guys. This is very, this is a very dangerous environment to work in. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, they some, yeah. It's more, it's more dangerous than the episode of Walker Texas Ranger, that construction worker site. Yeah. <laughs> Where they were killing people that were threatened to, to snitch on them. Yeah. I miss Walker Texas Ranger. Ranger oh yeah. Just for the laughs. Yeah. It's, Storyline is so ridiculous. Yeah, they should have made a game of that. Yeah, that was oh, like, slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the Chuck Norris one-liners. Oh. Oh, Chuck Norris. We need to be in another movie where it's just killing people randomly again. Yeah. Oh, oh! Oh, uh, that was a close one. Yeah. I never beat this game to this day. The farthest I got is to the Jock Wheel. Yeah, it's pretty difficult. Yeah. This stage gets on my nerves sometimes. Ah, oh, dang it! How the enemies respond immediately when you have a certain part of the screen it gets on my nerves. Freaking Blair Witch Project woman right there. <laughs> you got GI Joes now. Yeah, commandos. What kind of world do you live in? I mean, you're just in a construction site. You come out and there's troops everywhere. Yeah, well, Iraq, right, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense actually. Got to get. Tough, yo, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I'm using the same lines that did low budget reviews. Did you hear about the Diablo movie? Yeah. I don't know what to say about it. I don't think I've seen the trailer yet. I heard about it though. It looks bad, but I can't say that it's bad. That's why I've seen it. I thought the new Punisher was gonna be bad, but it was real good. Not not the Warzone Punisher, but the one before that, the remake. Oh yeah, the, I love the yeah the that one with the John Travolta. That was a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. People make fun of that, but I liked it. Yeah. I didn't like Warzone, of course. Yeah. You got uh, uh, Winston from Ghostbusters there with the sword. Oh, he killed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I had the had, got you. I had the spin attack too, and I still failed. <laughs> Spinattack.com. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Blair Witch, watch out. Yeah, it looks oh. like the Statue of Liberty. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Sound like a uh, pinky. No, or no, I can't. Uh, now, jo Joey from Blossom is here with us. <laughs> Whoa, watch out! Whoa! Oh, uh, uh. Sloth now is with us. Uh. <laughs> Baby Ruth. All right, now fighting uh, some guy. Well, too bad you don't have magic power. You can just spin jump. Think yeah. Yeah. Oh, what good commentary that was. I'm fighting some guy. It's Rygar. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, no, Rygar is later on, if I get that far in the game. Oh, uh, uh, that like where you fight your dad or whatever? No, like... These oh, generic five, three, I think. I yeah, know. the generic game is keep throwing the prisoners at you. Yeah. Yeah, they're in part two as well. Grr. Yeah. <laughs> Grr. 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 <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> as the announce said, it's a brawny guy. <laughs> I'm gonna give I'm gonna I'm gonna give credit for those lines. I don't wanna feel like I'm stealing them. It's uh it's Denny Moore. Denny Moore's beef stew. Oh crap. <laughs> or the Gordon Stisherman. Now notice here. <laughs> <laughs> notice here in a minute, um, they get to it. But uh regarding Ryu's dad's name. Yeah, Ken okay, Ken and I the Ken is Ryu's dad. Right. Now think about it. Ryu and Ken. Hmm. What well, sounds familiar? What games were those names in? Uh, hmm. I wonder. Um, After Street Fighter, so yeah, I wonder coincidence or not. Plagiarism. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a Predator statue now. Yeah. 
The Demon statue possesses enough evil power to destroy an entire nation. Demon? Yeah, well, I know I know a guy named Demond, but it's, it's spelled like demon, but with a D at the yeah. end. Demond, it's not. It's demon. <laughs> <laughs> demon hey, D. How's, how's it going, demon? <laughs> wait, 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 Shinobi? This is, this is Ninja Gaiden. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. even they have to copy off of Shinobi before it even was made. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's the double dragon on the sword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man, this guy talks too much. Shut up, old man. Kill the old man. Go catch me a fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, old man, uh, we're running out of time here in the video. Make it quick. Hurry up. Well, is it two <laughs> statues now? That makes no sense. Okay, he's not going to shut up. We have to finish this in part two. See you guys later. Later. Okay. Lawless and Ninja. The Green Lantern. <laughs> what the? What the? It's I a trap. After it's him. Andrew Jackson. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Jackson. Woo! I am for real. And, oh yeah, uh, welcome to part two. I am here with the J-Man, Jeff, and Green K, a.k.a. Gunstar Hero, a.k.a. Who Cares? Basically, <laughs> too many names. A.k.a. Who Gives a Shit? <laughs> um, you said the S word, uh... <laughs> no cussing club! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I'm sorry. This is yeah. been removed by McKay Hash. Wow. I hate these <laughs> damn birds. Oh, what it won't go away. Stupid turkeys. Oh, no, here's a Contra Snowfield now. Oh, yeah, but it's lacking something. It's lacking the trees that throw grenades. Yeah. The Anchor Drugs Bombs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most random comment ever. Um, Here's a witch now, throwing stuff at me. I hate these freaking birds in Ninja Gaiden. Oh, watch out. Swarm you. There's, there's like the most random enemies in this level. You got birds, you've got GIs, you've got these karate guys, you've got witches. Football players. Really a, yeah. Yeah. Really <laughs> Football players in army suits coming after you. You know they weren't sober when they made this. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. They must Anthony. cheat him in? <laughs> uh -huh, he killed himself. <laughs> Cheetahs are stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here's... <Don't> the cheetah. <laughs> yeah. Here's the boss of stage three. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh. oh, you died. He's dead. Oh, starting over. I'm not good at this game. I did almost beat it when I was a kid, but I haven't played this game in a long time. As you can see, still not that very good. Pretty rusty right now. Rusty. Rusty now. <laughs> Freaking bird. Actually, to be honest, when I saw those green witch-like things, I actually thought it was the lizard from Spider-Man. <laughs> Birds or eagles, wherever they're... Ugh, watch it! Why? No. They're turkeys! <laughs> Whoa. Uh-huh. Yeah. Chester Cheetah. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, he has an obsession with jumping off of pits. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He oh. ran out of Cheetos. <laughs> uh oh. No, you don't know. Know. You got all that mana now, all that magic power. What? I'm hitting the bullets. You can jump over bullets. I don't think you can jump over these. You can't kick bullets with your bare feet. What? A man, come on! I hit those pellets. Man, watch out! <laughs> oh, they didn't count this. That's a conspiracy. It didn't touch you. Da, da, da. Oh, oh, it's uh, fake too. Start all over. Are we playing Star Tropics? <laughs> <laughs> 2D Star Trop <laughs> Tropics, except yeah, you're a ninja now. That makes it cooler. Yeah, and yeah, you still can't swim. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can't swim in that game. I forgot about that. No swimming. No swimming allowed. It's called death water. 
What? It's poisonous. Oh, you gotta get it this time. You got like the whole level memorized. <laughs> yeah, and I got full energy, almost. Yep. 46 MP. I think I'll keep doing this. Yeah, there you go. I like how that's working. Spam him. What? Punch the teams. Chop his kneecaps. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't even tell what that is. What are you fighting? Uh, I think I'm fighting a Mexican and bison with a sombrero on his back or something. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. The uh, Rock. That was like the first Vega. <laughs> yeah. The first ever Vega. Yeah. Another Street yeah. Fighter 2 reference. You got Ryan Kim, so why not? Vega, yep. Bison. Dr. Smith! Why is his face gray? Why, why did he almost make like a dirty joke here like your father and I? Um, yeah, we kept each other. I'm like, that's not what you were saying. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like he put on makeup. Yeah. Well, the guy got him, killed him. Whatever we do, we've got to stop it. Stop it. We gotta stop anything that's evil. Come on now. Got to get tough. Yo, jump. <laughs> I love that uh, picture frame in the background. Yeah. That's got one picture in his old house. Yeah, that's revolutionary graphics right there. Yeah. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Uh oh. Come with us. Oh, oh God, it's Hogan's Alley. We're the Blues. Yeah. <laughs> We're the Blues Brothers. What? Since yeah. Was three. Act IV. Oh, it's the dad from Punky Brewster. It's Punky Brewster's dad. <laughs> oh, it's Skip Rogers. <laughs> no. It's the CIA. Oh, I knew they no, were always up to no good. But they're ninjas. I knew the CIA <laughs> owned the house for imaginary friends. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know why you killed him. to see his imaginary friends. That's why you killed him. We didn't kill him, but we'll fill you in on what we know. You're a liar. That's Mr. Rogers, actually. Yeah, Mr. Rogers was the head of the CIA. In the upper reaches of the Amazon, some ancient rumors were discovered. Uh, I bet that sound nothing like him. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Africa? It's, it's, the temple was built more than 2,000 years ago. No way, that is no. Skip Rogers. Look, he's telling us to make a map. I would say, Rob, you know, the Amazon is in South America. Everyone should know that. That's Africa right there. No, that's South America. Yeah, Oops. that's South Africa. He's going to send us to the wrong place on purpose. I guess I should have... This is a furry ever. Instead of making a map, I should study a map. That's probably what you should do, yes. Be sure to study a map. <laughs> Bash yeah. drink your old team. Bash reflexes help too. <laughs> What's Batman doing in this game? Exactly. I was just like, that doesn't look. That looks more like Batman. Yeah. Except in purple. Therefore, evil spirits are supposed to be held in the statue you have. Uh. I look like a boss. Mother brain. Or that it should be. Everybody wants your statue. <laughs> It was it's not worth that much money, damn it. Jacquio. I thought it was Jacquio. I could never say it when I was a kid. Jacquio. Is that what you say? Dot, dot, dot. You know those crazy French art dealer criminals? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These were the last... You take my consult? What? What? Yeah, did you say something? Croissant. Who's Chris Salt? Wait, moving on. Okay, uh... So you know about that? That Chris Saul? Who's Chris Saul? 
The woman, the woman shot, shot you in the bar was one of our agents. They are after you. Boo. That's how he talks. Use this and go to the headquarters. Get the demon statue back from him. Skip is not even shiny. Skip Rogers do does not talk like that. Skip Rogers doesn't talk like me because he's not cool. <laughs> Am I talking to Beavis? It's awesome. <laughs> awesome. If I say no, you know the answer to that. Brick roll to death. Ooh, don't say no to Skip Rogers. <laughs> don't mess with you, Hey, you will get Rick rolled. <laughs> never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. All right. You should make that as the third part of the video. Yeah, and this is the end of part two. See you guys in part three. Yay. All right, stage four of one. Oh man. Oh. Oh crap. Game over already. Yeah, that was quick. Freaking GI Joe. GI oh. Joe. There we go. Dang, they're coming after you everywhere. Ambush. The fourth level is tough. Yeah. Maybe Skip Rogers should do a tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little Skip Rogers in all of our playthroughs. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. Didn't work out that time. Yeah. Yeah, they come out the word work. Would work. Yeah, the spin attack. Yay, spin attack. Spin attack dot com. I already said that in the video. Yeah. Spur attack. <laughs> I'm getting stable. Wah wah wah. Excellent. Most excellent. All right, climb the railroad tracks. All right, here's some ECW action right here. One of the cheapest moves in the game. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can... Run right into him. Yeah, just run off the cliff. I, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> All right. Now we are about to play Castlevania. This is Ron Moore along with J-Man and Jeff from Strictly Sega. <laughs> hey, wait. We are about to play Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I love this level. Yeah, I love the song. Yeah, this is probably my favorite level of the whole game. Yeah. I just I like the way it looks too. It's yeah. Just, and it's quick too, it's not a long level. Maybe it's because the one you die on? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> They're throwing cigarette butts at me. What? Ah. Yeah. Oh. They're like big french fries. Right here. Watch out for the bats. Yeah. Oh, wrong! I get the energy. Uh, yeah, I guess this is the one that you die on. Oh man, yeah. Enemies everywhere. Oh, more French fries. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, Make it run fast. The jack o, uh, the jack -o heads. <laughs> yeah. Say <Is that> Halloween. <laughs> it's frightful. Oh, those pigeons. Urgh. Yeah. Eagles, pigeons, whatever they are, give my freaking nerves. And they, they take like three health in this game. Yeah. Fortunately, in the next one, in Ninja Gaiden 2, they only take one health. That's yeah. Cool.
Oh, what? Where'd he come from? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I do not right. like this level. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Hardest level in the game. No. Yeah. No, it only gets <laughs> worse. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Balrog now. Yeah. And that guy. Oh, it's a cheap shot. It's uh, Fonzie from Happy Days. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Okay. <laughs> that was Fonzie with Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you started with that. Uh, hey, hey. E e e e e e e e <laughs> All right, uh, Ryu now. Yeah. Got that kick. Gaiden kick going on. Ooh. Ooh, Blanca now shooting at me. Alright, foil power. Get your foil. Oh, oh! oh. Jason got gotcha. you. Game over, no! <laughs> Game over, no! Yeah. And then you get the yeah the riot gear guy SWAT team. Yeah. Dang, dang it! Get the items. Yeah, I had a problem with that too. Uh, they're just you have to be kind of exact on those. Yeah. Oh. Close. Did it work? Oh, oh, oh! Use your ninja power. <laughs> Use your ninny power. <laughs> your Chris, ninja uh, power. Beverly Hills Ninja? Did I say ninja? I meant ninny. Haru, you're such a ninny. Nice. You're my hero. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Cody laughed. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> No way, dude! You got owned. <laughs> you got, you got owned. owned. Hey. Oh, Jason Voorhees and Ryu down there. Or Ken, or... Oh. One Blanca. Now we're fighting two Blancas with, uh... Scoliosis. <laughs> we're bringing on. Yeah, these guys are tough. Yeah. Bring it on. This is the fourth level, so it's tough. Yes. They shoot bubblegum at you. <laughs> yeah. It's the fourth level of it's the fourth stage of the fourth level, so this is real tough. Yeah, I think only one of them you can injure. Injure? I forgot. I'm, I'm just swinging. Oh, oh man! Don't die now. You're in trouble. Yeah. Oh, you might pull it out. Oh, oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right. One more hit. Yes. Good ECW. ECW. That was very ECW. Uh oh. It's Mr. Jacquio again. Jacquio. Jacques Cousteau. No. <laughs> yeah. like Do you know what you're saying? What? What was that about? Come what? On, do you know what you're saying? I don't know what I'm saying! What? <laughs> you, you coward! Now, put down the demon statue on the floor, and back up. Nice work! I guess this is goodbye. Have a okay. nice day! Is that Come McFoley back. talking? <laughs> yeah. Have a nice day. <laughs> uh, take take the girl out of the way. It's going to be a sacrifice. <laughs> 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 it's mine. Tonight is the night of rebirth which comes once every 700 years. I need some voice acting lessons. Um. 
The world would be soon be mine. Ha ha ha. And look at this. <laughs> and also, the office is on later tonight. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. He just gets right in your face there and starts laughing even louder. Yeah, it's like back up or take some breath mints. Back up or <laughs> shut up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, watch out for more. Bone soldiers. APGN is right. Bats and video games everywhere. Boo, haunted house. Kick that bat. Punch that bat. <laughs> Punch those spiders! Oh, yeah, punch them. <laughs> hey, there was a, a midget gorilla a minute ago. <laughs> I think there's another one here coming up. Rygar. Ooh. Yeah, there, yeah, there's a Rygar. <laughs> Bowling guy, it's Al Bundy down there. <laughs> <laughs> love and marriage, love and marriage. A oh, pig. <laughs> there, yeah, there was Ninja Gorilla. Yeah. Oh. oh. All right. Well, we'll try again in part four. See you guys later. Yay! All right. Five one again. Stupid bats. What are these hey, things? What was that? What are they person monies? Monies? Mummies. What's you a lummy? Mummy. Oh, mummies. Okay. I thought you said lummies. Like, what? Uh, lemming? Lemming? Yeah, lemming. Lemming. They would just die. Oh, Rygar again. Uh, yeah. How about you? Suicide ninjas. Gorilla, uh, gorilla midgets. Yeah. What are those things? Uh, they're like jack o' lantern heads. Oh. <sighs> if you can't beat it, jump over it. Yeah, I don't like this level either. It's uh, tricky. Oh man. Tricky pitfalls. Oh man. Uh oh uh, uh oh. Good job. I got the spinattack.com. Ah. Oh. oh crap. Yeah, gone. What? Well, I had. Yeah. Oh. My eagles now. I keep saying eagles, like eagles are, I don't know, owl or bird or something. Maybe it's an eagle, I don't know. They're called turkeys. Well, sometimes they'll fight turkeys. Oh. Turkey, like the country turkey. Yeah, that's... Turkey. Oh, oh it's Turkish. Alright, I'm almost there. Yay! Oh. There's a barking! Whoa. Oh. Oh man, I hate this part. Oh, this is really hard. I don't know how you're gonna do this. No, White Eagle, no! <laughs> White Eagle from Walker Texas Ranger. <laughs> when the doves cry. Oh, barely made. Oh no, it's even harder. Yeah. Then at the end of this level, you uh, fight your dad. I believe. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I thought you don't fight your dad until after you beat the, the nose. Yeah, yeah it probably is. I don't know. I haven't uh, got this far in this game in a long time. Well, you fight them all in this stage. Yeah, like some think... guardian or something. I think he's the one that killed your dad or something. Yeah, and then he tells... I think he says that he's alive or something. Yeah. Ah! Oh. Game over. Game over, yeah! <laughs> and right here, I was contemplating on whether I should continue or not, because I was real frustrated. <laughs> I 
Okay, one of these boxers trying to box. I mean, does the Jacquio have boxers working for him? I mean, come on. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they'd be hanging out at like some desecrated shrine temple. Yeah, I can see them like in, in the first stage when on the street or something, but. I mean. You got the Rocketeer. Yeah. There's actually there's a video game of the Rocketeer, right? Yeah. Any yeah, good? No. Uh. <laughs> Come on, man. It, well, it's horrible. I don't know what you want me to do about it. <laughs> I can't change it. It was made in 91. You go back in time. Yeah, I'll have to go back in time to stop it from happening. Yeah. Oh, that helped a lot. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Aw. Oh. That's so stupid in video games. I don't care if it's just a game. You don't have to be 100% realistic. That's stupid. When enemies respawn out of nowhere. I mean, use a little more logic. I mean, if this is the video game spawn, haha, I get it. But, you know, it's not. Yeah. Well, stop spawning. With one bar of life left. Yeah. yeah. Major gorillas, white eagles, cigarette butt throwers, fry guards, cigars, whatever. Cigars. Ah, you fell off. Uh -oh. Freaking Dr. Jekyll down there. <coughs> oh, hurry, 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 go up there. Oh, oh. oh man. Uh, no. Uh, Freaking Castlevania midgets. Okay, I'm done. Wah, wah, wah. The midgets are making a Castlevania movie, and it's the same guy made the Resident Evil movie, so God help us all. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. What about Ninja Gaiden? Oh, they're extra crowded over there. I uh, don't know anything about Ninja Gaiden, but I'm sure they'll turn it into a movie eventually. Yeah. Most. Well, he's telling the truth. I'm never going to get past him. Yeah. Especially, I don't have the spin attack. Crap. <laughs> I'd, probably, I'd probably laugh at that guy. He just looks so ridiculous. Yeah, but he'll kick your butt. That's true. Do you know my father? I am your father. I oh, never know my father! Yeah. Whoa. Ow. Taking on a crazy fireball guy. How are you supposed to evade the fireball? I don't know, he just ends it. He just can't miss him. Ah. He can't hit or hurt him very quickly, so yeah. He's not really fighting like a man anyway, he's using magic. Yeah, I know. He's throwing my well, well, so does Ryuk sometimes anyway. I can keep the firepower attack to get to him. I think I have much better luck. Uh, hey, freaking Rocketeer Ninjas! Oh. One more try. At least I'll start me over it. 5-1, like in the stage 6, when you lose to the Jockey over whatever, you start up with 6-1. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot, Star Trek. Damn you, Star Trek. <laughs> oh, man. Put the hands on me. Ah. Yeah, they're relentless. Yeah. It's like telemarketers and creditors. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! This is as hard as the arcade game. Ninja Gaiden arcade game. Probably. I didn't know this arcade game, Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you, you put in quarters, and but every time uh, you put in a quarter, you get, like, two lives, and you have to... Uh, when you continue, it takes you back to a certain point. 
Oh. So it's not like you can just keep going through like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know. That's kind of dumb. Yeah, it's hard. Ah, good glitch. Yeah. There's a skip tip right there. <laughs> Watch out! You jump on bullets. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out for bats. <laughs> they could drive you batty. Oh. Oh man. One more. Uh oh, who are those guys? Those yeah, guys. Uh, platoon. Oh. Game over. Well, that's it. And that does it for the Ninja Gaiden city c cities. What Ninja yeah. Gaiden series here on the SCTK channel? I'm so frustrated. I can't talk right now. The game's freaking frustrating, but it is a great game. It'll just uh, cause you to have some hair loss. <laughs> uh, but with that said, that is it for the commentary. You guys have anything to say before we go off? Um, Ninja Gaiden is uh, not as good as the second one, but much better than the third one. I'd rather be playing Shinobi. Yeah, me too. But Ninja Guy, definitely a great game. I give it 8 out of 10. Yeah. All right, so that is it. I'm Ron Moore. And J-Man. I'm Jeff. See y'all next time. Later. Hey, guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is Wrath of the Black Manta for the NES by the greatest gaming company in the world, Tato. Potato. Potato. Potato, yeah, whatever they're called. And yeah. I'm joined by the J-Man, J-Man 46241. What's up? At least this game isn't as bad as Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Yeah, but that's the, the you know, that, that'd be hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the story on is, children are vanishing from the streets of, rage, oh, the streets of New York City. Some people that think that the kids are being kidnapped, but the police and FBI have no leads. Parents are afraid to let their kids out, go outside. In this case, everybody saw. Now, this game really ain't that bad, but it. When I was a kid, it's what, like just like with you in 3D World World 3D Runner. You liked it when you was a kid, but when you got older, you're like, mm, man, this ain't as good as I remember. <laughs> this ain't as good as I thought it was. Yeah, I, I didn't even like this as a kid. Okay, here's the first thing. Okay, the phone just rang, and he picked it up, and now his master's at the door. But yeah, I'm like, I thought they were the phone. You got a, who's that, Mr. Miyagi? Uh, it looks like an old woman, but yeah. I think it's just an old master, uh, he, uh, an old man, his master, an old man with George Costanza hair. That's great. <laughs> uh, it's Dr. Philly. But at the be beginning, the phone's ringing, and I guess he's supposed to be asleep in the middle of the night, but he has his ninja outfit on. Yeah. He just sleeps in it. Yeah. <laughs> and the music is very bland at best. Oh, uh, here's another hard to understand part. The kid left a clue while he's being kidnapped. How, do, how did he get a pen? I guess he had a pen and paper handy and he wrote down a note real quick. Yeah, he had them on you. Kids, be sure to have a, a pad of paper and a pen on you at all times. Be sure to make a map. Yeah. Fast reflexes help too. <laughs> and his name is Taro. I guess they wanted to have a, a, a unique name instead of John or Joe or whatever. Taro. I seen it. I seen that guy's face right there. Like, I beat this game a long time ago, but I forgot what it looked like, and I really care. Yeah. Part one: New York City. Out of the shadow. The man in red. Lady in red. No, uh. Hey, he just jumped right in my arm. Whoa! Hey, hey, listen up, man. 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 It's Luigi. <laughs> it's Beavis' dad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And he lets him go. Oh, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> the note said he knew something. He didn't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, and he lets him go. Yeah, that's a tough interrogator right there. Yeah. Okay, sorry, sir. Here you go. Here's $5. Yeah. 
This is like a watered down Ninja Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. Way it's watered like, down. Kind of like Double Dragon 2 and Ninja Gaiden and something bad mixed in. He jumps right to my arms again. <laughs> hey, watch it. Oh, man. <laughs> You're involved in the kidnapping. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> but it knows, man. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you, dot 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 dot. Then let me go! <laughs> <laughs> okay, help the kidnappings, man. A uh, little known fact, I actually did a low budget review of this game in 2007, when, one of the first videos I ever did, but I took it down. It's one of the lost episodes. And it's, back then, it was a low-budget review I did I did by myself. A series of videos I did by myself called low-budget reviews, and it was mainly Let's Plays rather than reviews. But I took it down for poor quality, and so it's not my first time doing this game on YouTube. And it's just made its dramatic return. Yeah. <sighs> Man, this music is ugh, so boring. That's why I didn't like Tato or Taito, Potato, Potato, whatever they're called. Because I, I don't like games like Renegade and, and, and uh, yeah, many Renegade that comes to mind. Give me a bad taste in my mouth as far as Tato's concerned. But Wrath of the Black Mancha, I did kind of like when I was a kid. But yeah, it's like, today I'm like, no, this ain't good. It is not. Hey, let go of me! Man, I, I discovered this game when I was a kid when... I think my friend's brother bought it at a pawn shop or something. We all played it, and we liked it, but <laughs> it was definitely no Ninja Gaiden. That was around the same time I played Ninja Gaiden as well. Yeah, it was called around the same time. Okay, he said, Beaver said it's a big organization. What's the name of this organization? <laughs> Google. I don't know. <laughs> Google. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, this dude, I'm told, man. <laughs> Yeah, this game might have been better if it if it had more enemies and stuff. It just it seems like it's like the same two or three guys. Actually, this game wouldn't. Be, this is what Dirty Harry should have been. I mean, yeah. I don't know if you played Dirty Harry for the NES, but oh yeah, game, this is a this is a lot like Dirty Harry. Well, this is much better than Dirty Harry. I mean, this game has much better controls at least, and it just yeah. Uh, uh, this what it's Dirty Harry is confusing. This is what Dirty Harry should have been, and they could have made Dirty Harry pretty good by making it like this, but still much better music and cutscenes. Oh yeah, cutscene. Wow, this game really is a watered-down version of Ninja Gaiden. These cutscenes are lame. All you see is the faces. You don't see like the background where they're at, and no cool music during the cutscenes or whatever. It's just a lot of them are just uh, silly because the, you ask the guys, and they say basically the same thing. Yeah. They're not really giving any clues. So it's like, what's the point of having so many of them? Yeah. And they all, all look the same. Yeah. Well, in different levels, they look different. Uh, level 2, they, I know for sure, it's been a long time since i played this game, but level 2, the guys you interrogate look different. Oh, uh, okay. So level 1, they all look the same, but level 2, they have different face. I don't think I ever played this past the first level. <laughs> I beat this game when I was a kid. I had to get help from Nintendo Power, I think, or somewhere, because there's a tricky way of beating the last boss. You got. To... Why are you kidnapping kids? Because I'm Michael Jackson. Oh, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> this video's been taken down. Uh... <laughs> We're making jokes that are too uh, too raunchy, too soon. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got all these guys in these uh, 70s outfits, these jean jean jackets and polyester pants. Yeah, see, this is a 70s game. Yeah, they got those uh, bell bottoms, yeah, bell bottom pants on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. John Travolta's. Yeah. <laughs> what? Whoa, who is that? That's supposed to be a kid. That's like a woman sitting on a couch trying to flirt with Santa. Looks like Marcy from Married with Children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it looks like a little kid trying to put on a jacket or getting ready yeah. to flirt with a manta, but... Anyway... <laughs> well, she's flirting with him. Yeah, well, we're running out of time here. We'll see you guys in part two. Later. And welcome to part two. And we're still talking with Marcy from Married with Children. 
and uh, Al Bundy dressed up in a ninja costume. Uh, yeah. And I'm here with the J-Man, J-Man 462 for 195. Yo. <laughs> Good enough. Hurry up, Marcy Darcy. Actually, at first she was Marcy Rhodes, and then she got remarried to uh, Jefferson Darcy. Yeah. Anyway, back to this game. Another map. <laughs> Our letter. More 70s guys. Yeah, that 70s guy. Yeah. All right, I, I got a life. Oh. I got boxes and stuff. Yeah. Well, I've been told to get a life. But anyway. She's back. What's the matter? Are you all right? It's the same kid. <laughs> yeah, you just rescued me, remember? Leave me alone. <laughs> Ooh, the black mamba. All right. Stop getting kidnapped. I'm tired of rescuing you. Hey, yeah. Uh, those 70s guys. I don't know how the heck I get up there. Whoa. Yeah. I guess there's no art of jumping high. <laughs> what was that? The art of... Whoa. That's all the, the art of a shadow or something like that. And here's the kid again, same kid. Try to put on a jacket. I think the kid works for the enemies. He's trying to uh, distract us from saving the real children. Yeah. I think this game really was aimed toward children. This is a public service announcement for not using drugs. More of this lame music, which is in every single stage in the game. When they hurt, I mean, wouldn't have killed them to put different music in, or at least you know I don't know Ninja Gaiden and Contra, they have uh, some of the levels have same music again, but not in every single level. You know they change it up. Yeah, it sounds like it was just a this is a quick uh, release. Just to get quick, something there. Yeah, quick cash in to tell. People tell kids not to use drugs. Yeah. Don't do drugs, kids. And fight the same enemies and save the same people and yeah. strangle the same guy over and over and over again. Tiny. Actually, just like the enemies change in different levels, the kids change too. It's just there's so many, like, from this first level, it's like, oh. Except for stages four and five, they stay the same. It's weird, but anyway, here's Tiny. Oh, I remember this. Uh, King Kong Bundy. Yeah. <laughs> and not much of a boss, but all he does is jump after you and make the bricks fall and try to hit you. Not hard at all. Cheers. Got a big beer gut. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like he's trying to shoot you with his fingers. I don't know what he's doing, but anyway. It's into part one. That's uh, Dr. Wiley again. Oh uh, yeah. Or Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. <laughs> All right, invisibility and spider. Make good use. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's the bad guy. Whoa! It's like uh, Joe Pesci or something. <laughs> what? The tiny has been defeated. His name is El Toro. Oh. Don't they make like uh, lawnmowers or something? I don't know. Uh, lawnmower. 
Not rum mowers, but <laughs> mowers. Then you gotta beat these uh, flying carpet men to obtain their flying carpets and then fly on them. There we go, devil ninjas. Oh yeah. As I fight the green lanterns. Yeah. More of the same bland music. It's nice to see new enemies, but I'm sure here in a minute or two, I'm gonna be, we'll be used to them again. Oh uh, yeah. This reminds me of Mario Brothers too. Oh yeah, that one stage where you're jumping on the birds. Yeah. I think he's in the World Six. Yeah. Four or five, I don't know. Five or six. Whoa. Whoa! He's like a cat. Yeah. Hands on his feet. Whoa, yeah. what the... Now, now, we're, now we're playing Double Dragon. <laughs> that looked like those uh, quick beams from Mega Man 2. Whoa! Yeah. Yep, that guy's on drugs. Yeah, definitely. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the open warrior. <laughs> Let me go. I'll give you some meth. Please. To jump in the world, Hulk Hogan! <laughs> now the same enemies again. Ugh. Great. But they're jean jackets. Yeah. Ooh, it's the exit. Push it up, man! He really is on something. This game's about drugs and he's on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know! No man, let me go man! <laughs> what? <laughs> is that, that kid that, from Growing Pains? That kid is old? <laughs> that, that can't be a kid, there's no way. That's gray hair. That's like a radio disc jockey. That's Michael Landon. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, in elementary school, I saw a kid with black hair who had a patch of gray. I don't know what's going on there, but anyway. Now I went to high school with somebody that was almost fully gray-headed, pretty much. It's, I guess people get gray-headed real early in life. It's weird, anyway. Ugh! <laughs> Relax, man. <laughs> I can't. I need my fix. Give it up, buddy! We already control Japan, and the rest of the world isn't far behind! Whoa. Our truck running operation is almost complete. <laughs> I think this game's having an effect on you. <laughs> no, that's actually how the Ultimate Warrior talked in his interviews, remember? Yeah, I remember that, the college kids one. That was scary. I'm talking about this wrestling uh, promo. His, his uh, wrestling yeah, dude. when he do little things with Gene. He would snort and rah, and all that stuff. And this guy's in the game is snorting something. <laughs> so now we have to go all the way back. Yeah, I mean you can't run in this game. You can't like push four two times and run. I mean it's a slow process. Got more quick man beams. Yeah, use your freeze power. Finally, some more new enemies now. Ooh, a, a green colored guy. Yeah. Wrath of the Green Manta now. Yeah. Oh. Watch out for watch out for the pipes. As we rescue Michael Landon again, and we are out of time, we'll see you guys in part three. See ya. Hey guys, welcome to part three. This is Ron Moore, along with We Got 309. Yo! Whoa! <laughs>
Okay, and more uh, action-packed Wrath of the Black Manta and trying to beat up these crackheads on here. Uh, I see. Even though I never, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. It, uh, well, have you ever played this game? No, and I forgot to watch the last two parts. This is like a watered-down Ninja Gaiden. Oh, I can definitely see why that. And one of the things you do in this game is you interrogate these people, the guys in red, like the guy just talked to you, and yeah, it's <laughs> the cutscenes are stupid. I mean, definitely not cutscenes from Ninja Gaiden. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, this guy, these guys, you can interrogate. You gotta grab them, and then yeah, they. <laughs> okay, yeah, they got a weird eight bit face. Yeah, and depending on what level you're in, their faces look different. So all the red guys in this level look like that, and yeah, that guy's definitely coked up. And this game is about, I guess, the war on drugs. War on drugs. These kids are being kidnapped, and the Black Manta has to save them and stop this uh, evil drug organization. And here's one of the kids I rescue. That's not a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like it's a, is. A, according to Tato, that's a kid. That looks like a 40-year-old man. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, he has a, that's a, actually Solid Snake. He has accelerated aging. Hey, shouldn't you be getting back to your band, The Doors? Because he looks like a member from one of them. <laughs> yeah. And what's funny, well, if he's the Black Manta, why, why the hell is he purple? Purple purple ninjas, that's not threatening. Yeah, I was going to say that uh, uh, a while back in like part one or two. He's called the Black Manta, but he's wearing purple. See, I guess they wanted the players, Tato wanted the players to actually see him, because if he's black, it means he's invisible and you can't see him. Oh, well, I, I can't think of the logic behind this game. Captain, the Soviet Union, and we all of Western Europe, we are now going to, into South America. Yeah. yeah, that probably sounds like him. This isn't. This stage is in Japan. Oh, what's this? Do you control? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. IDK. Yeah, and there's some people in here where he go, all right, all right, I'll talk, and uh, they go, tell me. He goes, tell me everything you know, and the villain goes, I don't know anything. I swear. <laughs> What? It's like, I'll tell you something, but I don't know anything. When I was a kid, I liked this game, but uh, now I'm like... What? It's sort of like obscure a bit. What am I think? What was I thinking when I was a kid? Uh, this is a game as bad as Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. It's as bad as that? No, it's not as bad as that. No, I mean, this game looks like, you know, it's probably acceptable, but it's no, like, you know, Ninja Gaiden, of course. Yeah, but well, this is an actual game where you do gameplay, unlike Plumbers. Plumbers. Ah! Get up! Alright. Yeah, this game's Thanks. pretty popular. It's the most pirated game right now. Nah, mm, that's good music. I kinda like it. Yeah, this is the only music in, on all the stages. Oh, pfft. Well, I kinda like it. Nah, I don't like this music that much. Just a little bit. I mean, it's not, you know... It's just, all, it's just okay, that's all. Just an okay, whoa. Oh, there's, there's two of them on top of each other. The boss of stage two. It's a, it's a, oh, what are those things called? Uh, Start with a T. Totem pole. Yeah, totem poles. Trying to Come on, ninja power, ninja, ninja. Trying to use my ninja art to win right here, but I'm failing. Yeah, because you just got, oh, pff, nice. Yeah. Come on, you're supposed to be a ninja. Well, then again, purple ninjas aren't probably the best. This game actually came out the same year as Ninja Gaiden, I think. Huh. So I don't want to well, say like, I don't want to say it ripped it off. Yeah, but who who which came out which came out first? I don't know, but they came out the same year because I think they both came out '89. This oh this is definitely no Shinobi. <laughs> Shinobi, and you died again. Yeah, give me a kick right here. Oh, this, this oh damn it! I don't figure out the right pattern yet. Man, what kind of life bar is that? Just three hits and you're dead? Yeah, well, you get more, but see, I started over in this boss battle, so I gotta start by default. Hmm. And what does that say up there in Japanese letters? I don't know, I don't know, japanese -o. I thought you did. No, no. That's what everybody said. Everyone's... Uh, no. Whatever. <laughs> Death again. Alright, my last man, right here. 
That's weird. Like, there's three of them, but only four show up. But two is enough to make four of those totem poles. Well, like the third the third guy's not even supposed to be there. He's he's useless. <laughs> the head and feet, head and feet. Eh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> These things are. And this boss looks like easy peasy lemon squeezy, but it's all like, oh, I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right. Come on, ninja. Go ninja. Yeah. Go ninja. Go ninja. Go. I predict death. Oh, ah! Uh. <laughs> That's what you like. You got hit, and then you jumped, and then you like died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Game over. What the heck? That doesn't even look like a ninja. It looks like just like a normal guy in a purple suit right there. <laughs> yeah. All right, now here we go with more energy and me actually know oh. what to do now. Oh, how come? Oh, uh, I get it. I guess when you start over with your full lives, you get the full life, but when after that, you just get three bars. Well, I played the whole level again, and you gotta go in these. Uh, rooms where when you kill all the little all the enemies, your energy refills to a certain point, and then uh, so I make sure not to get hit all the way to this point. Hmm. Why don't you use like turbo and just throw the ninja stars over and over again? I don't ninja, have ninja, ninja. I don't have turbo. Well, that's kind of lame. Well, who can get a hold of turbo on the computer? Me. <laughs> How? I got a certain emulator. My emulator have turbo, I think. But anyway, part two. Yeah, part two is done. I'm interested you into the art of the firebomb. Use it by the... Ah! Him again. Ah. Someone oh, did oh. a real number on the ninja. Calm down, dude. Man, that guy's just... Yeah, he looks really uptight. Coked up. That's his boss. His boss should say, look, quit looking at me like that. You don't look at me like that. Hmm, could it be? I wonder. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Who? 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 Never mind. I have a new idea that's going to make this guy wish he never got involved. Oh yeah, purple ninjas never get involved. What is it? Oh, whatever. <laughs> that's a secret. But as long as I have this weapon... What weapon? Anyway, anyway, see the ninja and take them back to headquarters. This is the end. And see you guys in part four. Take care. Take care. Bye bye now. And we're, welcome, welcome, welcome to part quattro. And I'm here with the J Man, J Man four six two four one. Yo yo. What I say it fast every time I say your name. Anyway. <laughs> And this is uh, part three, or level three, of Wrath of the Black Mamba. What? Mamba. Whoa. Got the ground. What was that? What kind of glitch is that? Anyway. Whoa, what was that? You had, uh, you had that kick cereal uh, revolving around you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, come on, shoot the fine carpet man. That reminds me of the uh, the magic of uh, Shrezer Shrezeraid. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, when I was a kid, I I couldn't say it right. I said the N word by accident, and my friend's mom goes, "It's Schwarzenegger." Niger. <laughs> Niger. And I got older. I go, "Wait a minute! No, it's not. That woman's lying. She probably just didn't want me to say the N word by accident." Like I just... <laughs> anyway, what were you saying about Magic of Sports and uh, Niger? Yeah, the, uh, the, those flying carpet guys, it just reminded me of the, the Magic of uh, Shrezeraid game. Oh, that's how you say it. Shrezerade? I think so. Well, I don't know. They'll take my word for it. I... Shrezer Hater? Don't be a player Shrezer Hater, my brother. Yeah. Don't be a, a Shrezer Raider. Well, now we're on the frigid level from Goldenau. Refrigerator. <laughs> Frigate. And more of the same music. It will never end. <laughs> I like how that little bitty string is holding up that, that big boat. Oh, yeah. got a solid snake here. <laughs> yeah. Big boss. Yeah, big boss. I don't know anything. Whoa, we just said it. 
<laughs> Unless I'm telling them everything. I can't believe those same uh, 70s guys are still around. Yeah. Hey, a Shaft's son. Whoa. got some information for you. What is it? It's a big blunt. Smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these these rooms aren't really hidden if they're going to keep telling us where they're at. It's dangerous here, so hurry home. It's dangerous here. But I've already been here for a long time, so... <laughs> and I'm still alive. Do another box of drugs. <laughs> Alright, big boss again. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'll go easy on you. Yeah. Another door. Yep. Chef son again. <laughs> he looks like he has a, a like a like a boxing uh, mouthpiece. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never thought that. <laughs> He's got a nice fur coat on. Yeah, get out of here, kid. I'm sure you won't get captured by anybody outside. <laughs> I'm sure you can swim back to America or wherever <laughs> wherever they're at. Rio de Janeiro and I don't know, I'm not good at ge geography even though I'm at 99 grade point average in my so sophomore year. <laughs> Too long ago. Um, ah, Shaft's son again. Yeah, it's, it's funny how all the kids that you rescue in this game are like, they don't look like kids. They all look like adults. Well, this one kind of looks like... Huh, looks like, uh... Dang, what's her name? Wheezy from the Jeffersons. <laughs> Louise? Wheezy for Sheezy. <laughs> yeah. Don't call me Wheezy! <laughs> oh, another secret door. Secret? Okay. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's down here. Down here. Oh, okay. There's the secret window. Yeah. Yes. Increase my power. Use your pow power. <laughs> and orange pikes. Clockwork orange. Yeah. Can I get my energy fit up here? Yeah, the one square. Yeah, excellent. Useless, uh, useless room. Yeah, I never spent nothing. At least my time going to these rooms, I got full energy. Just want to make sure I rescue all the kids. And, uh, plus it's good that there's not a time limit in this game. Yeah. That's a good one good thing about this game. There's no time limits. Yeah. I can't stand time limits. I mean, much like you. And probably much like uh, other gamers out there. Yeah. Shoot every wall. There may be a secret room. Queasy. <laughs> 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 oh, another secret door. There's so many secret doors that really are they uh, secret doors? I mean, there's so many. Yeah, they're not really secret because they're telling us everything. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Manta said, see you later, so... <laughs> yeah. Even the game knows that there will be more of the same uninspired hostages. Yeah.
Arr, matey, watch out! <laughs> snake! Snake! <laughs> Who do you work for? The CIA. I mean, your RAT. I don't even know what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I'm in this game. I don't even know how I got the cigar in my mouth. <laughs> I wonder what, what's in those uh, Donkey Kong barrels there. Uh, extra energy. Yeah, when you eat one. When you eat yeah. one. Yeah. Oh man, this ain't Japan. Get out of here. Alright, here's the boss, level 3. The well, Voodoo Warrior. It's Willy Wonka. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> Willy Wonka, you shoot uh, chocolate bars at No, just shooting bar balls. Shooting kick cereals at you. Gobstoppers. Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> or Whoppers. Or whatever you call Oh. Yeah. Pwned. Heart Thrust complete. Yeah. Miyagi. Black on, black off. The Arts of the Fire Ring. <laughs> use it wisely. Not real, and use it dumbly. That's like a huge uh, oxymoron there. Uh, fire, rain? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Chocolate, rain, fire. Uh, no, his girl. Fire, rain. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Fire, rain. <laughs> Alright, and uh, they now know who's coming after them, so they're really scared now. And Dennis, that's man. part four. We'll see you guys in part cinco. Take care. Later, Ro. And welcome back to part five. I'm Ron Moore along with J-Man and Gunstar Hero. Yeah, it's me. I'm back. Welcome back. And more Water Down Ninja Gaiden. Mm. Don't you mean Oops. Water Gaiden? <laughs> <laughs> water Gaiden. Were those uh, light bulbs trying to kill you there a minute ago? Yeah, I guess so. Uh -huh. And now we rescue a girl for a change. Molly Ringwald. Who? Molly Ringwald. Uh, Griswold from uh, Va National Lampoon's Vacation? <laughs> no. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Ringwald. She was in some 80s movies. Mm, I don't know. 16 Candles. I gotta do some research. I have to do some research. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Youngins. You know who she is. She's in a bunch of 80s movies. Red-headed woman? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know her name, but I know what you're talking about. She's in, yeah, uh, okay. she's in The Breakfast Club, too. Oh, yeah. that was her? Oh, okay. Yeah, Breakfast Club is also a good game for the NES. Awesome, awesome. I'm just kidding. <laughs> there's, no, there's no NES game Breakfast Club, is there? There should I, be. I do, no. I'm doing some research. Uh, <laughs> At level three, you must climb through the ceiling. Yeah. To the principal. Watch out for Mr. Principal, whatever his name was. Yeah. He will get you into detention. El Principal. The principal of the movie with John Belushi is pretty good. Anyway, they should make a game of that. <laughs> yeah. oh, that would be great. We're getting way off topic because there really is nothing to talk about in this game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not really. Not right now. To see the same old 19, uninspired 1970s enemies. Yes. I wonder what Sicko Fan would say about this game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, who knows? Would you say uh, that purple shirt don't fit him, Green? Yeah, when he dies, it looks like his sleeves just shrink. And it's just like, ah, oh, my powers, my clothing gives me super strength. Uh, yeah, shrinkage. Shrinkage. Watch out for shrinkage. <laughs> the shrinkage could humiliate you. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, there's a game Genie Code for Soundfield. Uh, no shrinkage. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> never have shrinkage. shrinkage in the pool. Yeah, never have shrinkage. Did he just fire a meatball at you? Yeah. Here's the guy in red. Whoa. I choked him through the wall. Andre the Giant. Yeah, I grabbed him through the pipe. That's cool. I just grabbed him around the pipe, you know. In real life, you can do that. Tell me what you know about Metal Gear. <laughs> you don't scare me. I'm not telling you anything. Look at that snap your neck snap. 
Maybe you'd rather do your talking to the police commissioner. Ooh, that'll scare him right there in real life. Exactly. Okay, we're initiating kids into our drug cult. We brainwash them and turn them into dope. Dope? What? Turn them into dope? Turn them into dope. Whoa, we're smoking okay. kids. They set up the buys, we make the bucks. Wow, that just threw me off. Oh, he owns them right here. You got scum! You don't know what you're messing with! Drugs kill! Run off saying it's drugs kill, you think you're cool! But you're not, you're just plain dumb! You're dumb, you're stupid, and you should feel bad. Man, he pwned that guy. Yeah. Exactly. That was the, 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 the more you know commercial right there. <laughs> what? The more you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's on NBC. The more you know. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> um, commercial's right there. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. This game is great. It deserves, like, a medal. <laughs> Epic. The Metal Gear. Yeah. Exactly. He gets a video game Razzie. Actually, wouldn't that be cool if this game had Metal Gear in it, or just like a fake robot? Hmm, funny, you know, funny, I... it, that was funny you mentioned that. You'll see some fake robots here later. Oh, that sounds like fun. Some fake Metal Gears. Awesome sauce. Uh, hopefully it won't get as bad as like the last part that I saw you do against those like tiki heads where they like tried to just eat you. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, now that I think about it, uh, not to like, you know, cut you off, now I think about those guys in that room that you were just in, when you kill them it looks like they're bowing down to you. They are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Who? Uh, every time that he, uh, he asks, he tells him something. I don't know, but if you go to this to this part, you'll see a dead end. Or I mean, if you go to this dead end, you'll see a secret entrance or a hidden room or something. Maybe he's in there. It's like it, the uh, Taro's in another hidden wall. Like the princess is in another castle. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, but your Taro is in another secret room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All these secret rooms are not secret because you're telling them where they are. Exactly. It's like in Mario World, uh, if you do this, you'll find the, the Secret World 1, Secret World 2. Maybe he's in here. Not. Nah. Let's try door number, like, 643. Yeah. <laughs> more, more of the same uninspired enemies and music. And more crotch shots and bowing enemies. Yeah. Okay, I didn't need that. I got full life. <laughs> oh, I thought you grabbed, like, I thought that sign said exit or something. It was just, like, below the door. I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> Take the exit sign. Take everything here. If you see an exit sign, grab it. It means you leave the room. <laughs> Looks like those boxes see the U.S. on them. The United States is in the conspiracy. <laughs> hmm. I feel like I'm playing a combination of Ninja Gaiden and G.I. Joe and Contra. Wow, that was a waste of a tree. It says it says traps have been laid. Uh I don't see any traps. I see guys shooting at me. I guess that's traps. The trap is the game. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, all of it. They're like, well, at least we can say this game is not Action 52. Or, pl or Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. <laughs> yeah. I kind of had to walk away from that. I saw one part and I was done. Yeah. <laughs> I forget that. Alright, the exit sign. Awesome, it comes with us. Gentlemen in red! Andre the Giant, when he was young, he had uh, uh, a Sting haircut, Sting the Wrestler haircut. How would he, how would a simple thug know that? Uh, I guess he's got a big head, I guess it means he has a big brain. She knows everything. Like cauliflower ears. 
<laughs> got big freaking mouth. He's got like a fake bison chin. <laughs> Vince McMahon chin. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, there's nothing here. I didn't notice that. There's like only one enemy as you're going up, and it's just like, this game looks rather boring at times. Yeah. Yes. It's better than Shadow Gate 64. Mm. At least you can do something in this game. Yeah, at least you can go somewhere, you know? Yeah. There should be an achievement for this game called X's Sign Grabber. You collected all of them. Hey, yeah, just like you collect all the doll tags and Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, yeah. Achievement her. I don't know why, but she reminds me of, you know, Mary Jane from the Spider-Man comics. I guess it's the hair. Yeah. yeah. It's a little bit like it. Again, no, but go to the dead end and shoot, you'll find a hidden door. <laughs> <laughs> it... It's like, tell me something different. Yeah, Yeah, see, he already knows he's gonna see her again. It's like, see you, see you later. Yeah, see you, see you later. Hey, listen up, man. That's the, that's the actor that played as Sloth from the Goonies. Wow. Yeah. Take me to your leader, douchebag. I don't know. Okay, I'll let you go then if you don't know, it's okay. Oh, snap, yeah. go back and snap his neck right now. <laughs> he disappeared out of nowhere. He used the art of uh, vanishing. The oh, wow. Vanquishing. Okay, I'm... What? I can't shoot through the pipes. Come on. Watch out for the pipes. Shoot the floating pipe people. Yeah. Here's the Metal Gear robots. Oh, wow. They're, they're Mauser ripoffs. <laughs> <laughs> From the turtles. Yeah. Oh, make it stop. <laughs> it's a Robocop uh, robot ripoff. The villain from Robocop. That yeah, the 209 thing. Yeah. That's awesome. <gasps> oh, I'll have, yeah. have to try again in part 6. Y'all take care. Alright, welcome to part 6. And we continue where I'm trying to beat these robots again. Those look like the uh, the uh, teenage teenage mutant ninja turtle robots. <laughs> yeah, that's like the Robocop robot, the the villain robot. Yeah, the two hundred nine guy. Whatever it's called. Yeah, the J Man two four six two four hundred nine four hundred nine uh cleaner. No, uh, Formula four hundred nine uh, two four one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and for those of you who had no idea, I am here with J Man four six two four one. Hello. With R R T D two four six two four one, and like you gotta use the shadow right here to, uh, or the invincibility, whatever it's called. The art of instability. Yeah, instability. Yes, there we go. I guess the robot's invincible too. Oh, never mind. Not anymore. Part four is over. Mr. Miyagi again. Daniel Sun. Ooh, the art of lightning and teleportation. Whoa! There's Andre the Giant again. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an 80s version of uh, uh, Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, things don't look so good, boss. He could be here any minute. I think that's the human version of Sloth. Yeah. Tighten up the defense. Oh, I just remember. Oh, no, wait, I forgot. I think that's a big mouth. That's the app. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, excellent. Bring him to me. Excellent. Alright, now we're at the final stage, part five. And a little shinobi action right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. 
Most people's faces when they get shot. Or, uh, thrown star at, whatever you call it. You again! Let go of me! I thought it was supposed to be a different villain in each level. What's up with this? I know, right? Where's your boss? You should already know by now. He's in this building, you idiot! <laughs> the Streets Rage building's better. Oh, much better. They took him to see the head, man. Ah, oh, what? Oh, that was a double KO. Yeah. Yeah, and this level can't be pretty hard. Same set. Ouch. Same seventies guys. I don't even think that a, a map will help help you on this one. Yeah. Same music. All right, I'll talk. The same dialogue again. Yeah. Watch. What do you know? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. Okay, tell me everything you know. I don't know anything. See? <laughs> Stupid, man. <laughs> Stupid. The same. <laughs> same thing. I'm this playthrough has been. This playthrough has been brought to you by Crown Royal. <laughs> and Skip Rogers. Yes, and oval team. I mean, it don't matter what elevator you go into, they all take you to the next floor. And, or I don't think there's really any difference in enemies or whatever. I could be wrong, but anyway. This part is ridiculous. Yeah. Like, there was one guy you didn't even shoot. Oh, and then he goes right back in. Yeah. Like, he just, oh, you didn't shoot me. I'm just going to go away. Yeah. <laughs> well, they got to watch out for the Chinese stars. Yes, the Chinese stars could kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, they did the, the Joey, Joey Lawrence. Whoa! Hey, yeah. I mean, would it kill Tato, Tato, whatever they're called, Potato Potato, to put <laughs> different music in each stage? Whoa! Yeah. It's a Molly Ringwald. <laughs> <laughs> you know, part, she, was in, she was in stage 4 and, and she's back in stage 5 again like, I thought I rescued you, what are you doing here? <laughs> okay, the extra spacing between the letters down there and the grammar is not the best in this game. English. Yeah. Run on sentence. Oh. Whoa! Yeah. It's a rocket launcher. You got the uh, National Guard. Weekend Warriors. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, here we go again. More Shinobi. Man, forget Shinobi. This right here is ultimate arcade action. <laughs> yeah, this is total Area 51. I want to play Black Manta in the arcade. I don't think there was one in the arcade. I hope not. <laughs> What? Ah, oh, shoot him! Oh, it, oh. And yep. FCU was saying uh, a while back in part four that it, it looks like the shirt don't really fit him out there. But anyway, <laughs> start. Well, that's the '80s, huh? That's the '80s. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta wear tight-fitting clothes. But this came out in 1990s, right at the end of the '80s, I guess. So still stuck in the '80s. Yeah. The '70s game though. Yeah, see, they were trying to, to fit into all kinds of time periods. Like a mixture of Dirty Harry, the Rockford, Fo the Rockford Falls, and <laughs> Leo Ninja. And Columbo. Columbo, yeah, Dick Tracy. <laughs> yeah, Dick Tracy. Uh, the Commish. <laughs> Got some Magnum P.I. going on. Yeah. <laughs> and a little bit of a... Uh, I can't think of any other action hero TV show back then. Cop show, whatever. Uh, T.J. Hooker. I was, I was thinking of that. I was saying, I was about to say, what is that uh, William Shatner one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just shot the guy in red, so I'm lost now. I can't get no information. It's funny because um, there's been other elevators where it's like one, two, one, two, three, and then we go to another elevator and it's like one, two, three. What kind of floors are these? Yeah. 
We're like on the 20th floor, but it's still saying 1, 2, 3. Yeah. What's the deal with that? What's the deal with the elevators? Why can't you use the stairs? What? I mean, you go up, and it takes much longer if you just went up the stairs. What's the deal with Oval Team? Should they call <laughs> Round Team? <laughs> I mean, come on, people. Yeah, I'm gonna skip this because we already <laughs> think what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sick. That's oh. this little kid. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's not what she said. Uh, <laughs> God, all those weekend warriors. <laughs> Uh, more, uh, Hogan's Alley action. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang it. Oh, what? God, those guys are evil. Yeah. Oh, nothing there. I'm invincible. I'm new Cybot. Yeah, uh, Ed Boone and uh, John Tobias stole the new Cybot idea from that move right there. Invincibility. Yep. Ah. Oh no, last night. Last life. Uh -huh. Last night. <laughs> <laughs> Me. What do you know? I don't know anything. Where's your mother? Oh, <laughs> your mother. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, you're the Black Manta, aren't you? Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, we already seen this. Shut your mouth. Shut your damn pie hole. Why can't I use my uh, ninja magic in this elevator? In these elevator stages. Take your dad gum clothes off! Okay, that came out of nowhere, uh... And that's what we thought that when those guys die, they look like, uh, Mario. Like, right, when he's... Yeah. Hey, we need to stay on topic. Uh -oh. oh, my bad. It would take four to defeat El Toro. Toro, Toro. Why can't I go in that door right there? Because it's open. And all the doors that you can only enter are not open. Yeah, just like in Nightmare on Elm Street. And <laughs> that said, we'll see you guys in part 7. Take care. And welcome to the conclusion. Where I'm going to finally beat this game. Finally. The Rock has come back. No. <laughs> to lay the smack down. To Mr. Leahy the smack down. No. Uh -oh. The drink down. And you're going to get ready to fight one of the bosses of you choosing uh, again. At least you don't have to fight all the bosses over. Okay, yeah, I remember this one. Uh, this one was uh, pretty troublesome. Yeah, this is door number two. <laughs> What's behind door number two? What's the deal with fighting bosses again? What's the deal with let's make a deal? I'm not going to bash this game for that. I mean, you do that in Mega Man, which is frustrating because, you know... Some Mega Man games are hard, you gotta fight them bosses again, especially if you don't have enough energy tanks or whatever, but, um... And... Oh, it's a, was that a jukebox? <laughs> yeah, and then you, for some reason you shoot the jukebox and it turns into Taro or Taro. Okay, there's finally Taro. And finally. you gotta use four arts in a certain order, and if you hit the kid Taro or Taro, whatever, they have the similar names, I wonder why. 
it wouldn't make sense in the storyline that gave you an occasion that was his son or something. But uh, you know, at first you, you uh, use the fire rain. Oops! Well, I hit Taro. Now that he's energy goes back up. Uh. Ah, quit. Oh, all right, there we go. Now I face another way, and uh, you can safely hit Toro with the fire ring next. And for no reason he's shooting far a kick cereal. I've yeah. Spitting kick cereal out of his mouth. There I hit him. Now he's bald. Yeah. So what's up with all this, uh, these uh, Cheetos going around? And like uh, it looks like Mr. Burns now. Now use the art of the spider to get on the other side because he's facing the other way to where you can safely hit him and not the kid. And use two two missile shots. I guess you can still hit the. Okay, you're not hitting the kid. You're hitting his arm, and then boom, that's it. Took him out. The building blows up. I guess I don't know, but uh, and here's the lame ending. Whoa, is that uh, John Travolta? <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. Miyagi, John Travolta, and. I don't know who that other guy is. That's that kid you rescued, I, I assume. Uh -huh. And you still don't see Mr. Miyagi's face. I thought you did. My mistake. You see Man Manta's face, though. Oh, so Ma the Manta is really John Travolta. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> and this is it. He just congratulates him and gets him the, I guess, him a sash or, or the family sword. I don't know what he's giving him right there. Yeah, I thought he had, like, a gun pointed at him or something. <laughs> I don't know. And then that's it. That's the lame ending for a pretty much pretty lame game. Yes. <laughs> when I was a kid, I liked it, but um, eh, you know, not no more. I think give this game a five out of ten. Very mediocre, but definitely not the worst game ever. Yeah, I, I'll I'll go with that five out of ten. And that's me being nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that, there you go. Thank you for watching this let's play of Wrath of Black Manta. Coming up next, what I'm doing next. Dirty Harry for the NES. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. I'm Ron Moore for the J-Man. See you guys later. Later. Go ahead. Make my day. And that's the only cool thing about this game. Yeah. And uh, this is Dirty Harry for the NES. And this is Ron Moore, along with J-Man46241 and Gunstar Hero 21. Yay. What's up? And this game is definitely not as good as the movies. No, it is not. Um, what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> it's a different version of Renegade. No. Uh, yeah, with sideways ladders. Yeah, I'm not even hitting that guy in the face and not just knocking him down. And, and walking oh. crack dealers. Yeah, the beginning of this game was cool when he goes, Go ahead, make my day. That's a pretty cool feature for NES at the time, to have a voice like that. Yeah, that's about the only thing from this game. Yeah, really, that's it. Oh, I can't go in here yet. No matter what you do, you you got to get a white suit from this pimp that's in another building, I think, in order for that yeah. guard to let you go through. And... Snake! Snake! Ah, uh, that looks so inappropriate. <laughs> yeah. You can't shoot that big bodyguard either. The, bounce, the bullets bounce off his chest. I guess he has a bulletproof vest or something. Wow. Yes. And I don't know what I'm doing here. I still don't know what I'm doing to this day. Just get items, and I'm not sure what they're for. But I, 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 when I first I first seen this game at a special effects, I'm like, they made a movie? I mean, they made a game of the movie? Wow. And uh, play it for a while. I'm very disappointed. I had a feeling it was going to be a disappointment because I never heard of this game. Pretty much everybody's heard of the movie. It's like a cult classic. Dude, what the hell? Oh, hot dogs that electrify you. Awesome. Oh, A and B is jump. Hate that. We gotta push two buttons to jump in the game. Yeah, like uh, Double Dragon. Yeah. Except Double Dragon was good. Yeah. But and now uh, I played. That was like reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Oh, just fall down. Well, I think there's a bomb in there. That's why. I kicked a, one of the drawers of the crates and there's a bomb in there. That's why I blew up. Yeah. And inventory is the name of the game in Dirty Harry. Mm. Yes, take everything. Yeah. Mm, hey, can we take those exit signs like last time? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I play with a PS2 controller, but, you know, I think B is punch, A is to uh, whip out your Magnum, Cougar Magnum, 38 Magnum, whatever it's called. 
44. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah we're full magnum, man. Not ready to move him. There we go. Oh, he got lucky. <laughs> they're like the guy that like sells watches on the street. That's her. Uh, <laughs> Lulz. <laughs> Lulz indeed. Why did he jump out of a drawer? That's a Lulz moment indeed. Man, you see that? I was up the hallway and he still got me. This game is fake. I'm in the dark alley, or well, not dark. It's daytime. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Ouch! It's like a Donkey Kong, you can't jump too far. Hey, you broke Dirty Harry's legs, how do you feel? <laughs> wait, wait a minute, what movie did you say that in? I thought it was the old Western they said that line in. I guess not. I don't know, but listen to that awesome music. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this game makes no sense. <laughs> in your Miami Vice jackets. <laughs> oh God! I'm not. I didn't even hit that guy. I just somehow killed him. Yeah. Look, when you punch him, he starts dancing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm playing as Don Johnson from Miami Vice. Yeah. And that guy's throwing hot dogs at you. That guy that was on the roof. <laughs> yeah. Fight yeah, some. You actually get uh, hot dogs in this game. Some chili dogs, something like that. Yeah. Energy. <laughs> As you go and wreck everybody's uh, apartments. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He looked like he's dancing. He looked like he's dancing to beat it when he opens the door. Look at that. He's kind of walking like a pimp, pimp like uh, style when he's walking. Kind of like Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Uh, good times, good times. Uh, <laughs> why? Still <laughs> cone on you. <laughs> Throwing cartoon nets on you. Yeah. Oh, well, I can't go this way. I could have gone down the sewer, but I can never figure out how to get past the sewer. Take the tunnel, go deeper and stand. No, oh, Skip, let's not. Not this time. <laughs> they are jumping out of everything. Trash cans, dresser drawers. Next thing you know, you're going to take out your gun, you're going to shoot them, they're going to pop out and punch you. Uh, yeah. There's the e-barrels. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck again. <laughs> How come the net don't lay on them? Uh, Got him. I'm lost. Lulz. <laughs> Lulz. <laughs> uh, he's hip thrusting into Dirty Harry. Yeah. Where's Chico Gonzalez? Yeah, uh, he's around. He's somewhere. Where's Scorpio? I don't think Scorpio's a boss this game. I'm not sure. I gotta do some more research. We need to figure out what to do to game facts. Yeah. Ooh! To get Metal Gear, let's play some Dirty Harry. Yeah, the game where you'll never know where you're going. Oh! ECW. ECW. And this is Shadowgate. They just said, uh, you break both of your legs and you can't walk. And the Grim Reaper comes after you. Wow. Ah. Uh. Let's punch over his head and do damage. Yeah. Going in circles here. I have no idea what to do. I think I haven't been here yet, have I? Your guess is as good as ours. Here we go. Oh, Michael Jackson. There we go. Now I got a suit. And you acquire a suit by jumping in front of him. 
I figured that out by accident when I didn't know what the heck to do with that guy. I didn't know how to talk to him or what. And then now I can go past that big bodyguard. Leave it to Michael Jackson to hook you up with a suit. Yeah. Otherwise, he would have knocked me across the room right there. And I beat this chick, and I jumped. It's a hooker. I jumped in front of her, and she gave me something, probably disease. And <laughs> yeah. It's in awesome. the. It was. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I don't know why I just accomplished there, but anyway. You got three extra lives. Yeah, I guess. I think so. Yeah. It looked like three boobies on top of each other. <laughs> I mean, Total Recall. Uh -uh. Achievement unlocked. Yeah. <laughs> get the disease. <laughs> you got syphilis. You have 20 minutes to find a cure. <laughs> Or you die. It's like in Castlevania 64, you gotta find a cure before you turn to a vampire. Yeah. Oh, that pissed me off so much. We should do that next. Yeah, if my uh, video card could support 64 games. Now, you know what? You shouldn't even do the, do the whole game. Just do the magical nitro and that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man, that was so pain painfully annoying. Oh! Oh, you, oh, you can shoot diagonal. Yeah, I just can't shoot up, though. I can't win them all, I guess. Yeah. What I do now? Uh, grr. What is <laughs> What is awesome music? Oh! <laughs> what? What's hitting me? <laughs> bullets. Oh. You always need bullets. I wonder if you could jump over bullets. Yeah. You see that? I was in up the alley and then he still hit me with the bat. This game lacks in distance. Uh, messed up hit detection, broken controls. Horrible music. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like giving a video two stars on YouTube, nothing special. Hey, yeah. At least you can do stuff. At least you can do something, unlike in Shoutgate 64. Yeah. Uh, and I think Plumbers is better than Shoutgate 64. These Plumbers are somewhat funny and entertaining. And so yeah, at least you can go somewhere. <laughs> Shoutgate 64 is just boring. But anyway, we're running out of time. Uh, let's see how what I can accomplish in part two. Uh, see y'all later. 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 And welcome to part two of Dirty Harry for the NES. This is Ron Moore along with Jeff and Charlie from Strictly Sega America, Australia. Strictly <laughs> Sega Constantinople. <laughs> Istanbul was Constantinople now. It's Istanbul. And that's, that's, the, that's the future name of this country, I think. America, Australia. <laughs> Maybe. Streets of Foy. We're gross. They, they, they live in these tenements and they can afford laser traps. What's going on? Yeah, really. And apparently... I, I want some laser traps. Apparently I'm playing as, uh, I guess, still playing as Don Johnson from Miami, Vo Miami Voice. Yeah. I don't know, I just want to imagine you playing Barry Gibbs. I don't know why. Who's Barry Gibbs? Gibbs, the guy, uh... You know, His uh, partner? No. You can't take over the land. Yeah. From the Bee Gees. Ah. It was first the white suit. You know. Oh, okay. You can't take over the land. You find a water move with me. Alright, now I'm about to fight the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> awesome music. I know. I'm loving the music, man. So was this game released, you know, like towards the start of the uh, Nintendo's life, or was it later on? Uh, this was released in 1990, I think. So the end. Right towards the end, yeah. Well, the end was 94. Well, I mean, before the Super Nintendo, I mean, just a year before that came out in America. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but can you remember any games that came out after, like, 90? Yeah, like, 90... 90... 
like Mario Mike, Brothers 3 was like the last big thing that came out on Nintendo if you ask me, you know? Yeah. Mega Man... Go ahead. Mega Man 3 came out in 90, and then Mega Man 4 in 91, Mega Man 5 in 92, and then I think Mega Man 6 in 93, 94. Okay, there was a few good games, but like most of the really good games came out in 91, you know, 90 and 91 just before the Super Nintendo hit. Yeah. Like a, a, lot of, a lot of really good games that a lot of people miss. Wait a minute. Too. We're forgetting in 91, Action 52. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know, I'm thinking more like, you know, uh, in 90, 1990, another good game, uh, Deja Vu, came out. Uh, yeah, so far, it's, it's a pretty good game, but I've been playing on my Rumble channel. See, I think... Action 52 is where, uh, platforming game peaked. Exactly. Yeah. They've and never I, made a better game since, have they, you know? Yeah. And I guess I'm holding up a server tray right here. I guess I'm a waiter. Can I wait? Actually, I played uh, Deja Vu on the Amiga. I never played it on the Super Nintendo. I mean, Nintendo. I'm weird. Yeah, check it out on my channel. It's pretty good so far. I mean, it's my first time playing it on there. But, uh, I don't know what the heck I was holding just now. I think it was a trash can lid. It's a really big, big game. It's a good game. But Deja Vu is good. Are you, are, you, are you delivering a pizza? I don't know what... I think it's a trash can lid, but the trash can lid is still in that trash can where I got it from. This game has no sense of logic. I think it's supposed to protect me from net drops. I don't yeah, know. I don't know how, I mean, because you could just drop the net around that, too. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, this game is weird. Clint Eastwood, this what are you really doing confusing. Yeah. Why are their legends going sideways? Uh, those are far four escapes, I guess. Right. I don't know. Well, you're in San Francisco, and they're a pretty, it's a pretty weird city, anyway. I think it's, it's probably not necessarily a ladder, it's probably just a, a rail, I don't know. It looks like one of those old guardrails from wrestling. Uh. And now I'm in this run-down apartment building. Why is every building you go in ran down? Why can't you go to a nice apartment building? Well, we're in a crackhead part of town, this is the war on drugs. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh man! I moved out of the way going down the aisle and I still got shot, come on. It's a piece of cable wire. <laughs> it's a cable wire with eyes that can apparently bite you. <laughs> it's Mr. Clean. Watch out for Mr. Clean. And if I didn't, oh. now I've already been in here part one, but I'm desperate. I'm lost here. I don't know where to go. Uh huh. You missed. I'm Dirty Harry. I'll mess your shit up. Got some wannabe Streets of Rage characters in this game. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everyone wants to be in Streets of Rage. Oh! Not they got in the sewer. <laughs> ah! Man, at least give the guys from Narc over here to help him. He's yeah. Still kill him. This is just sad now. Yeah. Two Whoa. laser, two laser trips. Or right, laser trip wires. Watch out for trip wires. <laughs> Thank you, Skip Rogers. Ooh, Kemp. Now, I was wearing that suit at first. Now I, I switched with him by jumping in front of him. See, he's the real Mac Daddy right there. Yeah. Without that white suit, I could not get past Mr. Clean. Oh, yeah, Mr. Clean hates blue. Yeah. Ugh! Do they drain your energy in these nets? Uh, I don't know, I think it just holds you in place while the enemies shoot you and stuff. You need a chili dog, man. You need to restore your energy. Yeah. Uh, aim oh, up! There's no empty bar or anything, is there? Yeah, you gotta push start to see it. Here we go, let's, let's see if it blocks it. Yeah, see? It, it uh, blocks it. That's good to hear. But what about when guys are shooting you and beating you to death? Yeah, really. And then it eventually runs out, just like the baseball bat in Star Tropics. Hey, Charlie, what was that name of uh, that, uh, that knight, uh, that, what was it, the Jetpack Knight or whatever, uh, who ate chili dogs for strength, that Genesis game? Oh, Look. Rocket Knight 
Yeah, he ate, yeah, he ate chili dogs for strength, yeah. Uh. And, uh, if I, if I can get on the other side of the fence, now I'm lost, I'm just running around in circles. Yeah, that's how you aim directly up. You gotta hit up twice. You know, why can't you Nintendo? Or Mindscape. Mindscape made this game. Damn you, Mindscape, for ruining a franchise. I wanna escape from this game. <laughs> uh. Streets of Rage characters now. Wait, you don't, you don't got the dominatrix with the whips, you know? Uh, that, that's there. Yeah, that's what you're missing. But yeah, I first discovered this game in special effects, and like, what? When this come out? <laughs> yeah. I love the movie. There was a time oh, where, yeah. I was, where I was watching part one. Uh, the, the original Dirty Harry movie, and I saw this special effects at that time and said, Whoa, I gotta get this, and I had a feeling it was gonna be bad because I never heard of it. Yeah. Aim up! It looks like, it looks like you have a handgun. I mean, where's your, I mean, it looks like you have a little old, you know, like 45. Where's your 350? I mean, your 44 Magnum. I guess you know, that's, I think that's it. Six inch barrel, 44 Magnum. Blow your brain right out. It looks like the size of his head, the gun. I remember the, the movie Dirty Harry was like one of the first really violent movies that made me squirm as a kid when I yeah. watched it. Yeah. You know, uh, that bit where he had a, a gunshot in his leg and um, Dirty Harry stepped on it, you know, to make him suffer. Yeah. And uh, to torture him. You know? And that just turned my stomach inside out for some of that, and, you know. Yeah, he's like... Go ahead. It was a lot more real than current action films are. I find action films, when they shoot somebody, it's very cartoonish, you know? Now, back then, it was there was something very real about it, you know? I love the third Dirty Harry movie, where uh, the guy, uh, Dirty, he's got the rocket launcher, and the guy's like, Rrr! It's like, just blows him up with the rocket launcher. It's like, badass. Yeah. Part one, though, he was torturing Scorpio, stepping on his bullet wound. Where's the girl? I want a lawyer! Where's the girl? I have rights! Where's the girl? <laughs> oh, yeah, that movie's classic. Scorpio's a psycho. Yeah. Okay, and we are out of time here. We will see you guys in part three. Goodbye. Oh, take care. Alright, welcome to part thress, which is probably going to be the last one because I'm sick and tired of this game. Lulz, yeah, this fun. game sucks. I am here with the J-Man 46241, Gunstar Hero Lulz, and We Guy. Lulz. Lulz. Nine. For the win. <laughs> for the pwn. No, he for the, just the win. The, he was just fighting the evil redcoats. <laughs> more, red. more Streets of Rage rejects. Yeah. Yeah, looks like uh, Giles. <laughs> yeah. He was in the position. Oh man, I ran out of bullets, so he hit me right in the face with the baseball bat. Did you point your shoe off? <laughs> I guess so. And this game takes place in Waco, Texas. Oh really? <laughs> East Waco right here. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you live in East Waco, you get it. A Venom and Angel watching right now are probably laughing so hard. <laughs> lols. Lols, yes. Play this game. It's the lols. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. weird. <laughs> Get that. Threaten them with your empty gun. Don't do drugs. It's the lol. Get it? <laughs> lols? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was horrible. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Right in the face. It blew up. That blew up my face. Yeah. That's what she said. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I forgot Master Hand is here with us now also. What? No. No. What? I am no hand of all of any kind. <laughs> Dr. Hand. Get Dr. The I'm the claw. No, I'm no hand, I'm a claw. Dr. Claw. Wow. Yeah, Dr. Hand. Dr. Claw. 
There's the uh, cable war with eyes down there trying to pop me again. Whoa. Cable, cable Ryo, how came, realistic. He came through the wall. Yeah. Mr. Clean again. Oh! Man. Yeah, right That's, That's cold blooded. Cold blooded snake. Yeah. Snake! Snake! It, snake is dead right now. Uh, hairy. We don't know that. <laughs> you, you take that back. <laughs> yeah. It's all speculation. Snake, part, snake dead. He's old. Part five is coming out. Yeah. Yeah, that guy up there on the roof, he didn't like that. That's why he's throwing nets at you. He wants me to take it back also. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let me change suits with this guy. I'm going to get my original suit back. Yeah, stop looking like the guy Michael from Jackson. Saturday Night Fever. And I want to show you what happens when you try to get past Mr. Clean without the white suit. Yeah, I want to see that, actually. You get beat up. Bam! Ooh, you punch 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 bang, punch. Bitch. Mortal Kombat punch. Yeah. yeah. I still can't get past him, look, because look, he blocks me. All right, there's a barrier, so... Ha <laughs> ha ha. It's like you're doing something, then. Whoa. You meant to Stop assuming the position. Oh. oh. And dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're not playing this no more. This game sucks. Yeah. Dirty Harry. More like Dirty Harry Dick. <laughs> okay. Oh. And uh, that is all. That is all I'm going to play. And, um... Dirty Harry, uh, to say the least, this game sucks. I would have to give it a 3 or 4, maybe a 3.5 out of 10. What about you guys? I'm going to give it a... Mm, a 2 and a half. Gunstar Hero, Lulz? Out of 10. Out of 100. Hey, Lulz, you want to know what I give it? A Lulz? This game? <laughs> I give it the Lulz, I give it the Lulz Award, and then this game is so bad, it doesn't deserve a number. It deserves an F for fail. Yeah. I give it like a P. I said you gave it like a 2.5. I know, I changed my mind. I changed and my mind. I give it a not available rating. What does a P stand for? Uh, uh, just, uh, from A to F, it's a, like a P. Oh, okay. It's a poopy. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to hear that. Uh, give it the pathetic rating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got what you no, give it. No, I just said I gave it a not available rating. Oh, okay. And slash A. No, oh, okay. no. Just try again. No, no, it's the P for fail, but with a P. <laughs> P-H-A-I-L. Yeah, fail. fail. Um, this game is definitely not as good as the movies, to say the least. Um, I agree. Uh, and the first Dirty Hair is probably my favorite out of all of them. And Scorp Scorpio's the bad guy on that one, and that guy's a psycho. He's like, he he took this school bus hostage with these kids, and he was first he was all friendly with them, singing "Roll, Roll, Roll Your Boat." <laughs> then, then this one kid wouldn't sing it. I want to go home. He's like, what, what? Sing! I said, sing! Roll, roll, roll your boat gently downstream, <laughs> merrily, 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 merrily. He's like, oh. Then Cleese came and pwned the bus, and eventually got. <laughs> On the bus, <laughs> and then the, it was. Play. Now he jumped. Out, he did like a old school Matrix jump. He jumped off top of the bridge onto the bus, and then uh, he like Scorpio seen him, and then he tried to shoot through the roof at Dirty Harry, and the bus driver was like, <gasps> uh, just screaming all weird like, and eventually Dirty Harry pwned um, Scorpio with the famous. I don't know what you're thinking, punk. Yeah. You know, of course. He thought it was lucky, but he wasn't, and shot him. Yeah. Um. Through watching uh, you play this game, I did not feel very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised AVGN hasn't reviewed this game yet. We should I'm ask. Oh, I should like. I'm down PM. The yeah, he should really review it. That'd be. I, I could tell how, how that's going to turn out. He'll dress like Dirty Sucks. Harry. He'll have a 44 Magnum. Cleese will be a special guest for real. Have to pay him a lot. Of screw attack. Have to pay him a lot of money to be there. <laughs> <laughs> No, he'll just act like Dirty Harry. No, they'll play clips from the movie for sure. That'd be pretty cool. And um, that'd be cool. The other Dirty Harry movies are pretty good. Part five, I don't know. I, I don't really remember much of that one, but uh, I think part one's my favorite. Yeah, uh, I, that one. I just yeah. seen. I think the second, third one, the Enforcer and whatever Force, Magnum Force. <laughs> the Empire Worser. Yeah. <laughs> Magnum Fowers and uh, Sudden Impact. Then the Deadpool, which is sound like a Mortal Kombat 
movie. Uh, <laughs> it's also banned. <laughs> Already? Yeah. You gotta let the bodies hit the floor. That's drowning pool. Oh, drowning pool. Well, whatever. Deadpool. <laughs> oh, my bad. Well, pool, close enough. No, no, no. Pwn, pwn. Pwn. Alright, so that is it. Uh, my next game, I have no idea. We'll have to see. Uh, yes. J-Man, where are you going to do a game? Um, very soon. We will take a vote. Let's take a vote. Okay. Action 52. Action 50 dos. No. All 52 games. Even the ones that don't work. We got, you should do your own game. Yo, Noid, since it has something to do with pizza. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe, but I don't know. Whatever. Uh, we need to stay on topic. Back to the game. Oh, wait. It's over. Wait, the game's over. Sure. <laughs> game's All right. Dead. Guys, that is it. I'm Ron Moore. Jay man Lulz. Wee and, guy. And Gunstar Hero. And Mr. Lulz. All right. What Take care. Wee guy. Love I, me. I, I, all right, we got a PS3 hey, guy. All no. right. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> PC. Dump. All right. All right. See y'all later. Bye. Hey guys, Soul Soldier here. <laughs> I mean, oh wait, no, this is Ron Moore, along with J Man and We Got. How's it going? Great. Hey, what's happening? And Star Soldier's special guest here. Hey guys, Star Soldier here. <laughs> I'm with Jason Masturbation. Go review Metroid for NES. Um, should we be playing a Turbo Graphics 16 game? Oh yeah, <laughs> Metroid for Turbo Graphics 16. <laughs> uh, mm. And Metroid, I did a let's play of this a long time ago on my Ron Moore channel, and I didn't get far in it, and I'm probably not going to get far at this time. Uh, let's probably... fail. <clears throat> yeah, let's watch, let's fail at Metroid Part One. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think I get farther in Dirty Harry or Plumbers than I can in this game. <laughs> this game is hard to me. I mean, we should we should have got FCEU 100 to do a commentary with us. He can do right? a toss commentary uh, with us and a walkthrough. <laughs> yeah, are you gonna press start yet? Because I'm just seeing like the tiles going over and over. I want I want to listen to this opening music. Yeah. What? Plus, oh. we're doing our introductions. Yeah. Oh, what, what introductions? We I think we've done it now. Let's play action. You got play. This is just like the first day of school. You got to stand up, introduce yourself, tell us three things about yourself and where you're from. Otherwise, the game will not proceed. That's how YouTube is. It won't. It won't let us proceed until you talk about yourself. What kind of pizza you like, or whatever. Otherwise, they'll put up an ad next to the video. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, here we go. Finally, let's start. Finally, The Rock has come back to Metroid. That was stupid. Um. I love the music in this game. This this music right here. Indeed. Yes. Um, we might get bashed by the angry Nintendo kid. <laughs> he hates this game. I'm this stupid idiot's an S2K channel. This stupid, stupid game. I'm not playing it. <laughs> well, I have. It's good. I like it. Have you played it, J-Man? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Whoever, hasn't, whoever, whoever hasn't played it is a virgin. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. Yeah, they're, a, a, they're a Metroid version. A Metroid, <laughs> Metroid virgin, yeah. Anyone that hasn't played this game should. Whoever hasn't played this game sucks like a Metroid. <laughs> uh, like yeah, that. this game, this game is much harder to me than Super Metroid is. Super Metroid, I can run through that. Well, I, well, not really. Uh, my playthrough of Super Metroid took me ten hours to beat it, but uh, that's because I haven't played in a long time. And how many yeah. parts does that equal out to? Ten hours equals a lot of parts. <laughs> Indeed, I think that's like right. No, nah, nah, it wasn't 10 hours. It was, it was 26 parts, actually. 25, 20, Part 26 is like the ending, I think. Mm. I agree that this game is harder than Super. Uh, Super's just a little more laid out, you know. Yeah. It kind of gives you a better idea of where you're going. Yeah, and plus, you, you're, plus on Super Metroid, you can angle your gun and control yourself more better. But, you know, that's a different game. Not, not bash this That's game. Super Nintendo. Yeah, I'm not bashing this game for its difficulty. I mean, it's not BS hard like Dirty Harry or anything. Yeah, yeah this isn't that hard. I mean, it's hard, but it's good hard. That's what yeah. she said? Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> that's what she uh, said. Or, damn it, Jamie. You took it. Yeah. Or Mash Chan would have uh, would have commented on that real quick. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> up, up we go. Yeah, and I really don't know where I'm going or what to do uh, in this game. I played this game when I was a kid. I think I beat it with Game Genie after putting the password to Mother Brain. 
So. <laughs> yeah, never good at this game. And Super Metroid, uh, when I first played it, it was hard. But then once you beat it, this Super Metroid is one of those games where once you beat it, it's easy. But when you first play it, it's freaking hard. Yeah, definitely like ready. So. This game is still hard to this day unless you're FCU 100. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, like, it's like Silver Surfer. Yeah. I guess. I never played that. I don't think I want to. Just like it's dirty hair. Like this game is good. Yeah, this game is good. Silver Surfer is good. I thought. Uh, I think. It's good. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I never played it. I just yeah. seen. I seen AVGM review it. You have to play it for yourself. Trust me. Well, whatever AVGM says, I believe because he can't go wrong in his reviews. Exactly. Everything he says is absolutely correct. <laughs> Every time, even when he's lying. That's <laughs> <laughs> cool. It's total contradictory. He tells the oh. truth even when he lies. <laughs> <laughs> he tells he tells truthful lies. <laughs> he watched that movie True Lies. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're being sarcastic, but I really do like ABGN. Me too. But uh, his, too. his plumber's review is ECW. Yes, it was very good. ECW. Look at this. All right, the E barrel. Yes. Finally. Energy tank. <laughs> well, not, wait, no, that's Mega Man. <laughs> I I got well, Skip, no, Skip says, Skip, somebody else is never wrong. Skip says, eat barrel. Skip and, says, eat his new Skippy peanut butter product. And that they give you extra energy when you eat what? And don't shoot the floating pipe people. Yeah, just like in, I want to be the guy. Yeah. I probably would do commentary on that game, but I can't record. It was uh, Masterhand that recorded the footage for me for the Skip channel. Why is everyone have trouble complications recording it? I have no troubles. Well, I just... Well, I had no troubles. It sucks. I just can't record anything. Yeah. I cannot record game footage unless it's minimized. Unless the, the emulator screen or whatever is minimized. To where... Because yeah. it, if it's maximized, it lags real bad. And I guess it's my graphics card. I don't know. Graphics card sucks. Yeah, my computer's old. 2003. Have not upgraded hardly anything ever since I had it. Oh, no. You don't have any rockets. Yeah, that's right. I need to get out of here. I need missiles. He needs rocket power! See, I don't know where I'm going. I keep forgetting. I think missiles are somewhere around this game. Somewhere. This place is a juggernaut. <laughs> yeah, it's just a like, complete maze. It's like from X-Men. It's, it's worse than the dungeons and deadly towers. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Well, well, maybe, well, maybe not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> It's still confusing. Plumber's still better than Daily Towers. At least Plumber's is fun to mess with. Yeah. The yeah, music's good. Technically, Daily Towers is better because it's actually a video game. But Plumber's is just more interesting to, you know, joke around with and commentate over. It's time for heated competition between Plumber's Don't Wear Ties and Action 52. Which is better, brother? Wait, we're going to throw in a game that J-Man hates. Ultraman for the SNES. No! Ultra J-Man. <laughs> oh, it's the worst game ever. <laughs> yeah, he hates it. Uh, right? uh, you say it's worth actually watch the video on YouTube and see somebody actually play it to see what to do. It's unbelievable. Yeah, that's why I went to Corn Shack Gaming's uh, channel to watch Dirty Harry. I wanted to see the rest of the game. I'm like, that's crazy. I'm glad I never didn't play this game when I was a kid and try to beat it. Mm. Come on, Ron. Know where you're going. Use the force. Well, tell me, use the Metroid map. force. Well, tell me where to go and help me out. Oh, wait. This is already pre-recorded. I can't change. Use the map. <laughs> oh, yeah. Use the map force. This game don't have a map. This ain't Super Metroid. Ah, oh, that's lame. And Skip Rogers going to be mad. Be sure to make a map. <laughs> <laughs> And a comp. Just print one off off the uh, internet. On uh, Zelda, got in Zelda. No, in, in Metroid, make a map. In Zelda, make a compass. <laughs> That's awesome. Be sure to take everything here. Yeah, oh, I'm in the greenhouse now. Greenhouse effect. Uh, uh, uh. We ain't getting to enough science here. This is video games, bitches. Freaking Galaga insects bothering me over here. Galaga, shoot him with your zapper. Well, you don't use a zapper. <laughs> You have a big white ship. The rapper, the rapper. Huh? Oh, well. oh, that was lame. That was more lame than my uh, Deja Vu, the list continues joke from Deja Vu. Huh. Yeah. Deja Vu. 
Isn't, isn't it like, like Shadowgate or something like that? Because I saw gameplay it looked like it. It's like it's yeah. It's, the gameplay is just just like Shadowgate. I don't like those kind of games. Well then, get off. No. I am <laughs> off of them. That's what she said too. <laughs> yeah, I don't even like RPGs, but I still like Shadowgate for some reason. I guess just. Yeah, well, not those RPGs where you're like it's like complete front first person view. Yeah, point and click. Hope for the best. Uh, I don't like point and click. I like. Well, I like a certain point and click, but I don't think I am allowed to say it. They need to make a Metroid RPG. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. They, they need to make a Plumbers Don't Wear Ties RPG. There you go. <laughs> a Contra I mean, suit to the game cast. Use your, uh, use your tie. Contra RPG. <laughs> Choose your weapon: spread gun, fire weapon, uh, machine gun. The fu gun. Uh, yeah. So I call the F the flame gun the fu gun. Freaking. Yeah, don't click the laser. Uh, yeah. Look at the laser. Well, hopefully you find your way in part two. Yeah. Yes. So, hopefully. So that's it. See you on part two. We like pizza. Testing one two three. Star Soldier here <laughs> with uh, Ultra J Man and uh, we guys. How's it going, guys? This <laughs> is really good. That's good. I give it a hundred out of a hundred. All right, Star Soldier, over and out. And welcome back to part dos. This time I'm joined with J Man. We guy fell asleep. No, I don't know. Uh, now we got. I, I think yes, past we guys bedtime, so he has to go to school tomorrow. So uh. And, yeah, more of uh, me running around not knowing what I'm doing or where I'm going. But that is okay because it is such a good game? Yes, it is. Wow. Well, I'm like Dirty Harry where you're running around, don't know what you're doing, but the game sucks. <laughs> it, it, yeah, that game, it doesn't even matter if you know where you're going because it's just a terrible game. Yeah, and after watching Corn Shack Gaming's playthrough, I'm like, wow. Oh man, uh, yeah, I'm glad I never made the effort to beat that game. That game's ridiculous. Yeah. I, I, I like a challenging game, but not if it's gonna be BS hard. And and, and if it's gonna be BS hard, like I want to be the guy, it better be at least a good game that's funny and interesting. And if it is a hard game, leave it up to Cornchak because yeah. Cornchak will get it done. This is a hard game, so keep practicing. And leave it up to Cornchak. Yeah. And now we have missiles. Leave it up to Skip Rogers. <laughs> yes. Yeah, or Skip Rogers. I forgot that. Yes, we have missiles. Now Not we can get the uh, freeze power. Yeah. Not rockets. Hey, we can call them rockets. <laughs> no, they're missiles. I know, Watch out. But, but I already called them rockets in part one, so... Watch out for the Metroid fanboys. They're missiles, you idiot! It's all admissible. If you're going to review a game, do it right! I think that was Grub right there. Uh, Good right. Good right, you're foiled. Uh, right, or you're foiled. You know what I hate about this game? Those doors, when you shoot them, they close in a few seconds. But Super Metro, they stay open all the time. I mean, once you shoot them, they stay open until you go through it or until you leave the room. Yeah. Uh, another way. <laughs> These enemies respawn if you go off the screen, I think. And Super Metroid, they don't respawn until you leave the room to come back. That's a uh, mode seven for you. Yeah. What? What is that? Is mode seven? I've heard about it, but never understood it. I do not know. <laughs> Please thought... ask Jeff from Strictly Sega Antarctica. I mean America. <laughs> uh, they're coming out with Strictly Sega Afghanistan real soon. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Strictly Sega uh, uh, Australia is coming out. <laughs> hey, those 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 zippers run across the screen look like those little bed bugs that bite you. I don't know, but anyway, uh, or little bugs that you see crawling the wall all the time. Weren't you already in this room? What? I think you were already in this room. Maybe not. So I see. I'm backtracking, and I think I know where to go. But I I I wait. No, I think I go. Like, lay a bomb right there and 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 move down. Yeah, but right now, I think right now I'm trying to get... I don't have the bomb yet, I don't think. Do I? Oh, no, you don't. That was that room that uh, you were in part one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that was the bomb room. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I'm trying to get the bomb right now. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you're on your on your way going back to get the bomb. This game's the bomb. Yep. Oh, it is definitely. And um, yeah, I loved this game when I was a kid. This music, this heroic music right here, I really love. And I remember a friend of mine in high school bashing the song and said, "No, shut up." Sounds cool. You shut up. I was a Metroid fanboy. You shut up. <laughs> you shut your mouth, sir. You answer me and shut up. <laughs> you sit down and shut up. <laughs> shut up and answer me. <laughs> like n next Friday, answer me. No, wait, say, say one more thing. Say, oh, oh, say one more. <laughs> you told me to shut up. <laughs> Here we go. Now we're back to where we were. Yeah, I got the now missile. The yeah. Watch out for the flying uh, guys. Uh, SCU taught us, uh, I don't know, taught us the trick, but he showed us uh, Samus naked. <laughs> <laughs> and believe it or not, the video was removed for nudity. No, I'm just kidding. What? I don't oh. think it was. Anyway. Bombs. That looks like a safe right there. Safe crackers. <laughs> safe auto. Oh, that's a that's a local commercial. <laughs> safe auto. Okay. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, I'm a Gakko fanboy. I posted this video on my Raw More channel on SC2K, and this one member was like, because I couldn't describe the enemies. I go, that flying thing is getting in the way, and this flying uh, bug, and he goes. Those things are called zippers, and the other ones are called rippers. If you're going to describe a characters in the game, get it right. Zippers and rippers? Yeah. Whoa. I like, hey, Mr. Uh, not a lot of uh, thinking there going on. Hey, Mr. Butthurt. Uh, they need to delete his comment. I guess you realized he was a douche, finally. Uh, yeah, go call the ambulance. Yeah. I'm like, sorry. I mean, man, fanboys. I mean, I'm sorry, I, you know, I don't know the character of every single tiny, ins insignificant, uninspired character in Metroid. Yeah, you don't have to be an expert to play the game. You just play the game. You have, you know, you play the game because you want to have fun. When you're a kid, screw instruction books. Just play the freaking game. Screw the storyline and stuff. You know, when you're a kid, play the freaking game. You don't have to be Mr. Uh, have everything right. You know, this isn't Skip Rogers, you know. Yeah. You know, just like uh, Motorhead said, time to play the game. Exactly. You just you want to play the game. You don't. You know. It's all about the game, and now you play it. That's actually. I think you just passed the point where you get the bomb or not the bombs, uh, like the freeze ray or something. We well, see when I tested this ROM out before I released it, uh, before <laughs> recording, um, I went down there and I couldn't get back up. I kept on falling through this sand. I was like, oh well, shoot, what do I do? And uh, yeah, I, I've never, it's never good at this game, ever. Super Metroid is what I can uh, run through in my sleep boy, after I remember everything first, because it's been a while since I played it, but Super Metroid is a much easier game than this. Now I'm going to sound like one of those guys we were just talking junk about, where you have to freeze the enemies and then jump on top of them to get back up. Yeah, you do, but, uh, you know, I don't have to act it. it's, it's, Yeah, it's, it's difficult. It really is. I think I'm going to try to go to Norfair next, but I don't think I'm ready for it. I don't think I'm equipped yet. Yeah, you need the freeze power. That's... I need more power than what I got, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Get through Norfair. Norfair. Which has awesome music, by the way. And check out MetroidMetal.com, people. Oh, man, awesome remix. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, well, yeah, I had the right... Well, it's not my site, so I can plug it without being shamed. Or being ashamed. For shame, for shame. <laughs> Why do you fart when you get hit? Oh, yeah. I, mean, oh, yeah. I don't. I don't. Master hand hates that. Uh, I don't, don't want to hear that. They don't fart. That's why they call rippers. Huh? <laughs> uh. Oh, at, at least we're yeah <laughs> rippers. At least we're staying on topic, you know. Yeah. Stay on topic here. Grab another E. Stay on topic here. Okay. Uh. Now where are we going? Yeah, somebody posted a comment, I think, in one of my Metroid videos. Uh, I got a lot of respect for you playing these games. I don't see how you can put up with constant backtracking and all that stuff. Well, yeah, I can see that too, but it's a great game. It's worth it. 
Yeah, you're just having fun, you know, just having a good old time. If you think about it, in a lot of these adventure games you backtrack. That's with a lot of these games. I'd like to say something right now. If you don't like it, then don't watch. If you don't like it, turn the video off. Straight yeah. up. Turn the video off. That said, we got two words for you. No. Suck it. Um, I was going to say, get off, but, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I said a bad word. Uh, that's nasty. You say get off, Ronnie. They don't want to get off on that. This court is being recorded. Okay, now we're bored and running out of material here. Um, not because this game's boring, but because I keep doing the same thing over and over. That's alright, we're still having fun. Yeah, it's That's fun getting about. caught. People need to remember that, you know, when, when, when they're getting on YouTube and they're experiencing YouTube, they need to do it because they're having fun. Yeah, not, just like Jedi said, do it because you have fun, not force yourself to do it or... Not or subscribers or, or, you know, a million views. Just do it because you want to have fun doing it. Because you, if you're not having fun, you're going to stress yourself out. And to yeah. and I know, place to stress <laughs> yourself out. And I know Viv and Angry Nintendo Kid make themselves look stupid, but back then, if they were having fun doing that, let them have fun. Yeah. Even haters, you know, if you're having fun being a hater, then, you know, do that, but... Don't do it on the SCQK channel. <laughs> yeah. Well, you will die. You will die, immortal. That's right. As I, as I go to hell, I mean, Norfair, uh, we'll see you guys in part three. Peace. And welcome back to part three. This is Ron Moore along with Jeff from Strictly Sega, Antarctica, and we Guy, 1003. Or else in 39, but whatever. <laughs> it's all the same. And now here we are back in Metroid. And now I'm in Norfair. Oh, popcorn poppers over here messing with me. Now Get I can't remember why I like the Super Nintendo version of this. It's hard to tell what's what on here. The graphics are kind of just like, like Samus looks kind of like a blurred. I don't know something mixed. To, it's weird. Yeah. Crazy. Plus right now the video's not finished processing. Oh, okay. I can do that. <laughs> we need blast processing. All right, yeah, more, you do. more missiles. Not rockets, J-Man. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Alright, secret passage! Secret passage way. But you have to take it anyway. It's confusing. I love the music in this, in this level right here, Norfair. Uh, yeah, this game has great music. It's classic. Metroidmetal.com <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug. Well, at least I'm not plugging my own thing and plugging somebody else's. So that's true. So it's not really shame. It's shameful. I don't know why people say that. Anyway, I don't know why it's shameful. I mean, I can just be like strictlyzigga.com. <laughs> now, if I get on saying uh, Rommore uh, uh, dot com, uh, Rommore dot com. Uh, <laughs> actually, there is a Rommore dot com. It's a teacher. His name is Ron Mower. And that's he, awesome. Yeah, weird. <laughs> I got sued for to my need to change your name. Uh, ah, what? Okay, I gotta go back. Can't go there. Suck it here. Oh, watch out, uh, Orville Redenbacher. Yeah, for the Jif I like Jiffy Pop. I, I don't, Jiffy Pop sucks. Uh, uh, Jeffrey Pop. <laughs> Jiffy Lube? Jiffy Lube. Jiffy Lube. Uh, that sounds kind of wrong. Lube. Jiffy Lube. Okay, Master Hand. Uh, yeah, seriously, dude. Not Master Hand. That's, that's true. Uh, that, that, um, that, that's not. Everyone, that, everyone would be thinking about it. I swear. So, so uh, anyway, back to the actual gameplay. Yeah, well, yeah. Come on, Jeff. Aha! Uh -huh, look. Aha! Uh -huh, that guy's stuck. He can't get me. Craziness. It's madness. Uh, uh, only on this channel can you see this much craziness. Oh yeah, this ECW craziness. Exactly. It's mainly because of me. <laughs> and well, I think. No, I think you're stuck. Who let the dogs out? I I don't know. Hear you dogs, did, Hear dogs barking in somebody's background. Probably me. Probably Sorry. me. Can't okay. really help the dogs. Well, tell them They're... tell them bitches to shut up. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> hey man. I mean, hey man, run more. What? Are they they female dogs, right? No, they're male. Oh, well, never mind. Tell them son of a no. Uh. Tell them bastards. <laughs> Tell dogs but bastards. They, they, they know who their mother was. Oh, uh, okay. What about the daddy? What about the daddy? 
Yeah, the mom and dad lived together, and we bought the dogs from the people <laughs> who owned them. Anyway, uh... Yeah, anyway. Dogs and Metroid. There you go. Um, yeah, dogs and Metroid go so well together. Uh, exactly. Shut up, Jeff. <laughs> hey! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> oh my god. That hurts so much. Best comeback ever. That made, that made me cry. <laughs> ECW. <laughs> Uh, let's see what's on this side of hell. I mean, North here. It does look like hell. <laughs> it does get so bad. Red. Hey, you, you, need, you need Doom Guy over here, though. I don't see Doom Guy. Who? Oh. Oh, oh Doom Guy, you go to hell. Oh, yeah. And you Doom bash Satan. Oh, yeah. Hey, you, you bash Satan's head in with your forehead. <laughs> Double barrel shotgun we need in this Metroid. Yeah. Yeah. You always need bullets. No, 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 Samus needs a BFG. That should be, that should be something Skip should say. Don't forget to pack extra ammo. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, worth, worth, useful advice from Skip Rogers. <laughs> believe Thank it you, or not, Skip Rogers. Ripley's believe it or not, you can jump over bullets. The power <laughs> is yours! <laughs> but you ain't no Captain Planet. Ah, uh, dang, I need the high jump boots. Super jump boots. No, be, do do the thing like in Super Mario Bros. 2, just duck and charge. And then super jump. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Man, I suck at this game. Yeah, there should be a let's suck. Let's suck at Metroid. Yeah. yeah sounds cool. Yeah. I know we guy likes to suck something, but let's continue on. Oh, oh. Why don't you like go suck a lemon? No, I said lo I meant lollipop. He likes his yeah. lollipops. I don't like lollipops. I like um those, what do they call the... I don't know, I forgot what they were called. They're candy on a stick, okay? That's a lollipop. Ring pop! Well, it's, I'm talking about a certain brand that I don't remember. What happened to the ring pop? Ah! Oh. Baby bottom pops, baby oh, bottom pops. I'm about to die right here. No! Yeah, about to, uh, freaking reappearing blocks. Freaking... Yeah, I mean, uh, reappearing Ooh, alright. Freaking Nessun Mandela. I don't know, that makes no sense. Right, I thought there was a reference I didn't get, but anyway. No. Yeah. Wow, this blob is just insane. It's purple and... Free Mandela! Free black. Mandela! Alright. Ah, uh, What is that thing? Looks like the thing from Action 52 in that one game. Yeah. Freaking uterus. Whatever. <laughs> oh, what is the game? I, damn it. Oh, I can't oh, think of it. Oh, yeah. Bits and bleep. No, that's the wrong one. That's grid. I can't remember. Okay, I need the ice beam to freeze. I need my freeze power and these enemies to jump up there in the wall, I think. So many like power-ups. You need everything in this game. You I, can't get anywhere without a certain item. Yeah, I can't. I, I probably could bomb myself up there, but I'm not good at doing that on this game. Super Metroid, I can do the bomb technique, but not on here. Uh, yeah, I love Super Metroid. That was fun. This one, I don't know. It just seems like I couldn't get into because I never it's played the first It's harder, or maybe just because you suck, because you can't like you're too much of a wolf to be like. I you can't know what? Super Metroid. And death. Game over. Okay, Super uh, Metroid is like the best Metroid game ever. I need you to write that password down. Did you see it? No, what kind of password no. was that? <laughs> All right, well, Those I'm, question marks. Well, I'm going to go back to Brenstar because I'm not ready for Norfair yet. But but does everyone agree with me Super Metroid is the best Metroid made? Well, I haven't uh, I can't I say that I because I haven't played all the Metroids, but the best... Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah me too, Metroid. actually. I didn't get into Metroid. I, played, I, never actually. Played, I never played Metroid Prime 2 or 3. I didn't play no, the Fusion, but... I never played the Prime series. I played a little bit on GameCube, but mostly just my only experience with it is Super Metroid, but it's such an awesome game. Yeah, because that's, you know, apparently it's the best one. That's the one everyone else has played, I guess. Yeah, I, played, played, I remember I got that for Christmas one year, and it was just, like, awesome. I played Metroid Prime, the first one, and I just did not get hooked onto it because I was disappointed in the fact that it was a first-person shooter instead of the, a two. Yeah, you know? I, don't, I don't like that. Yeah, I mean, look what they did with Bionic Commando. They could have made a Metroid like that. I would have played that. Yeah, but they made it first person. I, someone told me you did it wrong. I was like... <laughs> no, I, I meant, Ron, how they, they remade Bionic Commando just like the game, just with better graphics. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, like NES. I know. Just enhanced. They should have done that. This is Metroid. Yeah. I mean, uh, the Metroid Prime. Yeah, they, that's what I ho wish they would have done. That would have been awesome. I was well, really damn, whoever made that series. Oh yeah, Retro Studios or whatever. I mean, yeah, as a, as a Sega fan, I didn't play much Nintendo, but my mom had a Nintendo, so I just got to enjoy Metroid and Mario and all those little games too. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Your mother had one. 
Yeah. yeah, I got to enjoy the best of both worlds, Nintendo and Sega. Your mother's a gamer. Oh yeah, she's got <laughs> pretty much every Atari console, Nintendo console, yeah. She she actually bought herself a Wii. I own a PS3 and she's got a Wii. That's cool, I want to meet your mother. Okay. So How I met your mother. <laughs> Yeah. Alright. Video games are were born in where she just seems cool. Video yeah, games she are, is, she's what? cool. What? It's alright, Ron Mower. Video games are in your blood, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. They they run in my blood, they run thick in uh, my blood. I think I'm the only yeah. person in my family that ever cared about video games. Nobody else did. Well my mom was the first one out of her family. I'm way different from my family. I think the only one in my family liked wrestling, except my grandparents. Oh my dad liked it back then. But video yeah. games though, so, uh I'm like the only one that really cared about. Yeah, you got a good family if they all like video games. Yeah. Like mine. Not mine, I think I'm the only one. So wow. hopefully one day I'll have a son that would pass on my video game genes. Video game genes. <laughs> video game genes. Pass on my video game genes to him. Actually, I actually do have a pair of genes that have like Mario characters on them. So get it never mind, that was dumb. Alright. I'm sorry. I used to have G.I. Joe underwear. <laughs> Uh, Joe. That's a real American hero. <laughs> hey, nobody wanted to hear that, but anyway. There's a real well, American hero under those... Never mind. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway. You I, gotta get the... You gotta get it. I think this is where I get the ice beam. Wait. Ice beam. Do, do. Kill it. Is there, is there a garbage truck backing up? I hear a beeping. Beep. Beep. <laughs> beep. That's probably I don't me. know, man. I don't know. Backing yeah. up. There it is. All right, guys. As we get the ice beam, I uh, will see y'all in part control. Have fun, guys. Enjoy. Bye. -bye. All right. Welcome back to part control. This is Ron Moore along with Jman46241. Yes. Hello. And this, let's see how far I can get this time. Oh, we got the freeze ray. Awesome. Yeah, I got the freeze power. Yes, that's good stuff right there. Yeah. It does kind of suck a little bit, uh, because when you're shooting enemies, you got to shoot them, like, twice as much, because one shot freezes them, and then one shot hurts them. Yeah. But now... But it I, be very useful. Now I get the platforms that I can't reach before by using my freeze power. Use your freeze power. Ah, uh, come on, where's that platform? What? Over a little bit. Yeah. Ah. Oh, right. No, to the left. No, to the left. Arr. And ah. There you go. Oh. There we go. To the right. To the left. To the right. left. Right there. Yes. Ah, oh, dang. What? Now how did it get up there? Ah, oh, wait. Good. You get to do a Super Mario Brothers jump. I gotta wait till this thing form. Uh, I'm not good at the bomb technique in, in regular Metroid. Now I gotta wait for this thing to reform, and it's gonna damage me. I think. Oh no. 1,000, 4, 1,000, now! Ah, now, ouch! Okay, there we go. FCU is just watching this right now, shaking his head. Oh, you suck. <laughs> listen to my facts. The facts I sent you. Listen, listen to my tips, my skip tips. I love the music in this game. I said it for the fifth time. This game is ECW. Oh, back away. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, Jeff. <laughs> hey, you know what, Ron? <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Porcupines of death. That is... Yeah, that's the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog prototype. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Doors. Doors open. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Watch out for the doors. Yeah, the techno music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, now let's see if I can get up here. My freeze power. Oh, come on! Ooh. Man, I shot that thing. Come on, broken gun controls. <laughs> oh, now, I would have to agree with the Ooh. Nintendo kid on two things that he said about this game. One, the bullets or the beams don't shoot far. I know you get the long beam, but, you know, ah. 
but I don't know, and, and like, in Super Metroid, there was no, I don't think there was no long beam, you know? I mean, you know, when you shoot a beam or a gun in real life, I know it's a video game, but come on, use more logic. I know that, I guess, they're making it part of a challenge, but come on, it's supposed to go all the way across the screen, you know, it should. There's actually, there's a long beam weapon in this game. I know that's what I'm saying, I know there's a long beam. But it shouldn't have to include that, it should automatically shoot across the screen the whole time. It adds to the challenge. It's like Mega Man and Contra, come on. Challenge. And the other thing I, I agree with the Angry Nintendo Kid on is the beeping, constant beeping when you're about to die. Yeah, that's very annoying. Why can't it just beep a few times like in Ninja Turtles? Uh, Zelda's guilty of that too. Yes. I mean... Yes, it is. I hate that. It gets annoying. You're like, well, hurry up and get energy. Well, you know, maybe we can't get energy yet. And I'm not ready to go to Brinstar yet, I don't think. I think I need to get the long beam first here in Norfair. Uh, yes. I think there's more... I mean, Norfair. And here in... Uh, I, I still... I don't know what part of the game I'm at. I, I think I think it's still Brinstar right here. But I was about to... That, Brinstar. That entry right there was like the depths of Brinstar, I think. Yeah, that's where uh, I think uh, Crate is. Yeah, that's where you fight Kray. North Fair is where you fight Ridley. Ridley's, believe it or not, you can jump over bullets. <laughs> and then, of course, Turian is where Mother Brain is. Criteria, or Cafeteria, whatever that world is called, Super Metroid, is, that's not in this game. Terria. Yeah. I think. I don't know. You don't meet the... That's S-E-U-E-U. Yeah, that guy. That's E-U-100. You don't meet the criteria to beat this game. Yeah. But despite really the, have the criteria to talk right now. Yeah. Despite the minor stuff that annoys you, this game is still ECW. Yeah, I mean this is the, the breeding grounds for great games. Yeah. Giant mosquitoes now. Oh, 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 Back in the corner. Oh, you got pwned, Aran Samus? Is it Aran or Aaron? I don't know. I think it's Aran. Might be Samus, I don't know. Seamus? Is it an Irish guy, Seamus? Iran. <laughs> I ran so far away. Samus, I ran. I should have done a... Uh, a parody video or like troll people to make like make fun of this game. So you play a Samus I ran. That makes sense. And what are these things? Bullets? I don't know. <laughs> Shameless. <laughs> there is a wrestler in East in the watered down version of ECW today named Seamus. For Seamus. Yeah. I'm a Seamus of you. So where, where are we headed off to now? We, we're going to get the long shot, right? Seamus plug. Huh? Uh, yeah, I think the long shot. But not, not by a long shot, though. Not by a long shot. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I still think the Zelda series is better than the Metroid series. Um, You're not a Zelda fan, are you? Well, I am a, a Zelda fan. Um... But it's mostly limited to uh, the Super Nintendo and the N64. Uh, or, but not Majora's Mask, just uh, Ocarina of Time. And or Ocean uh, Area or whatever it is. And not the original. And not the original. Majora's Mask is okay, it's not as good as Ocarina of Time. Or Ocarina, whatever you want to call it. Oh no, that's Turian, I can't go there yet. Wrong room. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You know, I like a, a Zelda 2 a little bit. A little bit. It's alright. I never got into it. I hate it. That Retro Gamers review of Battle of Olympus or whatever yeah. looks better, really. Yeah, it's a pretty decent game. It's another that uh, Corn Jack has done. Yeah. The Corn Jack plug. Play it through, Action 52. Has he done that one? Uh, no. I'm sure he will in the future, though. I know that uh, one kid from Ireland did it, but I never watched all the parts. Yeah, it's like you need some uh, serious 
the uh, pages. I, I don't think he survived after that. <laughs> that was probably like his uh, his last video ever. <laughs> his, last account got, his account got suspended because that was just inappropriate to show people. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. No, uh, it's too horrible. Oh, uh, here's the long shot. I do believe. And there's the beefy music. Oh God. Ah, uh, no, I've already been here. This is why. Oh, uh, this isn't. Oh man, I, I was pretty sure that was the long shot, but I guess not. No, I looked. The, I looked at the. Um, what's it called? The door over there on the left side of the screen. Yeah, it's already blown open. No, it opened. I think. I think it's called the long beam. Technically, I think the long shot is the advanced hook shot from Ocarina of Time. Well, either way, you need rockets to get in. Rockets. <laughs> Believe it or not, you can jump over rockets. <laughs> Rocketeer, this is a hard game, so keep practicing. Oh god, the Rocketeer. I never played that. What a terrible game. I had a t-shirt when I was a kid, the Rocketeer. <laughs> it was a pretty decent movie, but just, you know. I never even seen the movie, it had a t-shirt. I never even seen the movie, it had a t-shirt. I had the Rocketeer sticker on my, on my binder in third grade, too. I don't know why. Guess yeah, it's, cool. it's an alright movie, it's decent. We know how movie-based games go. Yeah. I wonder why there hasn't been a Metroid movie. Because they ruin it. Yeah, most likely. Most likely. And we're out of time, so we'll see you part cinco. Oh. Later. Oh. All right. Take care. All right. Welcome back to part five. This is Ron Moore, along with the J-Man, J-Man 46241. What's happening? And let's see if I actually do something this time. <laughs> yeah, there you just did something. Yeah, I died. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright. Excellent. Okay. Breeze power. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you got that in the last part, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, alright. Yes. Well, the, I think it was at the end of part three, but anyways. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Awesome. Awesome. So, we, we're going to go to Norfair? Um, I'm not sure yet. Let me, uh, I'll probably the, I think the next play, no, Norfair, i got to beat Crate first before I ever go to Norfair, I think. Uh, but, so you got to go to, uh, I forgot the name of it now. Yeah. Okay, I need to get the long beam, and I think I know where it's at. Right. Oh, yeah, because we were in that room, and it, it glitched. Yeah, and, uh, let see, you were saying, no, you're in the right room, don't go back. And Yeah. <laughs> it, it, in every room, uh, if you don't see the door, the full door, it looks like it's already open when it's not. And then that made me think it was open, and so I went back. And then the whole time, that was the right room to get the long beam. Watch out for the glitches. Yeah. The glitches could glitch you. <laughs> the glitches think, make you make an extra part. Yeah. I think the long beam is up here, if I remember. Yeah. I think it's like straight, just all the way up. If yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. You should find out. <laughs> now, I like how you're doing all those jumps there without flipping. Yeah, because that's, uh, it helps me better, land better. Oh, well. Never mind. See, <laughs> I had to uh, not glitch. What's it called? Uh, jinx myself. Oh yeah. I had to glitch myself. This was like an X fifty two game, but a real, real cool one. <laughs> <laughs> Star Evil. Yeah. Metroid Evil. Super Metroid. I do believe this is the room. Yeah. With the blue plants. It's freaking giant mosquitoes. <laughs> oh. Trapped. Yeah. Trapped. Use your rockets. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now you use your rockets. Yay! Da -na 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 -na. Got time. Let's see what's over here. 
Nothing. I already knew I was going to get the long beam. I, I'm commentating like I'm doing a let's play, but oh well. <laughs> this is the S2K channel. It's random commentary. A let's play mixed with commentary. Yes. There was <laughs> one part, I think it was like part three, where I, for like a minute I thought, like, <laughs> like we were commentating on you playing like right now. It was like, oh, wait a minute. The YouTube I'm talking. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do Sometimes I don't feel like spoiling things for people. Yeah. They got to play dumb. Train. Uh, apologize for the train in J-Man's background. <laughs> What's one, going on out there? This is the Train Man, Train Man 46241. I remember one podcast where we uh, we started the show and the train, that's when the train came. Yeah, right <laughs> at the beginning. Yeah, it was like the loudest train ever. Welcome to the S2K show. <laughs> All right, now they got the long beam. I think I got some more unfinished, unfinished business. Unfinished. Yeah, it's not Mr. Lady right there. Yeah, we got some unfinished business, right? <laughs> Ex Express Freight Park Bus. Yeah. <laughs> Six and a half ten. <laughs> Mr. Lady, the Metroid. <laughs> oh shit. Ah <laughs> oh, shoot! Yeah, we have to we have to tone it down. Ready G version. <laughs> Stay on tone. Stay on tone here. Grab another E. Yeah, you do need another E, big time. <laughs> yeah, really. Ah, oh, die. Okay, that was a waste of time. You, you? Okay. Alright, this is much more convenient though. I can shoot all the way across the screen. Yeah, instead of two inches from your face. Yeah, I hated that. I think Nintendo realized that was kind of a dumb thing to do. Uh, so in Super Metroid, you start out with, you know, a with beam that shoots, all, yeah, shoots all the way across the screen. Yeah, definitely in that game. I mean, you kind of needed it right off the bat. Yeah. yeah. With you know, with the addition of all the extra weapons that you had in that game. You know. Yeah. It's kind of like I think it was oh, uh, Contra Three for uh, Super Nintendo. I think you started off automatically with the machine gun. Oh uh, yeah. I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah, now that I can, I can go up here. Ah! <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, if I quit falling off, I get knocked off. That guy. Ah, uh, Galaga. He takes like 3,000 shots to kill. Yeah. Ah! Oh, I need a high jump boots. Yeah, that's, you just gotta wait for that guy to fly up there at the right time. Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, let me, let's go down here. It's over here. There we go. Oh, that's where I came from. <laughs> I forgot too. Well, I'm gonna go back to that green room, the greenhouse. The greenhouse effect. Uh, the greatest Metroid player of all time, FCU 100, told me to uh, go in that room and go through the wall. I think you go through the wall or like kind of like an invisible opening. Hmm. Yeah. Come on, man. You got the quicksand. Whatever that's called. What is, what's that supposed to be? It takes away my life. It's... Um, I don't know. I always thought it was sand, but yeah, it's like poisonous sand. I guess. Yeah, you said there was... Okay, we gotta go back to the green room, and then there's a wall you can go through? Yeah. Can see if that's a boot. <laughs> For all the watchers out there, no, we did not fall asleep. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This we're not strictly Sega America. And you know what, Ronnie? <laughs> happens. Everybody fall asleep. <laughs> Thanks, Skip. Just stay awake. Make sure to keep your eyes open. <laughs> I've actually heard people sleeping with their eyes open. I don't know how they do that. I think I did it when I was a kid. I'm not sure. I don't know how you can... I think you're so tired. I mean, I, don't, I, don't, I can't explain it. Okay, I think this is the green room? Yep. Yes. Okay, I think I know what he's talking about. Like, you can get into a ball and then bomb, like, a, and yeah. do yeah. some pipes or something. Yeah. Ah, quit coming out of the pipes. This ain't freaking Mario Brothers. <laughs> ah, more pipes. Oh, no, 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 oh! Oh. I think sometimes there's well there's just those those little spiny guys in there sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, I gotta watch out for those. Little boogers. Yeah. Okay, what? Haha, <laughs> what? Laugh out loud, what? <laughs> Alright. Now now we can go get lost somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we get lost this time in a different part of uh, Zeebs. I think my, my video quit freezing. Okay. Come on, YouTube. Get the quality together. Uh, this video has been removed. Uh, yeah. We're dissing YouTube. Inappropriate dissing. Like, come on! Die! That's ridiculous! Come on! Well, yeah, that's what sucks about the freeze. The freeze power is you gotta shoot everything twice as much. Yeah. Whoa, that thing died quick. Yeah. You got pwned. Oh yeah. Rockets. All right. I think there's an E coming up too. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. Well, let's try to get past this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, ah, ah, here we go. Oh. oh. Uh -oh. Well, we'll see what lies past this in part six. See you later. And welcome to part six. This is Ron Moore, along with We Guy Three Hundred Nine and Low Star Hero Twenty One. Moles, arrays. And let's see if I can get out of here. Oh, there yeah. we go. Oh, that was easy. And for the last time around, you're not Spanish. Stop saying the parts in Spanish. <laughs> yes. <That's> <laughs> you didn't even say six right. The e barrels. Yes, yeah, six. No, it's yes. Yeah. Yes. And no, that, yeah, for, for real Mexicans, but I'm not real Mexican, so I can say <laughs> Neither am I. I'm allowed to say it in a white way. All right. Uh, wait, wait, away from Spanish lessons. <laughs> yeah, this is Metroid, or however you say Metroid in Spanish. Metroid. Spanish. <laughs> Mexican Metroid. <laughs> Metroid. Uh, Metroid. Mexicroid. Don't make me go over there. I'm the only Spanish one here. <laughs> Lol's Hispanic. No, you're Mexican. I'm Hispanic. <laughs> Alright, now I got two e barrels. That choice is American. That means Zamas. <laughs> Wait, what's your real name? Yeah, Zamas are on. <laughs> Jump in the quicksand is good for you. It gives you life. <laughs> yeah. Don't touch the quicksand. The quicksand could kill you. Use the sand to your advantage. <laughs> if you can use it. Uh, 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 yeah, he's in there. Look at his life going up. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's totally awesome in the opposite world. <laughs> Oh yeah, all all day Bizarro Land. Oh, giant mosquito. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes, and spikers. Okay. Those are, I think those are based off spinies, those things. I don't know why, they just seem like it. Well, it's, this this game is made by the same company. Oh, of course. Uh, that's probably why. Metroid, get out of that suit. It must be hot in there. Don't you just want to get out and flush your hair around? And now I'm going to make my way toward the lower part of Brinstar. Okay, comment on that. <laughs> I know you're thinking that. And you should be pointing. Running and shooting. This is like Contra, except it's not Contra. Just running and shooting, running and shooting. 
Oh, this is an adventure game, not an action yeah, game. Yeah, running, shooting, and exploring. Yeah. A mixture of Contra and Zelda. It's, ah, it's yeah. Contra and Zelda? Yeah. I thought it was Contra and Metroid. Well, whatever. No, like, well... Oh, I mean, Zelda's an it's adventure. Oh, okay, exploring, yeah, yeah, so yes. That means it's... And you Z Zeltra. Zeltra. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. But we have to put Metroid in there, don't we, so that means it's... Zeltroid. The Legend of Mother Brain. <laughs> Zeltroid. No, that's it. Zeltroid. That's perfect. I got it! Woo! Right. Yeah. Achievement okay. unlocked. <laughs> Created a game combining Contra, Zelda, and Metroid. Yeah, yeah 500 points. Oh! <laughs> There's no point counter. Uh -huh. One of those two blue squares at the top. Energy tank. Oh yeah. Barrel. Energy, tank. energy barrel. Energy tank. Use it on Metal Man. <laughs> yeah. Now we can energy refill. Wait, so if you like get to zero, does like one box go away because that's like... Yeah. Oh, it's supposed to be like counting over 100. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see what's going on. Uh, I see. I seize everything! <laughs> and if you saw part 5, I finally got the long beam. Yes, you did yeah, get the was... long beam. Tee hee hee. Pun intended there. Yeah, that's what she said. Uh -huh. yeah, that's, what, that's what she would say. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Ron, I saw you towards the end of the video. You and J-Man fell asleep. Like, oh, yeah. on the controller. Yeah. <laughs> Fell asleep. Yeah. Awesome. And we, we were pulling a Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I remember that. Oh. All right, now we're going to the lower part of Brent Star to try to track down Kraid. Kraid. Sounds like um that one. Oh yeah, this music. Oh yeah, this music's ECW. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I go crazy if I went for a uh, top 100 video game music. I can't do it. Yeah, it's hard. It's too, it's too many. That's what she said. And <laughs> I try and put like one game per some game or one song per game. It's just too fucking hard. I think Dead Fan 93 does that on this channel. Well, of course. Yeah, I know. And, and yeah, he does that. He does. He has a hundred going on. But like, er, Metroid is like, um, it's in there. This song, the main theme, Brent Star, and one other. It's got to be in there. Of course it's gotta be yeah, yeah. You're a you're a you're a you're a you're a towel. Oh. <laughs> you're a towel! Missiles! 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 Oh, oh, no, How did you miss the missiles, man? Because of freaking bugs and gnats over here knocked me out of the way. Yeah, that's, get your that's not an excuse. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you just fail. Alright, there we go. I got the rockets. At the cost of an E chip at the cost of an E barrel. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I got phone right there. Ah, oh, freaking giant grasshoppers or whatever they are. Giant spider hoppers. <laughs> They're mechanical spider hoppers. Oh, man, I'm getting pwned this part. I know. You got pwned. <laughs> like what? Ooh. So, are you gonna fight both Kraid and his little clone bitch? It's a clone? Yeah, um, really, Kraid, if I remember right, they have, like, like, you could fight them in a different room, but it's not actually them, it's just a clone. Mecha Kraid. It's like Mecha Godzilla. I have no idea. Ask FC <laughs> FCEU. I think that's his name. They're coming out of the warp pipe! Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. This kind of does look, I don't know, Mario on the ground base, sort of. Yeah. Oh, or, oh yeah, you shipped. You oh. got murked. Yeah, you exploded. Yeah. Write the password down, Green. And man, I only it's need possible. one. It's called, <laughs> it's called Justin Bailey. Yeah. Wait, does that does the password stay for that long, or is it until you press a button? Yeah, I press a button. Okay, because I'm like, no, if it goes that fast, there's no way you can write it down in a possible time unless you have the fastest writer in the world. Yeah, and you know what's stupid? Games have a timer. They give you a certain amount of time to write a password down. What's the rush? Why are they rushing you? Test your skills. Why are they rushing you for? Roger Rabbit does that crap. It's stupid. Yeah, that is dumb. And the password will take you 10 minutes to write down, and we're only going to give you 10 seconds. It's like, what's the... Oh, it's part of the challenge. Uh, okay, who, you, whoever really thought that really... Uh, He's dying. Yeah, he needs to be shot on site. I'm going to say that, but uh, 
Never mind. I'm of course, no, we don't. We don't kill them. We, we just hunt them down, and then we'll smack them in the face and probably run away like a girl, but, yeah. I mean, seriously, that's stupid. Put a timer on the password screen. Why? Why? Somebody give me a one good reason why. For the lols. Yes. Exactly. Yes. But, um, they need to take a page from Mega Man. Yeah. I am Mega Man, and this is not my Mega How Plan. The hell? Oh, I thought it was supposed to fly over me. Oh, you died. Bullshit. Oh, right down, we got... Oh. Oh. You, you pressed that too fast. <laughs> Man, you didn't give me the time to write it down. You only have five seconds. You must have... It's part of the challenge. You gotta write fast. Red door. Red door. It's trying to teach us real life. In real life, you gotta write fast. You gotta do it fast. You gotta do everything fast. Well, yeah, skip that's projects. Just fast. Yeah. yeah, that too. Skip Rogers has his new brand of peanut butter, Skippy. Skip Rogers is very good with his hands. That's what she said. <laughs> Why would she say that Skip Rogers is good with his hands? Because he is. That can't be fact. He uses all his fingers. <laughs> Every uh, finger is important. What's the point of blowing up that... Uh oh. Oh, you can blow up the whole thing. Just yeah. just gonna point to like... Lulz. Do that. Lol, 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 lol. Why are you got so long? It's, it's not falling. Oh, it's falling. Yeah, it's not, it's it's not falling. You're, you're dead. Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, okay. lied to us. Yeah. I'm gonna die. Oh, right. oh, oh uh, yeah. okay. Well, I got pwned. Let's see if I'll get pwned again in part seven. Hooray! Well, however you say it in Spanish. <laughs> Lols. Siete, I think. Yeah. Uh, all right. See y'all later. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, guys. This is Ron Moore. Along with... Charlie from Strictly Sega and J-Man46241 and this, and this is part I'm 6 doing some strictly nintendo -ish and you can't get much more Nintendo than Metroid, can you? And this is part Sebiente or whatever you, how you say 7 in Spanish? That's like 70 or something. <laughs> there may be a part 70, who knows? Oh wait, I'm also here with Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I've got to say, this version of Metroid, I'm not even closely nearly as fond of as the Super Nintendo one. I really like the Super Nintendo version of this game. Oh, yeah. The, the Nintendo version, I feel, just, just, I don't know, just falls short. It's really impressive for what they did in Nintendo, though. I mean, Nintendo couldn't do that much, and this is quite impressive, considering. I just fell short right there. I died already in the lower part of Brinstar. Try a new, try a new door. I get pwned in this part of the game. Not the same door, no! Now let's talk about the word pwned for a second. Okay, P-W-N-E-D, right? Yes. Yes. Now, you've got many different variations of this word. You've got pwned, you've got owned, with the silent P, you've got... <laughs> <laughs> and you've got Pooned, which is the one I've heard a lot lately myself. I've, I, I'm starting to say pooned more often than pwned now. I've never now heard of pooned. What's, what's poo? Is that like prunes? Pooned. Pooned. It's like poo with an N-E-D at the end of it. Or like spoon, but with poon, you know? When you poon I a thought... spoon on the moon. Mm -hmm. Does that take on a different meaning? Well, that I one. think it's the same meaning. I just think it's a European-based word. Pwned, whereas pwned is the American based word like the Mega Drive and Genesis, you know? Like and Ryan you died got, again. Now see that that's not them. fair. That's not fair. You see that? They they didn't let me get through the door to pin myself. <laughs> that, that was a sucker punch. I mean come on. Let me get through the door and defend myself. Oh y'all can't fight me even like a man? I gotta say, they they come at you pretty quickly, don't they? There's no random flying monsters here they 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 are set to come at you yeah that's why super, that's why this game is harder than super metroid this game's cheap and also at the same time you can try to escape through a door and if the door has it closed a, a monster can fly right in there like right after you go in the door you know you're not safe it can still fly in there and attack you they do the same thing as super metroid but this game is worse yeah it's just, yeah, well, this game was actually... Oh, you didn't die good. Okay. This game was actually made by the guy who made the Game Boy, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah it's all, so, so, so I heard. Oh. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, guys. I'm sorry. But um, I, I read somewhere that this is the same guy that made the Virtua Boy and the Game Boy. Oh, you're going to get Metroid fanboys on you now. Metroid Fever oh. and Metroid Junkie and... Oh, man. Oh, Metroid I... Fever's a good friend of mine. He'll, he'll, he'll let me off because he knows I'm a Sega boy. And you died again! <laughs> oh! Here, let's see you try. Here, J-Man. All right. All right. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to try out this time. <laughs> Here we go. Give it to All Billy. Right. Give it to hey. Billy Mitchell. He'll get it. Yeah. He'll get it and have some hot sauce left over. Oh, man, if, if Billy was here, it'd be, you know... It'd be a different story. Yeah. Just yeah. Billy. Skip, 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 skip Rogers calls next. <laughs> hey, what's that you picked up when you killed him? Energy bar. Or e bar. Energy ball. Energy bar. <laughs> Energy ball. <laughs> <laughs> Energy ball. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you energy energy when you eat one. If you got this here, it'd be an energy ball. <laughs> yeah, they give you extra energy when you eat one. It gives you er extra energy when you smoke one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love the music in this oh, part. Oh, I saw that coming. Love the music in this part of the game. And you are... We can't hear it because our game's being muted. For the commentaries. But when I watch this back, I'll be sure to check out the sound. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, another one! <laughs> See? <laughs> See? <laughs> ECW. ECW. That's what the password should be, ECW. Yeah, That's honest. It's not fair. How, how have the programmers expect us to defend ourselves? I think they didn't test this game before they released it. Oh no, no. They wouldn't have ever tested Metroid. Why would you say that? Yes, a new door. Yes. A new door! Yeah, a new Charlie, look out for the blah blah blah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Rockets! <laughs> Thank you, Nintendo Kid. Hey, that music. Probably because he likes listening to, like, Jonas Brothers and whatnot. <laughs> Take that back. Oh, that kid is cool. Oh! <laughs> Honed again! They're stopping me from smoking cigarettes. What? Oh, I'm eating marshmallows. As Charlie's off topic, uh... <laughs> no, I'm not off topic. Uh, these blocks, those blocks about, on look. this window, that, the blocks uh, that, where you were previously at, they kind of look like uh, square marshmallows. So oh. it is on topic. Ah. No, hey! <laughs> no, hey, look, this, is, this is a hard fight, a hard battle. And so is fighting cigarettes. It's a hard fight. A hard battle. Exactly. And so why not therefore that with some marshmallows? And, and if you got some marshmallows, you can get through a lot easier. Yeah. Soften it up. Ah. Uh. Yeah, soften it up. It's a new campaign for marshmallows. <laughs> they should roll out a new, camp, new multi-million dollar campaign. <laughs> marshmallows. Soften it up. <laughs> Those things right there on Super Metroid. Alright, here we go again. This time you're gonna get us... Do us... Make us proud, Ronnie. Make us proud! Make us proud, Ronnie! Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, you got patched. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Yes! Oh. Run! Oh, that was close. Ronnie! 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 Oh no, you're dead, you're dead. You oh, 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 so no dead. Oh! We did! Run. Yes! Energy! Energy! Oh, that should have been a 20 energy and not a 5. That should have gave you... Energy! Yeah, after what I've been through, give me 50. Exactly. Yeah, give full tank. Yeah, give me E-barrel. There's the door, yes. Oh, don't tell me that was, like, the same I, I, I... No, it's not. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would have been sorry. <laughs> yeah, that would have been like, oh, it is! You already blew that door open right there. Yeah, but this part right here is different. But, yeah, but I found out, though, that that's kind of a waste of time to go over there. So now that I've learned that, I won't do that again. So, which game do you know better, Ronnie? Super Metroid or Metroid? Oh, Super Metroid, hands down. 
I agree as well. I mean, I beat that game on my channel a while back. I remember, I watched the whole thing. It took me a while because I haven't played that game in years. I forgot where to go. Uh, but remember I remember how you got to almost the end and then um, you lost your save state or something like that, and you had to re you had to wind back and restart the whole thing. Yeah, that or my computer crashed or something. Yeah, but yeah, but it was worth it. Yeah, I mean, that's right. No, you're right. It was your computer crashed. That's right. Yeah. So I had to work my way back there. I had to watch a video on YouTube to remember how the heck to get through uh, Meridia, and I had to kick. Yeah. How you do it? Yeah. We got the angry Nintendo kid now. Yeah. <laughs> angry Atari kid, e man. This, this game sucks, you know. This game sucks. Now you do is shoot with these bullets. And all you get is five energy. Oh, you only get twenty energy. You only get fifteen energy. It's not fair. Yeah, it's not fair. It's not fair. Oh look out! I'll set you all on fire. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, no, no. oh, 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 man. Uh, game over, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we'll try again in part eight. See y'all next time. Peace. And welcome to part eight. Eight thousand. <laughs> this is Ron Moore along with the J-Man 462.1 and Lulz Star, Lulz Star Hero 21. Yo, it's kind of fail. <laughs> uh -huh. And now we're going to try a new door. Yeah. Finally. Uh, we're not going to die as much, are we? Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I smoked too soon. Now I'm going to follow FCU's advice here and go through that door I just went to, except try not to die this time. All right. I think Samus got a big head. <laughs> She's got like a bowling ball head. <laughs> yeah. You got a big hit. Oh no. What? <laughs> Watch oh, wait a minute. Quick man. It's a dead end. What the heck? It's a trap. Bomb it. Um. Do a bomb jump. FC, you, you lied to me. <laughs> man. man. Man, give me this controller. I'll show you how it's done. FC, you, you lied to me. Yeah, and because of that, it's my turn. Okay, here's green. Here we go. Uh, go me, yes. Look at my 25 missiles. Okay, Angel. Yes. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> well, you're, hey, so, you're, you're doing good so far. Oh, oh. Oh, this is a bizarro land. I forgot. <laughs> oh, oh wow, that was bad. Oh, okay, oh, I'm wait, done. I'm putting oh, this down. Oh, wait a minute. You see that? There's no wall right there. That time. Yeah, I, che I cheated the game. I used my voodoo magic, so now I'm going to put the controller down. It's back to you. <laughs> uh, you're not the one playing anyway. I I'm the one playing. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm using my Jedi mind powers to kill you. Yeah. Fire oh, oh. Fire oh. Fire nice commentary reference. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Defeated. Well, we're not even three minutes in and you're dead, like, what, three times? <laughs> this isn't working, Captain. No, I was like, Grr. I think Samus is starting to get pissed off. She's yeah, like, man, come on, man. <laughs> Who's the idiot controlling me? <laughs> well, look at this. Now there's a wall. I mean, come on. Kill yourself. Wait. Wait. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. See, FCU didn't tell me that. He did. I'm on sub. <laughs> on sub from you FCU. You didn't, do, them. you didn't do it correctly. How'd I get the e-barrel? Yeah. Man. Man. You have to do something different than what you're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I tried everything here. Try everything. Try everything else. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Now I'm getting pwned in this part of North... North here. Of, of, uh, dang it, what's it called? Zeebs. Well, see, the thing is, is that now you went into a different room again. There's no E in here. Yeah, it's like, why is it random? Oh, dang it. <laughs> can we make it, can we make a how many times we died count, like, at the end of each video from here on out? Yeah, how many times is that? Uh. 69. That's what she said, not up. <laughs> there you go, now you're going, this is the E room. 
What room did I go to? Where to go? Uh, you went to the, the the top one on the uh, right side. You did oh. that, uh, twice, and you've been in, I think in this room like twice or three times. Okay. Oh, that's why. I'm okay, let's try this again. I'm really just trying to be the liquor over here, really. <laughs> <laughs> but don't think maybe like if in in the past when you recorded this, maybe if you tried to bomb. Ah, yeah. It's, oh. I have, it, won't, it, won't, I, it won't bomb me. I, I'm hitting. I hit, I'm hitting the right, right on the D-pad. It won't bomb myself over there. It seems like maybe you need to go into that upper room and then like go across, and maybe you'll find like another hallway, and then you can go back into that bottom room from a different path. Maybe. I'll, I'll try that next time. Okay. It's too late now. It's pre-recorded. Why didn't FCEU say this? Hi. Now he's gonna say in the comments in this video. Yeah, he's gonna be like, um, I, I told you before. You guys no, should listen. What is wrong? No, what did I? Uh, <laughs> I gotta go back and read. I think it said he told me to go to the second red door on the, which I just did. This is the second red door. Yes. And to get the E tank. Well, there oh, it is. But, but how do I get it? I don't know. See, it's like Metro. You hurry, can't hurry. jump. See, jump. Uh, it's slide. Oh, you can't, if you go the same and then jump, maybe. This ain't Super Metroid. You can't jump in midair, then turn to a ball in midair, then roll into the hole, into the space. Yeah, that's why they let you do it in the in the Game Boy Advance remake. Good old Zero Mission. Yeah. Part 120 stars. Hey, this is not Ario of, of Swallow. Swallow. <laughs> oh, swallow. Swallow. Done. Done. Walks away. Plus, plus, I don't have the jumping morph ball where I can jump as a ball. Run! Run! Oh. I think I have to, like, <laughs> take enough damage to get through the lava, the lava, then go to the other side and somehow get the E-Tank that way. I, I, I have no idea. Well, I, I, I talked to Mr. Billy Mitchell one time, and he um, suggested using the Game Genie. Oh, okay. uh, good, good old Game Genie always there for me. So I'm going, ah, uh, I'm going to go up there. Maybe it's the third there. door. Maybe you meant the third door. No, I think he said second door is where I get the E-Tank. Then the third door, he said, that's, where I, that's how I get the crate. So I'm going to try to go ahead and go to crate, even though I don't think I'm ready. Well, there we, he is. No. we have nothing <laughs> ready for anything... Before now. <laughs> this is how you get to Crate. And now we're facing Crate. Here's how you fight Crate. Now I'm getting an energy refill. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> you, do need, you do need a e bunch of E-barrels to fight Crate. That's your FCU. 1,000. Yeah. 250. So where's Crate? I think he's down here. Well. Yeah, in that, in that door over there. What's down here? Besides death? Nothing. Oh, okay. Just Maybe it's this door. Maybe that door above there was the fake crate. Yeah, I think it... Yeah, yeah it's a very fake crate. Oh, yeah, fakers. Crate is much harder in this game than he is on Super NES. Oh, I, I absolutely agree. Absolutely. I in my opinion, I think they should have still taken the time to put him in the Prime games. Because he was supposed to be in the first one. He wasn't Prime for the Prime. He's just a clumsy fat slob, really. Well, after part one, he was. Yeah, he was uh, still pretty fit in this one. Yeah, yeah. this is the Crate uh, hallway. Yeah, he, he really let himself go in between this and the Super Metroid. Here we go. Ow. He's fighting dirty already. Let's retreat, retreat. <laughs> Let me refill energy. Hey. Well, come on. Where are the bugs at? Oh, what? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I hate this game. Good. Okay. I don't hate this game. I just hate the... There's uh, some kind of cheat against him where you can, like, stand in a certain part and you can just blast him. Um, I know you could do that with Ridley, like you could uh, go underneath the platform, stand in the fake lava, and just shoot up. Yeah, that's probably Ridley then. My bad. Oh, so the lava can't hurt you? No, it still can, <laughs> because you don't have, like, uh, any upgraded suits around the time you fight them, or at least I don't think you can. FCU, tell us what to do. 
Well, I think that it's still an honor that we got to actually, that we got to create. I think that that's an honor that it was, whoa. <laughs> uh, what the hell? I'm gonna kill myself on purpose yeah. I kill myself on purpose because I want to try something else. I want to go back to create again is what I'm trying to do. Ah. Uh. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, to me to make it this far, I think this is the farest I ever made this freaking game. I never really made it that far in this game my entire life, but I still love it because that's how awesome it is. Even though it's hard and it's cheap, at, at least the game is awesome. Yeah, I think what we should do after, if we manage to beat this or if we get stuck, we should just put the password Narcus Sword and just get like infinite health. You can do that? Yeah, you just type in Narcus Sword to zero and then leave the rest blank, I believe. Well, I've heard of Justin Bailey, but I didn't hear that code. Mm -hmm. That's something new every day. I think I'll do that in part nine. I don't care if I cheat. You got a problem mm -hmm. with it? Do something about it. Uh -huh. Okay. Later. Uh, see you guys in part uh, nine, or however you say it in Spanish. Yeah, bye. All right. Oh. And welcome to part niente, or however you say nine in Spanish. No <laughs> <laughs> this is Paul Moore, along with Super Ultra J-Man and Low Star Hero. Yeah, you got it right this time. <laughs> Alright, All right, more of a Let's Fail at Metroid. Yeah. And I think I know how to get the E-Tang now. Thumbs up. Run Game Genie. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Game Genie. Yeah, run on the sand. And... Jump, hurry. There we go. There we uh, go. Okay. Oh, you almost fell off. I've been so pissed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh, no. That's the ticket. Yeah. So, what room is that? That's it. Yeah, I'm going to crate. And hopefully, I have enough energy to survive him. Uh, I think three tanks is. Enough. I yeah. hope so. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, because if not, then they start you over, and you don't, you ain't got nothing but 30 energy for the next time. Yeah, it's not like Super Metroid, where when you say you have the same amount of energy you had. Right. And there's no energy refill stations. Yeah. I complained to Nintendo one time. I called the Nintendo Consumer Service Department when I was a kid, and I said, how come, you know, when you start over Metroid, you don't start off with all the energy you had, and, you know, he goes, well, that's a different game. I said, yeah, but so it's so frustrating. Super Metroid, you start out with the same energy. <laughs> I think you do something about it, but I, you know, I was so frustrated. I was like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I got to refill my energy again by killing all these enemies and giant spiders and flies. Yeah, and it takes forever. It's half the time they don't drop anything. And then when they do, it's all... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep, there was, there was five right there. Yeah. Grr. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. It's gonna be so epic. Yeah. Uh, let's think. Um. Oh yeah. Um. I want to ask: Does that normally happen? Like when you fight Kray, like how you backed out the door in the last part after you went in his room and no enemies came out? No. What happens is, uh, you gotta go through this door right here for them to come back. Oh, okay. It's weird. It's I don't know why, but yeah. So I'm gonna refill right here. I'll wait to the fullest. The fullest extent of the law. Two more. The fullest extent fullest extent of the lulls. Hmm. Hey missiles. And Yeah, I can use some yeah. missiles. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna save right here just in case I die. Oh, okay, then you don't have to get an energy refill. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna do what FCU did. <laughs> oh. Okay, I don't know how he did it, but uh, I guess I need a toss system. He's got like oh. super yeah, it's not, going on. not working. It's so much harder than the SNES version. Oh, grr. Well, let's quit blocking, <laughs> man. Yeah, you gotta man. go in there like uh, like Commando. Yeah, like Colonel Matrix. Use moves. It ain't gonna matter if he's blocking that. Uh. Oh no, come on. Oh, home. 
Yeah, kinda. So I think space dates. Yeah, space time rewind. We need, a, uh, we need a death counter. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> we can just count it on on this on the crate. Yeah. Still got uh, syringes at you there. Yeah. You can get, you get needles. You get eight. You get eight. Yeah. And you get you're like syringes and like toenails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. Maybe, maybe I need to spray some raid on Kray. That'll be the. Oh, that'd be so easy. Balls. Balls. Uh, it looks like that's what you gotta do is freeze the the drug needles and then shoot him. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, let me try that. Oh wait, this is pre-recorded. <laughs> uh. Oh what? <laughs> His. Oh, never mind. That was just a needle. I was like, yo, his nose turned blue. <laughs> yeah. It should turn red. Yeah. I hit it in his nose. Red nose. nose. Crate. Crate deer. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, yeah, wah, there it is. Okay, get on this side. Oh. Ain't that supposed <laughs> to turn around? <laughs> right in mid -air. Oh! Go back in time. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. That'd be fun. Like, Samus, I need to tell you about the future. Oh, you died already. Never mind. My job is done. <laughs> oh, oh no. Hey, <laughs> get out of here. Shot. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, like, did this really just happen? Yeah, that would have been terrible if I couldn't jump out of that sand pit or the lava pit. Lava pit, whatever it's called. And then you have to just sit there and wait for the, you know... For your energy to run. And for all that health to just go... <laughs> that was hilarious. He's stuck now. Ah. Uh, oh. No. I had to jinx it. Lols. Yeah. That's it. I've had enough of this crap. It's ECW time. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now what? Cheater. ECW, ECW. <laughs> look at the cheat, look at the griminess, that's so ugly. <laughs> they need cheat codes in this game, I mean, this is Metroid, it's a hard game. This is ECW Samus now. Oh no, oh! He's got the long jump! Ah, ECW, ECW. That'd be funny if, like, this game, like, had anti-cheating, like... Defenses, like if you were to cheat, like the ceiling drops down on you. <laughs> like I want to be the guy. Yes, exactly. Or right, right when you defeat him, the, the game just freezes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the crowd. They're going wild. <laughs> <laughs> shit, more like I'm going wild. Like oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Infinite Energy. Forget Justin Bailey and Narcosaur. Right. This is ECW. And to think that uh, that something so simple could produce a code so powerful. Yeah. Uh, well, this is Extreme Mode. Easy Mode. Uh, yeah. That's what ECW... Easy... Uh, yeah. Easy championship. E easy winning. Yeah. Easy championship winning. Oh no. <laughs> hey, easy cheap winning. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. I should put in the code Ponage, see what that does. <laughs> Type in double dragon three, see what happens. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is gonna take a while. Yeah. See the screw it well I have the screw attack but I don't have the space jump. Right. Well, at least you got the Michael Jordan jumping going on, you know. Yeah, yeah. Makes a little you. I don't have the space jump in this game, so I can, you know, jump repeatedly in the air. Ah, grr, this ain't Mega Man. Why is it reappearing blocks? Jump, jump, slide, slide. Machine <laughs> <laughs> gun. Slump, just, just slide. Well, at least we can say this is the best game to cheat at. Yeah, and sorry FCU, I know you didn't want me to cheat at this, but you wanted me to beat this game no matter what, so... 
Here we go. Yeah, unless oh, you want to see part 78. <laughs> yeah. And I'll try to play this game as if I'm not invincible, but it's kind of hard to do. It's very tempting. Because yeah. every Cause... time you jump, you know, the enemy gets killed. Yeah. And you got... Well, yeah. Is that the best gun? I think, I believe that's the best gun. This one. Yeah, I'm using a screw attack. I'm not going to beat this game without cheating. Screw that! <laughs> uh, well, at least it's not as bad as, like, uh, how I was cheating. <laughs> Spamming the uh, super mutant ability. Oh, okay. yeah, jump up. <laughs> that was like the battle uh, attack. <laughs> no, it's like what Archangel Zero said. He put a comment on there saying it was the male orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's appreciate Metroid and all its hard difficulty. Let's appreciate ECW mode. Yeah. That too. Yeah, we should make a remix to this video except have like <laughs> ah, in this game. Uh, yeah. Damn this oh, dang it. You just destroyed your uh, your ride there. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it's going ah. <laughs> Exactly. Come on. Give me the solution for everything now. Yeah. I'm not good with the bomb technique in this game. Super Metroid no problem. This er I can barely even do it on Super Metroid. So. <laughs> Once you figure out, it's kind of like, well, at least in Super Metroid you can bomb uh, in the air, you know, and I mean, like on here, you can't jump in the air and then turn to a ball in midair and then bomb. Right. Zero Mission lets you do that, and then you could do it in Prime if you are fast enough, but even so, not really. I guess you have to be in your Prime to beat that game. Exactly. Uh, I guess you gotta be primed and ready. Yep. And now you're stuck. It would be a crime not to be prompt. No, I'm just, okay, that's enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's it for part nine. See you guys in part ten for more ponage. Later. Awesome. Later. And welcome to part Tiente. This is Ron Moore along with JMA90210. What's that? And I am getting out of Brinstar and going to finally go to Norfair. Did you say Tiente? Yeah, that's ten in Spanish, right? It's like part TNT. <laughs> no, but uh, I've been in Norfair before at the beginning of this game. Now I'm going back because I'm really prepared for it now. Yes. And now we're going to go to fight Ridley, right? Yeah. In Norfair. Yeah. Ridley's Blue or not? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Those things right there are in Super Metroid also. Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Of course, I haven't played Super Metroid in a long time. Yeah. In a while. It would be a long time to play. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And here we go. Alright, now I'm going to Cafeteria or Criteria or... Cafeteria. Yeah. No, I don't think that... I think it's still Brainstar. I, I, well, this might be Criteria also in, in regular Metroid. I don't know. I'm chronologically confused. Yeah. All I can say. I'm geographically confused. Yeah. Oh man, how can I can't kill those caterpillars? Um, they're invincible. They're oh yeah. Fine. <laughs> oh, watch it. Ooh. All these enemies aren't super Metroid, I believe. Yeah, they just... Yeah, those guys are like, they're gray, I think. Or they're some yeah. of them are gray. And I don't yeah. think you can only run through them. Yeah. I think, I'm not sure. Or you can use the plasma beam on them. I don't know. Yeah. Those are there too. Those bats, whatever they are. There's an e-push. Huh? There's an energy tank up there. No, I think it's only a Super Metroid. No, there's there's one up there. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. You can like I think freeze, it's... You can like freeze it, one of those guys crawling up the side. Oh, okay. Right on him and shoot up there and get up. Okay. But like I need it now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in ECW <laughs> That's mode. I need it. <laughs> I'm in ECW mode. Well, what the <laughs> heck is what the heck is Norfair? ECW mode does not help your sense of direction. Yeah. But it helps everything else. Yeah, I need GPS mode now. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. And those things are not flying caterpillars. Those are rippers. Get it right. Yeah. 
whatever they're called, zippers, I don't know. I believe it's pronounced repairs. Repairs. <laughs> <laughs> repairs. Was it French or? Yeah. Repairs. Get this right, stupid American. Oh. Rip, rip it in the ass. <laughs> or, uh, Arabian accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, I believe you're on the right, on the correct track. Yeah. SEU's probably yelling at the YouTube screen right now. No, no, you're going the wrong way. No, uh, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> what are you? You're going, the, you're going the wrong way, mate. I mean, I mean mate. <laughs> uh, he's from Sweden, not Australia. Yeah. No, I don't want to go down here anyway. Yeah. It's not down there. Yeah. Moron. Wait a minute, you already been down there. Yeah. Lawn mower. Rockin' Ronnie. Lowe's <laughs> mower. Yeah. I'm rockin' Ronnie. That's a long story. <laughs> Go listen to our Horrible Job Experience podcast. I, I think that was the yeah, one. This, yeah. That was a good podcast. <laughs> was a excellent yeah. podcast. Yeah. Got a lot of fun with that one. For the most part. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yay, E-Barrel. Wow, I can't believe you never got that one. Oh, I think I know what happened. I started over in ECW mode. Right, right. Like I need the E-Barrel, but I'm still trying to play like like I'm not invincible to get more of the gameplay out of it. <laughs> As I kill five more enemies with the screw attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much unavoidable at this point. You know? Yeah. Where are you, North Fair? This is no fair. Yeah, this is not fair. We can't find North Fair. Well, even though I'm using a screw attack, I'm getting screwed right now. Yeah. Oh, you can go up here now. Well, I've been, I've been up there before. Uh, Remember, I think it's a part three or four. I got the, uh, I went to the green, the greenhouse. Oh, okay. Remember back in part 22 when I went up there? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Remember part 59 when... Yeah. <laughs> Super Metro was 25 parts, or 26 was just the ending. I wonder how many parts this would be. 83 and a half. Depends on, depends on how long it takes me to find Nordfair if I can find Kraid. Oh! Look at that. I'm going to go up, go up here just in case. No, I don't think Nordfair is up there, though. No, I think it's like south. I mean, lower. I don't know if south yeah. would be correct, but... Yeah, that makes sense because, you know, it's hell, and Nordfair is like a <laughs> fiery place. Yeah, it is like a, yeah, liquid hot magma. Yeah. It's below the beach, Mon. Yeah. Oh, stupid. <laughs> right in the, in the beach, in the sand. Sand trap. Yeah. I see the line in the sand. Evolution. The music. Oh, uh, is that the, one of the wrestling? Yeah. Yeah. Triple H. Yeah. Motorhead. Time to play the game. <laughs> I had a game. <laughs> Sounds like an old car mechanic. Yeah. It's like he's constipating while singing. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't want to hear that. Uh, yeah, that's way over the line. Way over the line. Yeah. This video's been removed due to shocking and disgusting content. Yeah. And for cheating. If you're using the ECW mode. And for getting lost many times. This video has been removed by Vince McMahon due to using ECW mode. Yeah. I own ECW. <laughs> I own everything. I own Metroid now. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine WWE bought out Nintendo. It would never be the same. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going in the wrong direction. Yeah. Oh, well. Yep. Yep, I definitely the wrong direction, yeah. Yeah, you're right, it is south. Yeah. Let me go south. Go down south. Yeah. Wait a minute. I'm going to check something up here real quick. No, okay, never mind. <laughs> now, no, for sure, we go south. Yes. Whee! Oh. I seen somebody do a trick one time where they kind of like got in the door a little bit and then just like started jumping and they like went up the wall, like somewhere. Probably FCU and his toss glitches. 
Yeah, I, I don't remember who I seen do it, uh, and I, I don't remember if it was the TAS. I think you can just like actually do it, you know, like yeah. you use you don't have to slow down, use the slow whatever. Yeah. Oh, thought that was just weird. Yeah. Yay, rockets! Yay for rockets. Retro rockets. You always need rockets. Yes. Yeah, it was just a pretty cool trick. I, I think you can you save like a lot of time. Yeah. Like skip through one part. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. If anyone knows, please comment. Please comment. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. North Fair. Yes. North Flare. Woo. <laughs> and the train. Uh, I didn't know there was a train in North Fair, but anyway. <laughs> I love the music in North Fair. Yeah, me too. Especially the Metroid Metal version. I'd say, uh, besides um, where we were just at, that music, um, this is probably my favorite. This might be my favorite, though. Yeah. And this right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Those guys, like, shooting coins at you? The popcorn poppers. I don't know yeah. what the heck. Where's Orville Redenbacher at? It's <laughs> wild. I think technically you might think that Brandstorm music's better, but I personally like this one better. The the music. Yeah. Ah. What? <laughs> Fine. Fine. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, pretty much like all the music in the game. Um, yeah, pretty much all of it. Uh, but probably this one the best. I don't know. Especially the lower North Fair music in Super Metroid. Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. They also had that music in uh, Metroid Prime. In the, in the Primes. Oh, yeah. I never got that far in Prime. I watched uh, Dead End. Now that, now that looks like lava down there, not the other part of North, uh, North, uh, Zeebs. Right. It looks like sand. This, that's, that looks like lava. Sand lava. Yeah, it looks like hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a Billy's been here. Yeah. This is his favorite game. Let's say, yeah, he, he probably just runs around in that room. And... <laughs> yeah. Surprised he hasn't played this game yet. Hey, Billy Mitchell, I challenge you to, uh... Get past uh, uh, something. I don't know. Do something in Metroid. <laughs> I challenge you to put in the Justin Bailey code. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The ECW code. And that is it for now. See you guys in part 11 take. Later. Later. Welcome to part 11 Tayway. And T. <laughs> 11 team. Yes. This is Tom Moore, along with J Man nine oh two one four six two one eleven team. Yes, Oval Team. Yeah, I was about to say the Oval Team. <laughs> <laughs> More of Norfair. Yes. Pop popcorn poppers and hot sauce. Jiffy Pop. Yep. Jiffy Pop and hot sauce. Hey, those things are on Super Metroid also. Fuel? Fuel? Like a techno song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those bubbles on top of the ceiling. On top of the ceiling. On the ceiling. On top of the ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> they are, um, I don't know. You got these Mario Brothers bricks now on the, on the ceiling. Yeah, they're like, um, like Japanese Mario blocks. Yeah. That's one plan I wouldn't want to visit. <laughs> This is the hottest place to be. <laughs> this is the hottest place of the year. Yeah. As far as Kip Rogers is getting dessert. Those look like uh like alien icicles or something. Alien syndromes. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, this is this should this should be Bubble Man stage. Yeah. Um, it's like Ben. And he's oh. high bubble man. 
Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. You got these bubbles. What's up with that? Oh, and you got pigs shooting fire. Yeah. Oh, stop. Oh, oh get out of the hot sauce. <laughs> well, I tried Billy's hot sauce and I got hurt. Oh, what is this? Uh, let's find out. Well, whatever it is, I already got it. Okay, yeah, I guess it could. I mean, there's really nothing that you could find at this point to uh, top ECW mode. Yeah, it's probably the plasma beam. I don't know. Help us, FCEU. What yeah. <laughs> I think you can drop down beneath that uh, hot sauce down there. Yeah, I'll try that later. Ah. Grr. <laughs> Just the hard way. Or epic jumping. Yeah. Oh, come on. Real life, they can't reappear. I love this music. Ah, oh, man. Ouch. Ah, <laughs> oh, stuck. Come on. Yeah, let's go in here. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where Ruby's at. <laughs> He's not here. Yeah. Yay, more rockets. Oh, it's a nice uh, front pose there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Freeze! <laughs> Literally. Alright, where are you really? Oh, I need to get rid of Ridley. <laughs> I need to take my Ridlin. Yeah. I don't even know what that is, but anyway. I think we, we guy needs some of the Ridlin. What is that anyway? It makes you calm down? Yeah. Okay, painkillers? For, for uh, we guy. Yeah. He'd be like, what does that mean? <laughs> he probably takes it and he's still crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's always on Ridlin. Imagine him not on Ridlin. Scariness. Lulz. Lulz star. Wait, we're here by, uh, we're here, we're here by, we're, we're here with Gunstar Hero. <laughs> Lulz. Lulz is ninja. Alright, let's think here for a second. <laughs> think of what? That's what he always says. He says, okay, alright, let's think. Oh, yeah. Um, let's think about this for a second. Um, I can't do his, uh, New York accent or whatever he has. Yeah, he could be in the Mafia. He's got the Mafia voice. He has a Mafia voice, yeah. He does voice acting in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, someone should make, I wonder if someone made a ROM hack of Metroid for the NES, but a a 16-bit version and Metroid for SNES and 8-bit version. That'd be pretty interesting to look at. Yeah, I think, uh, I know they've done that for, like, Super Mario World. There's yeah. Version where they uh, got it on the NES. You know, just from hack. Yeah. i seen one, I think it was, uh, it was Link from uh, Zelda 2 in the Metroid world. Ah, oh. it was uh, strange looking. And there's yeah. another one where I seen uh, Samus in like, a Super Mario Brothers three type level. Or, I saw Chuck Norris in Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Top that. Super uh, Brothers. Brothers. Uh, yeah. Super Pwn Brothers. Okay, I don't think I've been here yet. You know, Super Metro is a longer game, but this game is harder. Yeah, this ends up becoming a longer game, just, you know, based on getting lost and 
All that. Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm using the cheat code. <laughs> I think this is the first game I've ever done in, in all my videos on YouTube. Well, this channel and Rumble channel that I've ever used to cheat, I think. Cheater, you are labeled now. This game's freaking hard. FCU wants me to beat this, so I'll try to do it for him. I'd like to beat this game anyway. Yeah, it's like, right now, it's like, where are we? Yeah, see, ECW mode keeps me for Don. And this game is much harder when you're trying to look for Ridley or look for something and you got to try not to die in the process. Right. It's freaking hard. But it's great. It's not BS hard, like uh, Batman Forever, but <laughs> it was ridiculous. I want to be the guy's different. That's the wrong hack meant to be funny, you know. And, yeah, it's a lot of different tributes in that game. Yeah. Like fighting Mike Tyson. Yeah, people, people think oh, that one kid thought Contra was hard, impossible. Shoot. Play, uh, play this game. This is the hardest game of the year, as far as Skip Rogers is concerned. <laughs> Ah, uh, color glitch. No. It happens all the time. It's not in this ROM either. It really happens on the cartridge too. Alright, I'm getting another weapon even though I already have it. Let's see what it is. It's the high jump boots. Yes it is. Yes. Maybe this will take us to Ridley. And this beeping noise sounds like uh, the automated operators. Dun, dun, dun. We're sorry, this call has been disconnected. It's no longer in service. Please call again. <laughs> Please hang up and dial again. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Ooh, I think we're close. It's very, very different looking. Yeah. Definitely very, very different. Yeah. You got uh, flying uh, football heads. Yeah. Helmets. Buffalo wild wings. <laughs> oh, green bubbles now. And that's it. The, the end of part 11. And before we go, uh, Billy Mitchell talking trash in part 10. Yeah, yes, Billy. Uh, yeah, I, I challenge you. To get the morph ball and Metroid. Let's see you pull that off. Then you can talk trash. Yes, um, yeah, that's a, a challenge that me and Ronnie was thinking about, and uh, we we think that Mr. Billy should be able to handle that. So uh, we'll, we'll see if he can come through with that. Yeah. So see you guys in part twelve. You got pwned, Billy Mitchell. And welcome back to part twelve, Tay. <laughs> this is Ron Moore, along with J Man four six two four one. Yo yo. And for the first time join us, Bear Thirteen. <laughs> What's up? And we are still trying to find Ridley. Believe it or not. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I read uh FCU's advice saying go to the room below where you got the high jump boots. So that's where I'm gonna go. Yeah, we need to find an elevator down to a different country. And I don't remember what FCU said after that, so after that, uh, wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're now in the room of the high jump boots, so... Yeah. Jump in the house, house! Jump! Jump! Slide! Jump! 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 jump. Here, play this game of four bears. Uh, yeah, a few times. I've never beaten it, but I've had a good ROM <laughs> at the time. Well, yeah, the game's freaking hard. I, I've never beaten this game without cheating. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a different place. Yeah, this looks uh, Ridley-esque. 
possibly. Well, we have to go into a uh, like a different land. Like there's another uh, elevator that you have to ride down to, to get to the Ridley land. I think so. Yes! Yep, here we go. Here it is. If Ridley's not down here, then I don't know where he's at. Yes, this is this is it. Yes, this is it. Yeah, this looks and sounds like Ridley's place. And I don't know if this is the right path or not. Let's just uh let's pray. Let's you pray. <laughs> <laughs> This may be Richard Pray. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome though, man. Talk about channel exposure. Yeah. So let's suck on purpose real bad so we can get Richie Prayed. Exactly. <laughs> Hold on, we need to uh, record this in webcam view. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. On the PSP. <laughs> on the on the carpet. Yeah. Oh well. Oh look at that. That's like whoa. Okay, how do I get up there? And those little creatures are in Super Metroid also. Yeah, I guess you have to freeze one like right at the right time and then jump up and then even then, oh man. Turn to a ball. Bomb, bomb yourself up. You have to bomb jump. I forget or, it. Or just go back to it. Yeah. <laughs> Plan B. Do something else. There we go. That's creepy music. Awesome. Shellgate music? Are your torches running out? Huh? Your time is running out. <laughs> What's that, Metroid? Oh, I thought that was Metroid down there. So wait a minute, I'm not a Turian yet. What's up with those guys? Those uh, flying purple guys? That's, oh man, Transformers? Yeah. Or are they meet the eye? Decepticons? Yeah, they, they look like the Decepticon symbol kind of. <laughs> Bear, what other Metroid games have you played? Uh, I think just Super Metroid. Yeah, it's my favorite one. That game's much easier than this one. I don't know, though, they're both pretty damn good games. Yeah. No, don't leave that room! Go back in that room! This is where I couldn't make up my mind where to go. Ooh. I think that bottom room might have, might have been the wrong, the, the wrong or right room. The, if you can say the word wrong and right at the same time. <laughs> It'd be that room. Yeah, it would be that room. <laughs> the wrong... The round? Yeah, the round. It was the Dun round room. Southern See, accent. Even if, even if you're wrong, you're still right. Yeah. If you if you was right, then it's all good. Yeah. That, that just <laughs> means that I don't know. <laughs> More Decepticons, Transformers. More than meets the eye. Uh... That's a pretty good Transformer voice right there. Ridley in disguise. <laughs> oh, now we got uh, crab enemies. Well, yeah. Enemy. The spider from steroid arms. Oh, there he is. Yes. Oh no, what do I do? He's hard. Oh, wait a minute. I'm in ECW mode. Yeah, that's right. On oh, this this little trick, uh, I heard of. And let's go ahead and get this a try. Yeah, I can't really get hit right here. Yeah. Ow! But you don't really, you don't run out of uh, rockets either, so... Yeah. I'm talking about even if I didn't cheat, even if it didn't have the ECW mode, um, you know, you can't really get hit that much right here. Yeah. But even without that, like, if you had the, uh, if you had the ice beam, what you yeah. can do is, uh, when you come into the, into the room, and it shoots those fireballs up in the air, you can just freeze each one of those fireballs and then just keep firing. And then once they start to unfreeze, you can freeze them again and just keep firing. You know, with your just regular ice beam. 
So he seems easier than Cray then. Oh yeah, he's much easier. Ooh, when he blows up into the final score. Yeah, he's, he's supposed to be harder than Cray, but... I did, I, um... I don't know why, um, people say that. I think that he's, uh, ten times easier than Cray. Ten times easier than Cray. And, well, he's harder than Cray on Super Metroid, i tell you that. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, now the reason why, uh, like, like people do speed runs and stuff, they do crate first, is just because it works out easier. It works out just quicker to, to go ahead and, and defeat crate first. It's, yeah. Uh, it's a quicker type thing. Yeah. Well, are you talking about this game? Yeah. Well, I'm, you have to. I think you have to. No, I know never mind. I think all you gotta do is get the ice cream first to make it here and to make it to Ridley. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, buying bombs and ice cream. Um, well, yeah, and, and of course you have to do the same uh, with the crate. Um, but I still, I, I consider uh, Ridley a lot easier than the crate. Which, um, what a lot of speedrunners do is they just uh, run into crate and they get down and they just uh, they bomb him to death. Like you can you can have like like uh, like two E tanks. And you can basically be Craig with that. I couldn't. It's it's tough, um, but it's possible. Fourth level is tough. I, I talked to uh, Mr. Billy Mitchell earlier, and uh, he told me that it's definitely possible. Oh, so has he accepted our challenge yet? I think he has. Um, yeah, I read a comment um, on our uh, part 11. And, um, Can't wait for that. He he said he said something like it was on. We'll see. I don't know. He he, he talks some junk sometimes, so we never know. Yeah. I'd see him get the more ball. Yeah. It might be a trick, but I don't know. I think he might be up for that challenge. Now Skip Rogers does the you know Skip Rogers does the trick editing video editing, but Billy Mitchell actually does uh, own challengers. Yeah. For the most part, but I don't know. I mean. I mean, I, uh, I seen that, uh, there was a guy called Dom441 that, um, put out a challenge of, uh, trying to get Mr. Billy to beat Craig with one energy tank. <laughs> and I don't think that, that that's possible. So yeah. if Mr. Billy is able to pull that off, that's amazing. The only person that can pull that off is FCU100. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't even think. Yeah, I don't think Mr. Billy would would have a chance at that. There's, there's, just, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. I mean, FCU don't even get hit by Craig. Right. But he's using TAS. It's yeah. Well, what well, Skip uses uh, editing, and that's even worse cheating. Yeah. That's uh, <laughs> there's ECW. Yeah. Editing, cheating. Whatever. <laughs> winners. No. Yeah, winners. Were, e e editing, che editing, cheating, winners. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we finally got out of there. All right, now we're ready to go to Turian. Yeah. Now for Mother Brain. Ish. Mother Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Mother. More, this, yeah. more of this awesome music. Yeah, I do believe it, that it is. It really is the best music in the game. Well, my my favorite, I think, is still the uh, Brand Star. Uh, music, the beginning, the music at the beginning of the game. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go with this. Really, I mean, because you hear that music the most when you're playing. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry to cut you off. We are running out of time here. Thanks for joining us, Bear. We will see you guys in part 13. Way. Can't wait. Take care. Later. Alright, welcome back to 13 Way, part 13 Way. This is Ron Moore along with JMan46241 and Bear13. Hey, yo. What's up? <laughs> and I am trying to make my way back to Turian. Oh, I said back to Turian, I haven't been there yet, but I'm trying to make my way out of Northfair back to Brennstar and then to Turian. 
Yeah. Well, technically, he was in that one room where uh, the statues were the Ray Craig and Ridley statues. Yeah, but that's not Turian. That was the entrance to Turian. Well, but technically. Well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> let's get technical. Technical. Yeah. Well, it... <laughs> oh, boy. We're joining with uh, water pipes, maybe. Might be. Yeah, uh, sorry about the whistling in the background, but, uh, okay, now it's over. Yeah. All right. Old whistling. Um, ah. I'm sorry, a special guest brought to us by the, uh, water company. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> by Bobby Boucher. Yeah. <laughs> but as we all know, uh, Bobby Boucher can, uh, throw a football better than Adam Sandler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> What are those things? Football helmets? Yeah, they look like, uh, Buffalo Bill helmets. Ah, uh, this is Stupid Sphere from Shadowgate. The spheres are coming to get you. <laughs> yeah. Dun dun dun. Uh, hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, it's got like some blue stuff in it. Oh. Yeah. Like some uh, picante or something. Yeah. <laughs> Extra flavor. Well, I don't... Oh, okay, I'm lost. I really don't know how to get out of North Bear. No! Just die and you'll go back to the... Oh, no, it'll probably take you back to the... Um, Ridley's elevator thing. Yeah. If you die. Yeah, I think you would, yeah. Cause the... I, think, yeah I don't think you can die anyways because of the ECW. There might be a way because I noticed when I stayed in the, in the lava for a long time, the energy thing was slowly counting down one by one. Oh. Whoa, this is different. What, these little candy gumdrops or yeah. whatever they are. What? Bonbons? Yeah. yeah. North Fair Bonbons. The Bonbons from hell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. With a side of hot sauce. In a bucket of chicken. Speak, speaking of hot sauce, when is Billy Mitchell going to accept our challenge? Um, I don't know. I haven't talked to him lately. I think he accepted the challenge, but he has, maybe he's working on it. Maybe he's trying to... It takes time to get the morph ball. Yeah, exactly. You know, you got production costs and... Yeah. You know, casting and... Yeah. <laughs> Not even the king of... Queen of England has got much notoriety like Billy Mitchell, whatever he said in that video. What did he say in that video that time? Not even so-and-so has as much uh, publicity as Billy Mitchell or something. I do not remember. Remember this? Oh, uh, um, it was the King of Kong. Um, I, don't, I don't remember. I know what you're talking about, though. He's on the phone with this little disciple guy. Disciple guy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, and there's a e-barrel over here. Can you get it? Can you get it? Oh, uh, well, you don't let me. <laughs> here we go. Ah! <laughs> here we go. It's a fake! No. <laughs> that would be horrible if it's fake e-tanks. Oh, man. You got like one health left and you're like, oh, an E-Tank and it's fake. Yeah. E-Tanks of death and die. Yeah, poisonous E-Tank, like in Lost Levels. Metroid, the Lost Levels. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> There's actually a game called uh, uh, Metroid X, and it's it's like the original game, it's just everything kind of mixed around a little bit. Oh, okay. Like, I think they moved the items and stuff. And, I think some things are different. So now it makes you, uh, everything you worked hard for when you were 10, uh, irrelevant. Super Metroid The Lost Levels. Yeah, there you go. That'd be awesome. I saw a Flash game a long time ago on Newgrounds, Mega Man vs. Uh, Metroid. He plays Mega Man and Planet Zeebs. 
I think you gotta fight Samus. Well, that actually sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Don't use the metal blade. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Don't use the plasma beam on Samus. Yeah. Don't use the missiles on Mother Brain. Grr, how'd I get out of here? If <laughs> FCU is screaming and screaming right now. No, run, what are yeah. you doing? No. <laughs> hmm, wait a minute, I don't know if I've been in this room. Probably. Oh, what is this? Huh. It's the... Maybe it's ah, the, the screw attack. Oh, uh, okay. That's already... We already have it, though. Yeah, but it's still cool to get again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, FCU warned me, do not get the wave beam. Yeah, I've never read that comment. Yeah. I like the way it looks, but yeah, I guess it's not as strong as the plasma. It's useful in Super Metroid, yeah. But, uh... Yeah. Not in this game, I don't think. But yeah, you can mix them up, can't you, on that one? Like, you can have, like... Like, uh... Like, freeze Ice and plasma. Like, I'm freeze now. Yeah. Yeah, and like ice plasma and whatnot. Yeah. Popcorn poppers again. Yes. Popcorn's ready. Where Orville Redenbacher is the boss of this uh, stage. Yeah. Okay, now to get out of here somehow. Get flamed by the Metroid fanboys. You go this way, you go up, you idiot. Anybody knows that. When I was four years old, I did that. When I was, you gotta jump that ripper there. When I was four years old, I beat this game in one hour. On my first try ever, when I rented it for Blockbuster. They even had Blockbuster in 86. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I think they Except uh, by then it was probably called... Uh, Beta Barn or VHS Village. Yeah. I used to go to a place called Mr. Video. <laughs> Rip my video games. Mr. Billy Mitchell owned it. Yeah. Mr. Video. Yeah. Coffee owned it. There's a burger place in the Philippines called the Burger Machine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. His mate's girlfriend was there and it's like, I'm eating at the Burger Machine. She's Filipino. And I said... <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> she broke up with me because I laughed at it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I go, it's over. Well, in America, that's like having a pizza machine or a taco machine or the, the Filipino food adobo. Or, what, do you have adobo machine, too? <laughs> anyway, back to Metroid machine. <laughs> that's a good segue. Get back on topic. Uh... Grr, where'd I go? FCU, help me. FCU is live with us. Are you there? I uh, guess I am here, Ronnie. Uh, what you must do? That's a, that's a terrible impersonation. Never mind. Yeah, nice, uh, nice I can't do Sweden voice. I can do Australian. Hey, mate. Uh, I'm in another call with fire. <laughs> Watch out for the fire, mate. <laughs> have an old man with us tonight. <laughs> no, that's the char the, the Charlie laugh. Yeah. I thought we established the fire was hot sauce. The fire was hot sauce. Nay, hot awesome uh, sauce. Oh, Everything be alright, just jump up there. And it's not fair. <laughs> ah, color glitch. Hot sauce oh. glitch. <laughs> that's one cool thing about this game. A lot of color glitches. Turn that sand into like cement or something. Yeah. Well, I've been here. Okay. I think it's, this is where I got the high jump boots, I think. Oh. Grr. No. No, not the high jump boot. Well, something else. Ah, freaking sea monkeys. Isn't there some kind of code you can put in to solve this? Uh, yeah. Uh, Billy Mitchell code. 
Put in Rand McNally. Oh yeah. Now put in GPS mode. Yeah. Turn, turn, turn left. Yeah. Bing bong. Turn right. This call is being recorded. Ah, now I'm on the right path. Yeah. Okay. This is toward the beginning of North Fair right here. And we are running out of time. So hopefully by part 14 way, I will be in Turian. See you guys later. Later. All right, welcome back to part 14 way. This is Ron Moore along with Bear13, Jman9210, and Strictly Sega, or Charlie. Hey yo. Yo yo yo. How you doing, Strictly Sega? I'm great. I love the last episode you guys did, guys. I laughed my head off. I did this. <laughs> <laughs> the ECW laugh. Yes, there we go. That's uh, signature commentary. Signature. Yeah. yeah. Very good stuff. Oh. What's that? That's the, uh, airplane. Are we going to go round and round and round and round and round and round circles again in this episode? No, yeah. I know exactly where I'm going now. I'm going straight to Turian. Well, did uh, you had a chat with that Swedish guy, did you? No, I figured it out at the end of that video. So, FC, you didn't help me out at all in this game. I pwned this game all by myself without any help at all. The Game Master. Woo! <laughs> well, with the help of uh, ECW mode and FCU, yeah, I got this far. Yes, I love this music. Now we need to go up. Straight up. Yeah, straight up. All the way up. Absolutely. Above the long beam. Going and going. Climbing and climbing. Yep. We need some of that uh, six million dollar man music, uh, jumping effect. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that show. I've heard of it. When I mean, you say yeah, whenever you. Isn't that that guy that drinks a bunch of beers and he says, hell yeah, and, uh... No, uh, you th you're thinking of Ted DiBiase. Mm, no. The million, <laughs> the, the, the million nope. dollar man. The million yeah. dollar man. Maybe if uh, Stone Cold and Ted DiBiase, like, merged, they would become the six million dollar man. Yeah. Build the bridge. Do it. Now I gotta shoot these statues first. Right about that. There we go. Yeah, you build that bridge. Yeah. You don't want to burn any bridges in this game. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, here we are. Finally, we're officially in Turian. Oh no! Ah! Oh. Start for Metroids. Freeze. Freeze and um, freeze. Use your freeze power. I forgot about the Metroids in Turian. I don't think it really actually matters anyways. Yeah, I mean, at ECW mode. Right. I mean, you can just, like, toy with them at this point. Yeah. Like you are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a banana door. Yeah, that's a that's a tin rocket door. Yeah. Oh, see, now this game does cheat. Those Cheerios shooting at me. I was going to call them SpaghettiOs. SpaghettiOs, uh -oh. yeah. Told you the spaghettios were evil. Yes. Yeah. Oh, spaghettios. Yes. That's what Charlie's eating right now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how can people. You tell? Yeah. I don't know how people can beat this game without cheating. I guess it's called Skip Rogers skill. I see that the uh, the hot sauce is back to normal. There's no uh, there's no no little blue specks in there. Yeah, that's real hot sauce. Yeah. This hot this hot sauce is uh, not yet expired. Yeah. Well, this is the awesome sauce. Yeah. Absolutely. Speaking yeah. of hot sauce, Billy Mitchell pwned us. Yeah, unfortunately, um, yeah, it happened. And you know what what do you say after that? What do you say after a video like that? I mean. How much to say? Yeah. We will be back. 
we will call him Billy once again. Oh yeah. But for now, it is what it is. Yep. It will be what it will be. Hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> Most likely. Ah, these Metroids suck! Haha, uh, uh, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Boo. Freeze! Oh, that's like a Super Metroid right there. Uh, yeah. Get it, Super Metroid? Uh, yeah. And here we go. Not yet. But really, this is, this is pretty much the final room. Oh, uh, I don't want to hear that, Charlie. That's disgusting. Uh... It's for the fans. I did it for the fans out there. We just lost 10 no. subscribers. We lost 10 subscribers because of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get them back, eh? Hey? That was yeah. the mother burp before the mother brain. You have to have a mother burp before you have the mother brain. <laughs> Is that what they are? Big brains or something? Look like jellyfish. Well, yeah. those are just those are just the Metroids. Yeah. We have not... Oh. We not I thought you were Metroid. No, no I'm Sam. Justin Bailey. <laughs> sorry, just mucking around. Oh, here we go. So, so, sorry, fans out there, Metroid nuts. You. Sorry, Met. Sorry, uh, sorry, Metroid fever. Yeah. Um, it's a rip. Oh yeah, Metroid fever. Oh, man, he's gonna slap me up. But he likes SNK anyway, so. <laughs> slap my. Oh, it's all done. Grr. Yep, there we go, and with her. My mother brain knows she can't kill me, so she can only delay the inevitable. So how bad is this storm coming your way, Ronnie? Uh, I don't know, I haven't checked the radar in the past 10 minutes, but uh... Like, is it as bad as what you're getting stormed at right now? No, not that bad. <laughs> uh, I think it's getting there actually, I just saw lightning. Thanks a lot, Charlie, now you just jinxed everything. Yep. Just... I have a tendency of doing that. Before we were watching the uh, football, me and me and J-Man, and he turned the camera off, and the Colts started losing. And then he turned the camera back on again, and, and they won. <laughs> oh, you hear that thunder? Well, just as long as there's no uh, lightning strikes in your backyard. And Well, I hope lightning... Yeah, like, uh, like, it's, like a grub's place, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That's ECW right there. Crocky Jingas! Well, hopefully this storm don't cut us off in the middle of commentary. It's getting to the, shit. It's getting to that point now. Hurry yeah. up. Hurry, gotta kill Mother Brain. Brain. Uh, yep. What are you jumping there for? No! Uh, you're not losing any health though, mind you. You're gonna get hit by you're getting hit by these things and they Yep, yeah, the cheerio I mean the the yeah the They give you energy back or something, do they? The murderous spaghetti of yeah, but I'm getting pwned right here. Even the glass pwns me. Yeah, the the yeah the the old safe spot is not where you're standing. Yeah, but there's no safe spot. There is one uh, to the right a little bit. To the well, any farther to the right is where Mother Brain is. I mean, oh wait, I'm, I'm thinking uh, left. Yeah, <laughs> there. We, yes, right there. My sense of direction's messed up right now. Um, okay. But yeah, but see, I'm still gonna get shot. See, look at that. Cheerio coming my way. Yeah, but it's better than what it was. <laughs> we, hey, you know it what? It is a lot quieter. Hey, you know what? You know what? You know what? Stay wherever you want. I don't care anymore. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get in trouble now. Jay, you know, you know that, don't you? <laughs> you know what? It's, <laughs> it's on tape now. We've recorded it. It's official. Yeah. Can't <laughs> you gonna get in trouble. go to sleep? I'm just gonna go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> they start beating the crap out of you, then fall asleep. Is that what we do on this show? Do we? We just make fun of people who aren't here. Yeah, we're a watered down version. We're watered down Reggie <laughs> Ray. How many hits does this heart need? Fifty heart? or something? Heart? You mean brain? It is brain. like the end of Contra. Yeah, that's what bit. I'm thinking. It beats faster and faster when the more you hit it, but this is much harder. How do you get your energy up again? I think I shoot the Cheerios. Ah, because I noticed it's going from 31 to 35 again. Yes. Well, look at that. There we go. 
Oh, look at the special effects on that! Why? <laughs> now we gotta leave Planet Zebes. Get out fast! Quick! Get out oh. fast! You hear that thunder? Yep. That was insane. Right, yeah, right when the, the time bomb's about to explode Metroid, that's when it starts lightning and thundering over here. <laughs> so this game's very interactive for its time. I mean, it can really make it storm murder where you're at. Yeah, it makes storms come and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. The power of a Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. Yeah, that's why. Those commercials, that's why I show lightning during those commercials, because that's what really happens when you play with power. You can control the gods, you know. Yeah. yeah oh, no. Ah! Power, it's like, yo, holy shit. We're really playing with power. This is, whoa. Yeah. Then your power goes out because Quick. the lightning is like, wait a minute. Quick. It's over. Yes. Is that it? Yep, this what is the ending. What ending do we get? Great, you fulfilled your mission. It will it will revive peace in space. But it may be invaded by the other Metro. We'll destroy the other Metro, you idiot! <laughs> Hallelujah. Did you get did you get the good ending? Come nope. on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! That's a good ending. No, that's she's I thought no, that's the standard ending. Yeah. That's not the good one. Oh. Uh, that's the medium all right, one. Guys. There's a bad one, medium one, and good one. There's three endings. We oh. We will be right back to uh, in another video to discuss our closing thoughts and all that stuff. So, see y'all in a little bit. Peace. All right, and here's the rest of the ending for those of you who care to see the credits. And oh, everyone loves credits. Oh yeah, I mean you got to get credit where credit is due in the credits. Absolutely. And uh, uh, another airplane flying over J Man's house. <laughs> Um, let me try to talk and drown out that sound. Uh, Metroid is... Uh, <laughs> Metroid. Yeah, so FCU, there you go. You got your wish. I beat the game. Even though I cheated, well, I still beat it. And uh, this game, this one of the funniest... F funniest? Bleh, one of the funnest, most fun Let's Plays I've ever done here on YouTube. This is an awesome game. And uh, me and other people, we got and Jeff and other people that joined Gunstar Hero, we had a lot of fun commentating over these uh, videos, the, the series of videos. For Metroid for the NES. Yeah, it's been good having different people each episode, you know? Yeah. Boy. There he is, Gunpei Yokoi, the man who made the Game Boy. Yeah, that's why I was... And the Virtual Boy. Yeah, I was thinking that when you said that. I said, is that who Charlie's talking about? But, um... And evidently he made uh, Metroid as well. Yeah. Well, he produced it. He was the producer. And he made Metroid 2, the return of Samus on the Game Boy as well. Producer, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and there's an R. <laughs> this game has a pretty good ending, considering at the time I think there's virtually no female heroes, video game heroes at the time. And so when you beat the game, you go, "Whoa, I was playing with a girl the whole time." So <laughs> it's a pretty good ending. <laughs> and Metroid definitely wants the. I was playing with a girl the whole time. <laughs> okay. No, you were playing with a computer game the whole time. Okay, Master Hand. Um, anyway, uh, Metroid definitely one of the greatest games of all time for the NES. Came out in '86. Um, I would say it's a really great game for its time. Uh, kind of in some aspects ahead of its time uh, with the gameplay. And this game is freaking hard, though. I don't know if this or Ghouls and Goblins or Ghosts and Goblins is harder. I don't know. But uh, anyway, Metroid. Um, awesome soundtrack, obviously. The Norfair music's pretty good. And yeah. this game is just overall just fun. I give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, J-Man? Um, absolutely. Um, I'm going to also give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, this is one of the first games that I really got into. Uh, the first game, game that I ever got into was Super Mario Brothers, but this took it to a completely different level. Just expansive worlds for back in the day. Still enjoyable even now. Great yeah. game. Yeah, expansive uh, world. You need the expansion pack back then to play this game. No, yeah, uh, for, you need you need you had to have an expansion pack for your brain to to really get into the worlds back then. Yeah. <laughs> or a um, a copy of that game. What's that magazine you got over there? Nintendo Power. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would show you all the all the way to get around that game, but it was so big compared to, you know, like an average um, Nintendo game back then, you know? It really took advantage of the power in that system. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it was more fun to just explore, you know? I mean, you didn't have to know where you was going to have fun. 
Yeah, really. Once you found something, you could find anything, and it was just like, oh, I found something. Oh, man, I must be on the right track or something. Yeah, and when you get lost, you can at least enjoy the soundtrack while you're being lost. That's true, too. Absolutely. Yeah. So, J-Man, what is your final rating? Nine out of ten. Nine. Charlie, you too, nine? Um, I'm saying nine because I'm really amazed at how it took advantage of the Nintendo. It really pushed it to everything it can do. Really great, great game. We're going to get tapped by the fanboys. Oh, it should be a perfect ten. You don't even know the names of the little bugs. No, the only game that gets a perfect ten out of, in my opinion, is the uh, is Super Mario Bros. 3, but that's just, I'm going to get shut down even harder now. Action 52. No, uh, oh, oh, shit, how can I forget Action 52? Of course, Action 52, 10 out of 10. Uh, Bear, what do you think about Metroid? Uh, well, if a 9 out of 10 is going to piss them off, I'm going to have to give them an 8 out of 10. But <laughs> it's on my short list, of the, short list of the top 50 NES games. Yeah, Bear doing a little trolling right there to the Metroid fanboys. <laughs> well, it's fun, but it's hard. And, you know, I... If I played this back in the day, I'd be, uh, you know, pissed. I'd be throwing my controller at the TV. Oh, yeah, but that's why I never beat this game when I was a kid, except with Game Genie. I mean, this game was freaking hard, but there are some games that are hard but suck. At least this game is an uh, awesome game while being real hard. And there's some games that's BS hard, like Batman Forever. That game is ridiculous. And, right. um, but Metroid is just awesome soundtrack, awesome gameplay. Uh you know, like J-Man said, you can explore uh, all sort uh, different parts of Planet Zebes, and you find stuff. So, and it being hard, at least if, that's probably why they put those cheat codes in the game. It's because of that. Because it's hard. oh yeah, it needed to be there. Um, yeah, when I was a kid, I would have never beat the game without the Justin Bailey code. Yeah, there was. Yeah. I mean, there was no way. Yeah, really. But this game is a classic nonetheless, and. All right, so I guess that's it. Uh, thank you guys for joining us, and thank you, Wee Guy, Gunstar Hero, I think Jeff, and can't remember anybody else. Uh, I think all sorts of different people. Thank, thank you, uh, FCU, for helping me out in this game. And uh, yes, thank you, ECW. All right, so there you go. Uh, I'm Ron Moore. J Man. Charlie. Charlie. Team. Boy. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. All right, guys. God bless, and y'all take care. Peace. Hey guys, welcome. Hey welcome to the SC2K, uh, not show, but, uh, Commentary. The Sega Show. This is Ron Moore along with well, this. This episode, this uh, series, it is. Last series was near uh, Nintendo fanboyism. Now it's a bit of Sega fanboyism. Yeah. Oh. So, who have we got here in the room? We've got Bayer. We got Bayer thirteen. J Man four six two four one and Charlie from Strictly Sega. Yeah. And we got uh, we got Master Hand Hands. <laughs> yeah. Hand. And we're playing a bit of Bare Knuckles on our Street Streets of Rage 2, sorry. We're playing Roads of Rage 2. No. Streets of Fire! I had to do it, sorry. <laughs> what was that movie that came out in Australia? Streets of Fire! Right, classic game, this one. Who doesn't love Streets of Rage? Well, this is oh, the yeah. best one of the series, isn't it, Ronnie? Oh, yeah, I'd like to think so. I absolutely agree. Absolutely. And I would have to agree with both of you. I like to think the first one is better because he had backup. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. part two just really... Well, i tell you what, part one has a better ending than part two, but we'll get to that when we get to the ending. This game has an unbelievable soundtrack. This and, was actually... Uh, this game was actually two megabytes in size, which is really big for a, um, a Mega Drive game, you know, considering Streets of Rage 1 was only, like, I think 500 kilobytes, and that's it. Yeah. And unlike, Tiny game uh, compared to this. Like when they included included it in the five and one collection. Yeah, that's the reason why, because it was such a tiny little game you can fit a whole bunch of them into the uh, big cartridge. But um yeah, it was released in America in nineteen ninety two, right at the end of the year. Uh what, five days before Christmas? That would be silly. 
and was released here in March 1993. And I mean, this game is just the epitome and the personification of ECW. But it is so much better to play. Oh yeah. We're going to say, Matthew, it's so much better we had a great playthrough of that on the game. Yeah. Channel. Please subscribe. Please. Please. <laughs> please. Oh, please. <laughs> Shame, shameless plug. Yep. I had to do it. More like a big one. So and I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody says. Skate is the best character to use in this game. Absolutely. Sorry, I just had to open my, my blinds. It's a bit dark in here. Uh, but you, have, you also have Blaze. Yeah. Who's like, hot, but not the best character. She's the second best I character. Know, I don't know, she's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah. She's the second best character. Yes. Do not pick Max. He sucks. I absolutely agree. Absolutely. 100%. No good. He's not foil. <laughs> and this stage music right here is just awesome. Archangel Zero says Street of Rage 2 has the best techno music ever. Uh, and the game engine, specifically, I really like the game engine on this. They really put their time to rewrite it and make it good. Um, although it looks kind of similar to the first one, they they built a brand new game engine and they carried it on for Street of Rage 3 as well, the same one. But Street of Rage 3, Street, yeah. Street of Rage 3 is utter garbage. Streets of Rage 3 is nothing but pants. It was a bit rushed, yeah. It was a bit rushed. Streets of Rage 3 was just making money off, you know, an already yeah. proven Capital. Contract. You know what? They were going to make Streets of Rage Rise of the Syndicate for the Dreamcast, but it got scrapped. Unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, that, that would have been really good to have they brought that out, though, you know? Yeah, that might have been real awesome for the Dreamcast. I like to remember this game for what it was. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You notice that the, all the enemies now have health bars, just like they do in um, Final Fight. What was that game we reviewed? Final Fight, that's right, yeah. Yeah, Final Fight. <laughs> and see, that's one thing, uh, good thing that the Genesis did, was they included all three characters. Genesis yeah. does! And we're fighting inside a bar here in Waco, Texas. Yeah. Pretty big bar. <laughs> right, Mr. Leahy Bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can't end it, Mr. Leahy, who will watch out with the bar? I am the liquor. <laughs> propane, propane. Yeah. <laughs> propane, propane. Anyone doesn't know what we're talking about right now, it's a show on uh, Showcase, I think, isn't it? <laughs> yes. That's it's showcase. a show on the internet. Oh, I thought you meant Showtime, my bad. Uh, yeah, it was uh, originally on uh, Showcase. I don't have cable television, so I don't know. I'm one of those poor people that only has internet. <laughs> but if you have heard of uh, Trailer Park Boys, their new movie is coming out uh, this Friday. Now the there's a plug worth plugging. Absolutely. <laughs> counting down the liquor day. We're all counting down four. Absolutely. And here's Carmen Electra. <laughs> no way! We don't condone it, but we understand. No, this is Daryl Hannah. Did you put one? From um, Kill Bill. Injuring Kill Bill, yeah, with the one yeah. eye. She takes too long to get a whip up. Yeah. Well, that's what she said, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, she could whip me anytime. She's got me whipped. <laughs> okay, and now you fight the boss of the stage, Kevin Nash. In the rain. <laughs> The, the guy with pink hair looks so similar to the guy in um, Streets of Rage 1. I'm um, having deja vu. Like, ha okay. like half the bad guys look like that guy. Yeah. Yeah, Garcia. And part 3, they changed his name to Garcia. Ooh. And this guy, the boss's name is actually Barbon, and I wonder why they named him that. Because Bar B was taken? He's a bartender. <laughs> oh. He's a nice bar bomb. He's, uh, yeah. he's Sam from Cheers on steroids. <laughs> he's been smoking too many bar bongs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
moment of silence there. Yeah, no. yeah, I mean you can't you can't really <laughs> grab him because he grabs you first. Yeah, you can't do the jump on top move. Yeah. No, you just keep on keep on hammer, hammering at him, hammering Tong. Get the turkey. Yes. Hammer Tong. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Right it's like it's the game done. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, we got another two minutes to go, Stu. Nice moves. <laughs> nice moves. Da, 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 da. Stage one clear. Oh no, that, wait, that, that was a different game. <laughs> what oh. game are you thinking of? It's down topic. <laughs> and now we're playing Charles and Tom. There's Crank. Here's a robot. Get the pizza. <laughs> I'm trying not to use the same commentary I did in in uh, me and J Man's review, but <laughs> yeah, I was saying earlier I had a uh, deja vu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's Knight Rider? We need Knight Rider to turn up and just fix yeah. the last. Turbo boost. But not the new Knight Rider. Right. No, 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 not the new Knight Rider. <laughs> God. Oh, although, although the car looked good on the outside, i got to say on the inside it looked like a baggy twist. <laughs> Alright, well, by any chance, emo? <laughs> oh, there's a Rogue Warrior. Storm. There's a pipe. There's another pipe you can use. How can we can use that? And plumbers don't wear ties. Because then he would be a plumber. <laughs> he would have to wear a tie. But he was wearing a tie. It's a yeah. So plumbers don't wear ties. Exactly. And he never really in, 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 in the entirety of the game. He never really did any plumbing. Some of these robot warriors. Well, yeah. not in that sense, Maya. Whoa. In the window time. <laughs> Some of these robot warriors right here. I mean, uh, uh, some, of the, some of these some of these robot warriors right here have girls' names like Gail. I mean, come on. There are female. You know, Fog, Gail. Fog. Yeah. My name is Fog. Yeah. What is that? Blade, Weissing. Oh, okay, yeah, we know this. Yeah, Blade is fun, but Gail yeah, is okay. But they call him Gail because he blows. What about Fog? Oh. Fog. Fog. I got another fog. I said a fog. Yeah. I got a word, but never mind. Turkey is a bit chick, so they call him fog. <laughs> He's a fogget. No. <laughs> oh, fog. <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome song. He likes to smoke the fogs. <laughs> yeah. And that's so the end that's of part, part one. one. We'll see you guys in part dos. Uh, here we go, the Spanish talking again. Uno, dos, All right. tres. All right, guys, <laughs> take care. Later, -o. Welcome back to part two. This is Ron Moore along with JMan4641, Bear, hey, Bear13, and Charlie from Streaky Sorry. Sega. The only one that doesn't have a number at the end of their team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, mine's not a number, mine's an I. <laughs> Alright, and we're still at stage right. two. Well, we're nearly finished stage two, aren't we? Yeah, this is the last part. This is right, right towards the end of it. Yeah. I mean, we should make it a stage per video, but I mean, then then we'd have to cut it down or speed it up or something like that, wouldn't we? Don't you love the rap dancing? Gets in with the whole rap dancing. Yeah, the break dancing. Yeah, the break dance. That's what you guys call it, isn't it? Break dance. Yeah. I'm old. I'm out of date. I don't know these yeah. new fangled terms. Crunching. I'm older than you. Cranky. And I knew that term. No excuse. Hold on, hold on. No, you're 28, right? Uh, no. Uh, well, update your profile then. Yeah, okay, I will. How old are you, Ronnie? I'm about to be 29 in a few weeks. Ah, well, I'm an, I'm, I'm the same age as J-Man here. Yep. Ah, okay. I'm 30 and a half. <laughs> and here's Andy Bogard. The player is, what, the player is like 20. And here, yep. here's Andy Bogard. Oh, yeah. Or Chris Jericho. And do you see how he's leaving the chicken? He's not eating the chicken straight away because he's got full health. Yep. Yeah. I can all the psychopaths get the jetpacks and we're stuck to use our feet. <laughs> and this boss battle is not hard. There is it. <laughs> you know, when you kill him, how come you can't pick up the jetpack? Yeah, that'd be, that's a good <laughs> idea. Maybe there's a cheat out there. There's a ROM hack. 
Yeah, maybe. That'd be pretty cool. Stage two clear. Oh, I love the music in the stage three. Yes, absolutely. One of, one of the best. Yeah, apparently this is a uh, amusement park. Oh, here we go with the girl names again. Mist. Fog. <laughs> Come on. This is the emo. Definitely an emo. Yeah. All right. Hey, who here has uh, Windows XP? Me. Yep. Look at this. You go to Start, and then you go to Control Panel. All right, and then you go to Speech. All right, we're at an arcade. <laughs> and Charlie's playing. <laughs> Charlie's playing a different game, I guess. I don't know what he's talking about, but uh. Start oh, up. Windows XP. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play Windows XP. You type the word you type the word soy into Microsoft Speech. What is this? Soy? Yeah, this is how he says soy on S O Y. You type the word S O Y. Uh you're breaking up pretty bad. Just cause you're off topic. Yeah. You sound like a yeah, Microsoft oh, sound. Sorry. Microsoft sorry, guys. Sound. Oh, oh, sorry. The less said about him the better. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Microsoft Troy. <laughs> <laughs> I found that pretty funny. And if you ever wonder what Donovan McNabb does in the off season, there you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> please. Yeah, that's why he can't win a Super Bowl. <laughs> please don't put Michael Vick in. Please. Hey, look, e barrels. Yes. Oh wait, we said that before. No, I said I said this game's barrels of fun. Oh wait, that's my that's our low budget review. <laughs> I've done the same three times on YouTube. Yeah. Whoa. E Honda on steroids. Yeah. And after a uh, slim and fast. Yeah. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. Which turned out to be a lot of uh, Japanese buff guys and uh, cyberpunks. <laughs> yeah. Here I am, up on the, the road ship. again. No, on the ship again. I remember those rides when I was a kid at the fair, those ships. The, like, Viking ship? No, it's kind of a pirate ship. It was, like, up and all the way down the other side. And a simple ride, but fun. Oh, yeah, I love that, that ride. Yeah. It just, yeah, it goes side to side, and it would go... You know, towards the middle, they go all the way up and then swing all the way to the other side. Yeah, great. Yeah, we 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 took Graham on one of those just the other week at the at the um, at the a place called uh, Luna Park, and he hated it. He was freaking out. <laughs> you know, my what's your favorite ride? What's your favorite theme park ride? You ever, like, I guess the roller coaster would be most of everyone's favorites. Uh, Gravitron. Gravitron. <laughs> I rode. Well, it's basically, the Gravitron's that basically the uh, 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 thing that spins around and around in circles, doesn't it? And you hold onto the edge. Yeah, and the, and the uh, yeah, the things you lean against, they rise up. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. I mind that. I rode the roller coaster Six Flags here in Texas, the Texas Giant. I never want to ride one again. Yeah, it's really scary, was it? Oh man. They had, you know how they get you on freeze frame? When you get off, you can look at your face on the on the freeze frame. Yeah. Oh man, that was holding on for dear life. And <laughs> everybody's making fun of me because we went, we went with uh, my school junior high at the time. Hey, look at Ronnie. And the teachers making fun of me too. Oh, that's terrible. Have you oh, seen that classic? Um, there's, a, there's a funny YouTube video where this fat kid's slipping out of his seat in a roller coaster. Whoa! And his um, uh, and his mum is absolutely cracking up. <laughs> hey, teacher, leave them kids alone. <laughs> <laughs> Just another brick on the wall. In the wall. Yeah. In the wall. In the wall of oil. Ah, I was gonna say that. You beat me to it. Yes. Pwn, pwn, but I copyrighted. Ah, you can't use it again. 
trademark. If anyone has the wall out there, check out um, on there's a song on the on the album wall called Empty Spaces. Oh, now we're playing Contra. Yes. Now we're playing Alien Three. Alien Three meets Contra. <laughs> yeah. Meets Streets of Rage Two. There's Red Falcon. Yeah, this boss gets on my nerves. It's, I guess he's like a mini boss. Yeah, he, he gets up. For... Yeah, he pones me. Whatever his name is, Fajitas or something. Fajitas. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. Delilah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Grr. There you go. Yeah. Oh. And unfortunately, Charlie has been dropped from the call. Hopefully, we'll see him back in part three. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he was getting off topic, so uh, uh, Pamela don't like that, or Skype don't like that. No, um, and you fight. Yeah, we can stay on topic. <laughs> yeah, and you fight the boss of the stage, Blanca. This very annoying once again. This game very. Awesome. This game has a little bit of everything. Stolen a bit from every uh, major pop culture thing. Oh yeah. Well, like I said, in uh, me and Ronnie's playthrough, um, they they took uh, Final Fight and they added upon it. Yeah. They made it better. Oh yeah. Definitely. Raw. <laughs> 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 Yeah, the, Love that music there. It's awesome. Yeah, the classic stage clear music. A uh, little tidbit, a uh, little bit of trivia here. My first Genesis game I ever beaten was Street Rage 1. Bear likes that game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this stage music. It's one of my favorites in the game. And there's Disney World. There's Disney World in the background. You beat stage three. Where are you going to go? I'm going to go to Disney World. <laughs> I'm going to go away from Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you near there in the first place? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he wants to see the Jonas Natural brothers. progression. <laughs> <laughs> Baseball. It's like Boo. Okay. That's what Donovan said. Oh! Owie. Owie? <laughs> you pansy, you. No, uh. <laughs> so? Oh. Whoa, what was that? There's E Honda again. Yeah, E Honda on steroids. Man, I love spamming that move right there. It's my favorite. All right, guys, we're out of time for part two. See you guys in part three. Hopefully, Charlie will stay with us this time. Later. <laughs> All right, later. See ya. And welcome back to part three in Streets of ECW. This yes, better than Streets of Rage. Yeah. And this is Ron Moore along with the Ghost Star Hero, Lols. Damn right. Sorry I couldn't be here earlier. With uh, Lowell's Productions. Hell yeah. And we continue in stage four. The baseball stadium. Oh, I hate this place. I love the music in the stage, though. Uh, well, yeah, okay. Music wins, but stage doesn't. <laughs> oh, the stage does, too. But, but the, the boss of the stage, oh, man. Watch out for him. We'll get to him in a minute. Um, if I remember right, that's that, um, you find him in that cage, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, why was I thinking that was in Streets of Rage 1? <laughs> uh... Oh, yeah, um, did you see my comment from the last video? Uh, forgot. Um, if any random asshole happens to throw you except Shiva, um, oh, if you up yeah. Down, uh, you can land on your feet. Yeah, I forgot about that. 
But I do, yeah. not, I do not do it in this part. Maybe I'll do it in part four. Yeah, because I was like, because uh, Shiva does uh, how Axel will slash people shit on the floor, so you can't do anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was Shiva. I mean, she isn't Shiva from Mortal Kombat? <laughs> yes, uh, and Final Fantasy. <laughs> I don't even know about Final Fantasy. Yeah... Eh, it don't matter, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> that's the joke we use. Batter up? Yep, that fat guy just splowed his own friend. Yeah, Big Ben. Uh, oh no, this ain't the game. I was thinking, um... Oh! Of another... Wow. I hate those bastards because they laugh at you. Yeah. Wow, that threw off my entire train of thought. <laughs> I'll finish him. I love spamming that move. Dang, how, but, um, how do I throw him? You can't throw those fat guys in part one. Yeah, um, like a few beat em ups, uh, when there's like a fat dude or something, uh, and you grab them and try to throw them, you have to mash the button, if not they just land on top of you. Yeah, I think in part one there's no way to throw those fat guys, right? Or, or even German suplex them. Um, I don't know, I think only, um, Adam can do it in that game, and even so I'm not sure. Oh. You know, they never put Adam in Street to Rage games again after part one. I don't know. I mean, they did, but he wasn't playable. Um, actually, the only way you could play him now is um, if you look on Google, they have um, they made another Streets of Rage, except it has like more levels and they add a bunch of people. Like, uh, it's like uh, Streets of Rage for High Def Remix. Huh. Oh, it's like a ROM hack. Um, sort of, but it's like they built more from it. Wait, you mean Sega made it? No, 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 it wasn't Sega, it was a group, uh, this group that does, like, these games called Open, B-O, B-O-R, like, Open Boar. Okay. It's like, um, I think it's like you could play four player on there or something, because it's like a computer game. Okay. I'm about to try that out. Yeah, if I remember, I'll, uh, uh, I'll show you the link and you can put it in the description box for anyone else that doesn't know about it. Okay. This right here, there's a code to where the elevator crashes and everybody dies. <laughs> yeah, it's the Konami code. No, I'm just kidding. Except instead of pressing select, you press C. Konami code? This is made by Sega. <laughs> exactly. Uh, leave it to Sega to... <laughs> Use the Konami code and then just change one button. Yeah. Oh man, here we go. Find the ultimate warrior. Oh, pwned already. Wow. <laughs> already. You gonna let me get the turkey? Trying. See, look at that. That is ultimate warrior. Exactly. Oh. What the heck? Capture suplex. His name is Abadidi. That sounds kind of gay. Yeah, but uh, I want to say in his face. Oh, Dr. Dr. <laughs> Death, German suplex. Exactly. The only time I'll say that in his face is if I was Shiva. Oh, yeah. He's not going to his ass. Or if I was Mr. Rex and had the machine gun. Oh, that too. If you look closely, Guile is in attendance in the crowd. Uh, hold on, I need to see him. Where is he? Because I just see someone I'm guessing is probably my quality, but the dudes in the pink shirts in the front, they look like... Uh, Hugo the Giant, uh, Andre the Giant. Why did I say Hugo? <laughs> Andre the Giant, he looks like Andre the Giant. Uh, good point. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, stage four complete. Uh, 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 that's awesome. Yes. How many stages in this game? Eight stages. Okay, that's why. Ah, uh, the boat, now we're gonna be immigrants. <laughs> And I love the stage music. It's one of my favorites in the game. Oh yeah, I did. I like this one too. Of course, like my favorite ones are stage one and two, but that happens with like every Genesis game ever. Yeah. Oh, those fat guys again. And they're stealing my and they're stealing my nickname. And his name is Heart. Yeah, he has uh, he, he has a lot of heart. 
Yeah, for getting up after throwing himself that much. He has a lot of guts. I should have one big gut. Exactly. It, that's a beer belly. That's not even like muscle or anything. Yeah. How can they, how can a fat guy jump that much? I don't know. He should be he should be dead right now after like the second jump. He should just like lose all his life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, his name should be Heart Attack. Exactly. It should be, no. It should be Krabby Patty. <laughs> Oh, this game is great. Oh, you yeah. make fun of so much. Yeah. Uh, I just saw Garum from Ari of Sorrow. He just threw his ass. Oh, really? Yeah, it was like one of those goons. Let's see if we can go find him again. He haunted on steroids again. Actually, he kind of reminds me of this dude from Tekken 5. Yeah, he does like a Tekken character. Uh, his, na his name is Beatico or something. It's supposed to be Biako, but to be honest, I don't know why they. Or uh, Joe Higashi. Yeah, or Sagat with hair. Oh, uh, that too. <laughs> but your definition's better. I said Sagat with hair. That does look like Joe Higashi and Kevin Nash in the background. Man, he is just chilling. <laughs> and he got tan now. Yeah. Uh, I guess once you go black you don't come you don't come back. Wow, cheap shot. Yeah. Oh uh, goodness. Oh. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> this isn't working. Is it just me or just skate look like Sean from Third Strike? Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Yes, Joe Higashi is done. He, I think he's more obnoxious than this like mini boss. Oh, this mini boss is because you can't even throw. You really throw him, he'll grab you first and throw you. Yeah. Too bad I wasn't playing because I picked Max and just like snap his neck. Oh, I can't stand Max. I think he's the worst <laughs> character in this game. I pick him just because it's funny. Because I like. Because when I play a beat em up, I have to be the Hagar character. Oh, yeah. Blaze the second best in the game. Of course, Axel's like. A oh, damn, you died. Axel's average. He's the, the most balanced one in the game. He's like Mario. He's in the middle. Yeah. Um. Hmm. You know what? Now I think by. Um. Uh, you played the American version of the Streets of, of Fire 3, right? Yeah. Um, on the Japanese version, uh, one of the bosses, I believe, is, um, I forget what stage you find, but it's like a pirate, and he's wearing like a Speedo, and he like, la giggles like a girl, and when you beat him, he cries. Yeah, that's the Japanese version of Streets of Rage 3, Bare Knuckle 3. Yeah, there's actually a ROM hack. Uh, if you could find it, that it's just the exact same game with just all the Japanese things. Yeah. Uh, Sandy Bogart's alternate costume. Yeah. Yes, he's dead. Yep. And that's the end of part three. See you guys in part four. Peace. Take care. Welcome to part four of Streets of Rage 2. Woo! This is Ron Moore, and I'm here with J-Man46241 and Charlie from Strictly Sega. Hey, yo! Yeah, Strictly Sega! Strictly Sleeper! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. Anyway, so here we are for Streets of Rage. Sorry. Yeah, and I am still Stage 5. A.K.A. Bare Knuckles 2. Yeah. Here's the Road Warriors throwing their grenades as they quack like a duck. Doing the chicken dance. And I'm fighting the shinobis. Is that the chicken dance? Yeah. <laughs> the music in the stage is pure ECW. The music is ECW. Everything about this game is ECW. Oh yeah. That yellow t-shirt he's wearing, that's ECW. <laughs> that's almost oak That sword slice was ECW. 
That sword slice. Oh, that sword slice at least. Oh, that so was that one. Oh. I got pwned no, right that there. That character looks a lot like the guy you fight in Final Fight. You know the, oh. the guy with the sword? Oh, okay. Oh man. Now I'm getting I'm getting ready for one of the hardest boss battle fights in this game. The big fat guy. Yeah. This is where we fight Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And here's Ball Bull. Who's what? Are you gonna watch it? Are you still gonna watch it? He's not gonna work Oh. This guy will pwn you. Oh, come on. Oh. He's, yeah, watch out for... <laughs> Dang, our bear has a lot of energy, too. Balloon. <laughs> hey, bear or bear? Bear. Yeah, we're fighting bear. We're fighting yeah, bear. We're fighting bear for team. He got he got tired he got tired of commentating. He wants to actually be in the game. Hey, um, J Man, I just hit twenty. <laughs> oh well, someone gave me a plug. Uh, Gamester eighty one gave me a lovely plug earlier today, and in the last hour since he's done it, I've already pulled in twenty subscribers or two hours, two hours ago. Awesome talk. He's so uh, sorting, sorting the awesomeness all over the place right now. Can he help us defeat uh, our bear or uh, bear thirteen? We need to defeat bear. <laughs> He's defeated. Yeah. So say hello. Oh, come on. She's all. She's all shy. We, we, we thought we'd take a break between stages to let the women talk. Stage but start. They just like to talk when they're most annoying. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you know, this channel is sexist. We need to start having some female commentators for once. That's true. That's yeah, true. yeah. Riley? <laughs> she doesn't like being on camera, so there we go. Perfect job for her. Maybe Lil can do it. Right. Lil loves Bubble Bubble and Puzzle Bubble. Ah. He's into those type of games. Alright, we're now on stage six. We're on some beach. I think it's that. Uh, well, now it's. I guess I'm playing Green Dog. Oh, I get it now. Oh, your favorite game, Ronnie. No. You love Green Dog, don't you, Ronnie? I did it first. But you don't have a good replay value. Unlike this game. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh man, one day we're gonna get Betsy Pro. Wait. Okay. Oh, can't wait. No, I think we're too stupid to get Betsy Pro. Yeah, we want it too much. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't have said it. Now I jinxed it. Damn it, Ronnie. <laughs> Oh, here we go with the Johugashis again. Oh, I hate those purple guys. They're so cheap. Or the Sagats with hair. Yep. Oh, they're so cheap. You get close to oh, yeah. them, and they give you those bees to the face. Uh, look, this person's name is Peasant. No wonder I'm pwning them. Yeah. Peasant? Come on. What are you, uh, uh, you know, uh, the old uh, Thanksgiving Pilgrim Pheasant. rejects? That's Pheasant, not Peasant. Pheasant. P-H makes an F sound. Oh, that's right. Well, what is a pheasant? A pheasant is a small bird, isn't it, Arlie? Yes, it is. Like that oh, thing oh. you're about, you just walk past. That piece of meat that you just walk past, that was a pheasant. Oh, that's real intimidating. Oh, no. Why couldn't he... I mean, the other guys had a falcon and condor. You know, pheasant. <laughs> he chose... You know, he got Gale he and... Yeah, quail. Yeah, Willy Wagtail, this. they didn't have room for Willy Wagtail, so they yeah. Uh... <laughs> Bluebird, woodpecker. See, oh. that would be a bit threatening, just with the... Oh, what, what are we... Oh, come on, get in the middle of the screen so we can see the action. <laughs> I'm trying to, I gotta fight these guys off. That's, that's her trickery. 
There's a lot of them, there's like four, yeah, so, four guys, stay five, off screen five. Attack you. Yeah, this this game is pretty challenging just on normal difficulty. Yeah. It was only one player. Have you finished it on hard? No, and I I didn't get I, I think I got to like stage four on hard, that was it. Hey, that's still alright, Roddy. Pretty good mate. Ooh! Pwn! Yep, you can say that. Pwned in the chest. Speaking of chest, hi. Gormano. Uh, here we go with the lame names again for the Road Warriors. Fog. Who else have we got? Alright, Fog. Gut. Two. What? Come on, Sega. Gail. <laughs> Gail, that's a woman. Damn. Arnie Gail. Arnie Gail coming over on Wednesday for some <laughs> for some lunch. <laughs> Ghost. Commando. They're gonna have Goose. a Tupperware party. <laughs> uh, Gormano is almost gone. There he is. He's gone. Oh yeah. Oh. See, he, he, they call him Fog because he's really thick. Yeah. Sorry, I used that joke in previous episodes. Oh. I never, I never get sick of it. I'm not a sad little man. You don't call me a sad little man. Sandman. Yeah, well, you got good cleavage. <laughs> oh. Speaking oh. of cleavage. That was shocking. Ooh, yeah. Speaking of cleavage. Ooh. A casca. That's insulated cleavage. Speaking <laughs> of casca or gasca. She's about to be in a casket, huh? Don't get what having a problem with the frame rate here. It's dropping down to about 32 frames a second here. <laughs> yeah, I think y'all might be lagging a little bit, but that's okay. We're now at the boss, or two bosses. Blanca and boss. Andy Bogard. There's Souther. And... What's the other person's name? Stealth. Now that's a good name right there. Stealth is a good name, yeah. Yeah. Rocketeer. Looks like yes. Barry Manilow with a jetpack, doesn't he? Yeah. Looks like Blanca from the yeah. Big Fighter 2. You got Blanca yeah. and... Blanca. The Rocketeer. Oh, Wolverine. Oh, Nemesis. Vega. Oh, Vega, and Blanca's, Vega and Blanca's love child. Yeah, it does look like, uh, kind of like Vega. The other Ooh. guys, you have the Copa, Copa, and Copa. I guess you're playing Castlevania now, because Dracula's castle's in the background. Yeah. Whoa, double KO. Double yep. KO, woo! EC Dub, EC Dub, EC Dub. All right, guys, that's nice. it for part four. In part five, we will start out on stage seven. Until then, y'all take care. Later. And welcome to part five. And stage seven of Street Rage 2, and I guess we're playing Mega Man now. This is Ron Moore along with Charlie from Strictly Sega, and for the first time joining us, Codename Gamma. Hey. Hey, how's it going, guys? It's 7.30 a.m. in Australia. Charlie's still trying to wake up. I'm struggling at that. <laughs> So what the heck's up with these fat guys that this guy's beating on? Is that, like, the guy from Street Fighter, or what the hell? Who, the fat guy? Yeah. No, he's not from Street Fighter. No, he's not from Street Fighter. Ah, but there's a few man. characters that look like from um, Street Fighter, that's for sure. Yeah, that's one of them. Yeah, or well, you got some uh, King of Fighters people in this game. Right here, you got the Road Warriors. I think that's Road Warrior Hawk. There's a boss in this game, like, just like Blanca. Yeah, we had we fought, we fought Blanca and uh, Andy Bogart earlier in other parts, and then Joe Higashi. Bald Bull. Kanata. Kevin Nash. We fought them all. Kanata as well. Who's Kanata? From um, Street Fighter and um, from uh, Final Fight. What stage was he on? Stage 
phase one? Cannot, I don't remember. I don't know what character you're talking about. Anyway. Well, here's uh, Daryl Hannah from Kill Bill. So this guy's <laughs> name is Skate, right? Yeah, Skate. Yeah, he kind of looks like a bit like Sean from Thirst Strike. Well, that's kind of stupid. Like, why the hell would you name the guy Skate because he's wearing roller skates? Why not just name, you know, whoever, whoever? Uh, well, I, I mean, I've seen a problem with that. But fresh, ugly names. names. There's so many like different names. Come up so to, like an original name for him or something. He's just a drone. Uh, I don't care. He's the best character used in this game. He's much better than Max. Max is the sorriest Good. character. Probably because it reminds you of Jet Set Radio. Uh, or you can't grind rails. You can only grind faces. <laughs> Have you finished that game, Codename Gallon? Uh, Jet Set Radio? Yeah. I played most of it. I mean, it's kind of been hard yeah, to get. I get stuck on that. I get stuck on that. The the guy in the uh, sewer, you know, Graham or whatever his name is. I don't think I've ever gotten that far. He, it's it's um after it's not that far in. It's only um just after the third stage. Um, he, uh, you know, after the third city, you know, um, city block area you play. Um, there's this black guy who meets you in a sewer. And he gives you this trick style to follow, you know, you gotta copy him. And it's just yeah. the oh it's the worst one, it just oh it drives me nuts. Oh We've this been is where that, you know, for ages. This is where this game is gonna get real hard, as we're already toward the end, but uh, of the game. The next stage is the last stage, but this right here this right here is freaking hard. On one player on normal mode, I'm gonna get my butt kicked right here. Alright, here's Andy Bogart again with a jetpack. And then fucking go and check that guy out. What the hell's up with his hair too? I don't know, there's uh they recycle characters in this game. Earlier stage he's a stage two boss. That's Jet and he has blonde hair. That's where he looks like Andy Bogart. Or Chris Jericho back in the day. Now I got Griffiths. Some of these characters do have stupid names. Skate I don't think is a bad name. It may not be original or you know, I'm I mean like different or special, but the other characters in the you got know, these those World Warrior looking guys named Gust, Gale, and Wind. I guess because they blow. I don't know why they name them that, but I don't know. This game is then we had then we had all the birds, we had Falcon, Pheasant. Yeah, Pheasant. That was uh, yeah, that's real intimidating. That'll scare people. Falcon Punch. Hey, yeah. Uh, the boss of the game, Mr. Rex, yeah, that is kind of, ooh, that's an original name, but I like him. He's a pretty cool boss. I think he also made an appearance in Mega Man 6, if I'm not mistaken. No, uh. Oh, there we go. Now I got Shinobi characters. Ninja Gaiden characters. I don't know, it kind of just reminds me of, uh, you know, Turtles in Time, where they kept having, like, the same equipment, except they would just recolor them differently. Yeah. Here's, alright, now I'm finding the Road Warriors and the Johogashis. Ooh, he's got pwned by Road Warrior Hawk. Well, I got this far and finally used a, my first continue. This is pretty good. Ooh. It's so normal. <sighs> This game is pretty challenging on normal normal one player mode. Well at least this is a good game and not Judge Dread the arcade game. I never played that. Play that was, that was one of horrible fucking game. Have you played um Demolition Man on the uh Saturn? Uh no, I try to stay away from movie games as much as possible. Good idea. Yeah. It was just like, what? Or no, maybe it was Judge Drew. See, there we go. Gale. Listen. Gale, and what's the other person's name? Hold on. Okay, Gale and Hale. Oh, man. How about Storm? There's somebody on here. There's one of those biker guys named Storm. That's that's pretty cool. Like Gale and Hale. And here's Soya. Soybean, whatever his name is. I think Sega's running out of ideas right here naming these characters. They could name them after like the development staff or whatever, but it seems like they just 
pulled names out that rhyme. Yeah. Henry. Any, any, any words they knew in English. You know? Yeah. How about Charlie? That would be a pretty cool name, would it? Charlie the boss instead of Mr. X. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Charlie. A oh, Ron Mower. Half man, half mowing machine. Oh. Uh, uh. Stupid. The Ron Mower man. This guy's getting on my nerves. He's the first stage boss. Some of you already know this. Like you said this in previous videos. Well, uh, Codename Gamma's never played this game before, so kind of bring him up to speed. So what the heck's up with that machete just like lying there? Uh, I don't use weapons all the time. It came from one of those ninja guys earlier. Well, here's what I don't get about these like side scrolling fighting games: is that you get <coughs> as soon as you get hit, you lose them, right? Yeah. And you're not helpful at all. Oh, now no, you're fighting. Not all the time. Sometimes they slow you down. Yeah, and now we really are playing Mega Man. I'm <laughs> fighting two robot bosses here. Particle and Molecule. Huh. Now I'm probably going to get pwned right here. I gotta say, that's very Sega. You know how that ball's like coming out of their arm and it's like swinging around? Yeah. yeah it reminds yeah. me a lot of Sonic 3. Sonic, yeah. I think Sega dedicated this stage to Mega Man. So far, I haven't gotten hit, surprisingly. Oh, there we go. Oh, self-destruct. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I did beat him, though, without getting hit. I Well, I guess technically, kind of. That's what happens with Terminators. Finish their mission, they self destruct. All lives left. Yeah. Well, that is it for part five. Uh, I'll see you guys in part six as I hopefully beat the game in stage eight. All right, y'all take care. All right, guys, welcome to part six, the final part. And if you're watching this and you haven't watched the previous parts, go back to the start of the episode and watch it from there. Don't watch it from the last part. Yes, mates. I gotta say, this is pretty epic so far. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm here with Blackgate Studios for the first time with us, and Charlie, as you already know. We got 1003 and Bear 13. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, there, there he is, there's Bear Jr. It's Beer. Oh, that's what that really is. <laughs> Beer Jr. And he's here to avenge his dad. Is this Mike Tyson's punch out now? Yeah, fighting bald bull. <laughs> that is one big old dude. Yeah. That's correction. Awesome. Bald That's... bull junior. Yeah. Oh. ECW. Now this ECW. guy. Oh. Now this guy can go toe to toe with Kimbo Slice. No, it's funny though because you got a little guy going against a giant. Yeah. Oh, okay. pwned. Yeah, pwn that. Freaking Jolly Rancher. <laughs> elevator scene. Oh yeah. This is the Sega Genesis version of elevator action. Nah. This is like Street Fighter almost. <laughs> Streets of Elevator. Ah, uh, nah, okay. <laughs> we're fighting uh, E Honda and Kevin Nash. Kevin Ash is a wrestler. Uh, and E Honda is one too? E Honda's from Street Fighter. Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you think Street Fighter. Yeah. I think you're thinking of Yokozuna. Oh uh, now here's a cool name, Vulture. Now there you go. They should have used Vulture instead of Pheasant. And this is the best strategy right here because well, this, this guy would throw at you. What was I that? I said I give props to whoever's playing this. I mean, because they uh, they got their strategies down pretty good. Yeah. All right, I'm fighting Blanco again. 
kind of like if uh, Wolverine and Blanca had a love child. Uh, yeah, really. Oh, or Vega. We'll, straight, we'll stay on the Street Fighter and say it's Blanca and Vega. Vega. <laughs> Sorry. Vega. The guy in the blue looks like Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, he does. Never thought of that. Eh, nail. Nice name. Yeah. Bears in. Definitely getting nailed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah, I'll take that, Freddy. What? Aw, oh, man. Uh, yeah. Ding, ding. Or as Swindle would say, WAP! Say oh, what? Dang, That's man. I'm getting tired of Joe Higashi. Like, what is this? The NWO? It's like... Oh. oh. Major, uh... Microphone malfunction. Now I find the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> I was gonna say Mickey Rourke. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, Phoenix. Phoenix and Z Kazano. Or DiGiorno. Give me some pizza. It's delivery, not DiGiorno. Oh wait, no, it's the other way around, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> That's my Looks like that guy from Kiss. Yeah. yeah it's in it. Yeah, Gene Simmons. Yeah, Richard Simmons? Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the other Simmons. Oh, if you're Simmons. They, if it was either of them, then they deserve this beating. Richard Simmons. We're finding Richard Simmons if he was a wrestler. <laughs> Except he has black hair. <laughs> and here we go, Mr. <laughs> X. The boss. Yeah, Mr. Mr. X. McMahon. <laughs> he has Mr. McMahon on, on, well, I was on steroids. He looks like he's on steroids anyway. <laughs> Then you got Shane O'Mac standing next to him. Yeah. Shaman Man on steroids. God, I don't know most of these names. And this is Shiva or Shiva from Mortal Kombat, whatever his name is. No. It looks more like a new Kang or... You can play as this guy on part three. Shiva. Like I, I guess I guess they went deer hunting before before uh, this game. I don't get it. <laughs> look, look at the top of the screen. Yeah, I, oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I wasn't paying attention. Get off the commentary. No. <laughs> <laughs> I talk about their names. <laughs> okay, you can't throw Shiva because he always lands on his feet like a cat. Yeah. I guess he's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's very oh nice. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 Shane O'Mac got served. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no oh, chance, no. Shane. No chance in hell. You got. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Okay. Man, hold on. Those bullets didn't touch me. <laughs> he's like Rambo. The Matrix. He clearly misses, but uh, it still hits you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you always need Little bullets. Time. No, it's oh! Man, he'll pony with that gun in, in many ways. You got pwned! Yeah. Oh! It's not a map. Again. Oh, yeah. Combination of Contra and Street Your Rage now. Contra? Oh, yeah. So you're screwed, you don't get a gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got this up here. But you're now Bruce Lee. Why do I feel like I'm in Street Fighter? Because you're fighting on the streets? It that sounds like you're in Spice. <laughs> and that's, that's the... That's the end. Uh, that's the end. Okay, and... and to get away from the sorry ending for a moment, I gotta answer my door. Someone's knocking. I'll be right back. Does this mean we get to on that? Well, let's take this moment to give Ronnie a big round of applause for finishing. Let's uh, let's play Streets of Rage while he's not here. You know.
I hate this ending. The, Why? I mean, well, the music makes me want to cry. And well, that's the point of most credit musics. No. Like for me, oh, okay then. <laughs> okay, well, talking about some game then. Okay, yeah, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that that has credit music at the end. It makes you want to cry. Okay. I said uh, certain games. <laughs> guy getting chained in a corner. Okay, yeah, that makes me want to cry. No, that that's that's Adam. I said the ending makes me want to cry. It's the uh, music. This music is so bittersweet, happy. It's like. What happened to the ending music part one? Use that instead. It's too happy. Use, use the music from the Hulk. Da da da. da. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if they would have used some corn or something like that or dessert? <laughs> that was some death metal. Yeah. <laughs> but this music that made it really too happy and bittersweet. Oh, pink flowers, happy. This part is pretty cool, I guess. And it gets lucky, gets the girl. Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> OBJ. He's on. Ronnie likes his ending music with balls. Yeah. Well, actually, Street Rage 1 has some pretty oh, good ending music. Full credits. Oh, credits. Whoa. Echo, echo. Oh, they were talking. Fair, fair. I mean, beer. Yeah. It's like, yay, everybody's happy. Special thanks to Team Streets of Rage. Yeah. Oh, how, how Strictly Sega. Team Rage. Team Rage. I wonder if Team Rage yeah, yeah. needs to do with Streets of Rage. The helicopter needs to swoop down and shoot all of them. Well, I mean, they can chop a drop a nuke. <laughs> drop a nuke. Drop the nuke. Oh, let's all have a cup of tea now. Get off the screen. Have a good Charlie. Cup of tea, mate. All right, look look at the top oh, two ratings. Is. My initials and ECW. There you Ooh, go. Man. Oh. No worries, You're not number one. You're not number one, though. All right, guys, that's the end of uh, Streets of ECW 2. Um, this game is uh, my favorite Sega Genesis game, as I mentioned on my Gamer Tagged video. Uh, the music is probably my favorite thing about this game, and the gameplay is awesome. And it's real fun to play with two players. Uh, my final rating on this game is definitely a 9.5 out of 10. And what, what rating do you guys give it? Uh, Me, I'm I'll, judging. Give it, I'll give it an 8. Okay. Oh, we got 20 seconds left. We got Bear. I think platformers instead of the beat 'em ups. Okay. I, I give it an N slash A because I haven't played it at all. <laughs> Not available. Um. From looking at it, I'll give it about maybe an 8.5. All right. I give it an 8. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Uh, that's it for the Street Race 2 series. Thanks for watching, and y'all take care. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the ST2K channel. And this time, we're playing Super Metroid, a game that I can actually beat without cheating. Yes. And this is Ron Moore along with the J-Man 46241 and... Gunstar Hero 21 with Lulz Productions. Hi, everybody. What's happening? And so, yeah, this is a much better Metroid game. And that's not to say the first one's bad, but this one is also pure ECW. Yeah, they, oh, he's lying. He hates the first one. <laughs> <laughs> they just took the good stuff from the first one and... Uh, just made it, you know, a lot better in this version. Yeah. <laughs> Except the wall jumping. And for some reason, this has German text. Is in captivity. It's for FCEU 100. The galaxy. He's Swedish. <laughs> well, they're all kind of close together. Oh, I guess. I, I just think it's the ROM in general. Yes, yeah, the ROM. It's the only one I can find online. I think Nintendo wanted the American version for the console, virtual console. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> because I couldn't find this ROM on the usual site that I'm on, theopencomputer.com. So I had to go to coolrom.com and get this one. I don't get, uh, I don't get flagged by the Gaming Goose. Oh, you use, you use a ROM. Ugh. Yeah, uh. <laughs>
But then again, it's like you don't have like 70, 80 bucks to dish out on this game on like eBay or something. Yeah, and to drive all around town, you know, find you oh, know, well, a place to, to buy it, you know. And if anyone wants to bash me for downloading this ROM, um, I do have the actual cartridge anyway. So, it's much easier though just to use Cam Studio and record off the emulator than getting a whole capture card or DVD recorder and hook up everything and record off my TV. So, anybody wants proof, I will prove it on webcam and I got Super Metroid on actual cartridge. Not that yeah. really worried about people uh, finding out that, that recorder ROMs, but just in case there's anybody, any one of those butthurt console fanboys say anything, <laughs> I got the actual cartridge anyway. Yeah, it'll be a 15 second video with like <laughs> a pink wall. <laughs> Lols. <laughs> I, can, uh, I, can read, I can read that text on the bottom. It says, the scientists' foundings were sounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. No, it can't. <laughs> <laughs> They're the reason we have space pirates around with their terrorism and stuff like that. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But I had har hardly gone beyond the asteroid, but I can't do all every word in Australian accent. <laughs> Carrie's station is under attack, or Ceres. Yeah, Ceres. It's seri serious business. Serious satellite radio. Uh, yeah. Serious donut. Look at that thing. It's like a giant donut. Uh, yeah. Forge, Forchan. What? Yeah. <laughs> Forchan. Wait. What? Wrong. Wrong thing. What kind of game is this? Listen to this uh, music right here. Sounds like it's whistling. Lassie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That game is pretty good too. Psych. Yeah, I played for the Super Nintendo. It's pretty fun. No. <laughs> mm. Play as Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to guide him to fall into a well or something. Yeah, that's level yeah. one. <laughs> fall into a well. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo, no boss. And why can't Samus go up there and just get it? You're right. It's a Metroid. Shoot it. What? Ah. It really's got much bigger, more uglier than from the original Metroid. And much harder. Yeah, and no, actually, to me, this really is easier. I, I never really fought Metroid. I mean, not Metroid. Uh, really, on the original Metroid, not yeah. without cheating. Not without cheating. Uh, and this part, you're supposed to not win this battle. Just like in the first battle. Mega Man X, it's supposed to like lose, and uh, but there's actually a way to where if you can avoid damage and keep shooting really long enough, you can make really drop the Metroid, but he'll pick it back up and fly off. Yeah. He'll be like, "How was defeated?" And then you'll run away and be like, "How oh, sucker?" Yeah. See so the way Samus is like, "Oh damn it, you tricked me." And <laughs> yeah, see, he's getting more uh, bright red. I still think uh, Ridley and Fusion was way harder. I played, well, I played Fusion, I didn't get that far. Yeah, he's annoying. Uh, once I get a working ROM, I'm gonna... Yeah, well, I'm gonna play through the whole game. Yeah, I made him drop it. Give it back, you jerk. What? I beat the game already? Oh, wait. Like, oh damn it, deja vu. So now, did uh, Ridley like fly somewhere and hit like a self-destruct button, or was there like somebody watching and they were like, oh god, hit self-destruct? But the brain probably did it. But she's not on that planet though. Right. Uh, I mean, that's not uh, planet space station. He used the magic phrase, you know, like, and then it just like everything exploded. <laughs> That'd be uh, Angel's uh, battle cry if he was in a Street Fighter game. <laughs> When he does a special move. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Alright, so like Castlevania Bloodlines, everything's not straight. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the Lean Tower pizza. Mm, pizza. Speaking of pizza, speaking of pizza, happy birthday, we got. 
Yes. Oh, yes. Happy birthday. I happy, forgot to say on Skype. Happy Sweet 16. <laughs> Man, not nice. <laughs> I actually wished, guys, that... Uh, like DJ Online, I squeezed 16, and Swindog goes, wait a minute, Ryan, this is for curls only, man. I said, no, it's not. I, it's, a friend of mine, and he wasn't gay or nothing, but a friend of mine, when I was 16, had, had gave me a, was it, was it a little chain or necklace or whatever, it said Sweet 16, and I wore it, and I had no idea it was for girls only. I feel like, oh, you're so gay. If you, oh, and I wore it a little bit, but I didn't, I didn't wear it around for too long, but it's a good thing I didn't. I probably would have got beat up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know. So, <laughs> so uh, we got do not. Uh, if anybody gives you sweet sixteen necklace, do not wear it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> yeah, hey, avoid the sweet sixteen necklace. It will get yep. you beat up. By the way, the, the guy they gave that to me was Skip Rogers. That's when we, we were friends when we were kids. Uh, <laughs> he gave you that and, and a gallon of protein. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it for a male? Sour 16? What? Um, I think it's just 16. <laughs> Sexteen. <laughs> for the Jewish girl, it's 13 is bar mitzvah, right? And for Hispanic girls, 15 is uh, quinceanera, or however you say it. Yeah, I think that's I no about clue. right. Anyway, back to the actual gameplay. Uh... <laughs> We are on Planet Zeebs, and I wish you could drive around the spaceship part of the gameplay. That would be pretty cool. They'll yeah, never let you do that. I say drive the spaceship and fly it. Yeah. And I love fly. that music. I love that okay. music when you, when you get an item. Yeah, the staple music. I think it sounds best in Prime when they have it sound really orchestrated. <laughs> I like how things have changed on the planet itself, you know. Yeah. Uh, since the first one, you know, Kraid's not down here. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess when the planet blew up, it changed everything. I don't know. Yeah. Brother, brother, brain reorganized everything. <laughs> She's yeah. like, this cannot go here. No, no, no. I must change this. I must move this around. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. This is, we are now in like Turing Seven. There are like yeah. fifteen of these. We only blow up one. And this is a little nostalgia thing right here, nostalgic thing where, you know, you're playing Zeebs and all this right here is from Metroid 1. Right. Except that camera. Yeah. You get the, after you get the more ball, you know, it, it, it's a quiet atmosphere and, you know, uh, at the beginning of the game, then when you get that more ball, you feel like you're being watched. And you are being watched. <laughs> By Billy Mitchell. Somebody's watching me. <laughs> He's always watching. It's kind of scary, but yeah, so that makes sense. <laughs> and that's the end of part one. So we'll see you guys in part dos. Here we go again. Bye. All right, take care. Later. All right, welcome back to part two of Super Metroid. For the SNES. Not the Genesis or Game Boy, but the SNES. Genesis does. This is Ron Moore, along with Strictly Sega America, J-Man46241, and Bayer13. This would look better on a Genesis. Nah, uh, I don't know. I uh, know. Not, uh, not the music. Not, not yeah, the not, music. Not, the, not the music. Not the Sega CD. Yeah, man. Uh, this would look better on 3DO. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All <laughs> pictures. On my 3DO, we can probably program it for it. Me Metroids don't wear ties. <laughs> hey, you know, there are so many awful 3DO games now I've noticed since I've picked up a 3DO. Oh my god. There's good ones too, but a lot of balance. Yeah, well, anyway, back to the actual game that we're reviewing. Uh, no, no, we're not going back to the actual game. What does this game have to do with that? Uh, I, I, actually, this yeah. is one of my first Super Nintendo games I had as a kid. Because, I, I, you know, I owned the Genesis first, but actually I got this for... Uh, Christmas about it, 93. It was really fun. Oh, yeah, 93? Nah, this no, game... Oh, oh, 94. Sorry. 94, that's what I meant. Pwn, pwn, nah, you're lying. You just made up the whole story. You got caught. Yeah, yeah sure. I, no, I actually yeah. had this Christmas. I remember getting this because I baked my mom for it. Oh, this game's definitely a classic. 
And you may not believe me, but it's true. I did love this game. I had a few Super Nintendo games. Mostly, uh... I like... I like to fight this boss right here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I remember when I first got here. I'm like, alright, time to leave. Huh? Yeah, nope. Wait a minute. What's going on here? What? You gotta fight these things now every time you get a weapon? <laughs> Watch out! Look at crazy people. Not hard, though. I really like this one, though. I don't know why, but this had a really good storyline. Oh, yeah. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. I didn't know you did voiceovers for this game, Jeff. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you hide it well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're so funny, Ron. Lols. So Lols. But you know what, Ron? I'm not sitting here doing commentary on Metroid all the time. Oh, pwned, pwned. Wow, that was brutal. I don't think I'll come back from that. <laughs> This is so, well, okay, this is better than playing, uh, you know, doing a let's play to a shoot 'em up or something. Yeah, but well, you know what, Jeff? At least I'm not commentating over, uh, plumbers don't wear ties. Hey, you know what? That has been really successful. You can't really complain of that. Actually, that actually yeah, it has. Part one got thousand and something views. Yeah. Yep. Get ready for Night Trap, ladies and gentlemen. They'll beat, <laughs> they'll beat plumbers don't wear ties, I promise you that. It actually probably will. More known. See what drove Dana Plato to her drug and alcohol addictions. Oh, yes. That will be awesome. But anyway, back to Metroid. What if this was on the Genesis? That would be pretty interesting, I have to say. Yeah. It'd probably be more what? violent. It'd probably be more blood. Yeah, it probably hope. would. Because Nintendo's real uh, sensory when it comes to blood yeah. and stuff. They still are today. They've been really child-friendly pretty much since they started. Yeah, but, but, but yeah, successful. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. Press the Y button, Ron. I like, I like to hear that music. You can't skip through that anyway. Yeah, I know. But I love that that music, that item collect music. Yeah. I'll give you that. That looks pretty good. I still think we should be doing a Let's Play for Chanel B3. Again, kicks anybody's ass. No, I'll, I'll definitely do that in the future. That, that, you should. That is an awesome game. But anyway. This is still a really awesome game too. Back to the matter at hand. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We've back been to, off that, topic so much. Got back, back to the matter at Master Hand. Uh, yeah. I like the inclusion of not only the map, as you can see right here, um, but also the directional shooting. Yeah. You know, it's where like on the first Metroid you can only shoot up. Well, here you can hold hold the R R or L button and shoot diagonal. Yeah. Or you can no. just hold up, up or down diagonally and do that too. So yeah. this game does ha definitely has good controls. Good question. Has anyone even seen Master Hand? I know it's a little weird to bring it up now, but... Uh, I haven't talked to him since, uh, since he helped with the, uh, I Want to Be the Guy footage. Uh, I don't think he now. likes me too much, because <laughs> I think different than him. Huh. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, I'm I was just wondering. I'm sure. sure. I'm sure that him, like everybody else, is watching this video right now, so... Yeah, you can understand. That, that's cool. I don't care what he hears from me. I mean, he might respond, hey, I still love you, Jeff. Yeah, probably. Or he'll be like, I hate you, you liberal, hippie communist. Now, just don't talk about Hayao Kojima. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play Snatcher, just for you, Master Hand. Just for you. I'm going to play me some Snatcher. <laughs> Lols. <laughs> anyway, I try, I try to get Gunstar Hero in this one, uh, but I, I pulled a Jeff and I fell asleep earlier. So. Yeah. Hey, you pulled a Jeff. Well, at least I'm not the one doing it now. <laughs> Actually, I gave an advance warning though. It's anyway. <laughs> I'm probably going to bed after this because I'm pretty. I got work at 11 in the morning. And then, just, just don't. We only got about. Four or five minutes left, so hang in there. I'm not no, I'm, I'm not gonna fall asleep for the next four or five minutes, dude. Relax. Right. Five minutes later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now now I'm gonna make my way to Brinstar. 
once again, Baron, I can't say anything bad about you, at least for the next month. Yeah, Watch. yeah, yeah. Why'd you have a bet going on or something? No, he's giving me a bunch of crap, and I can't do anything. I mean, I, I promised him I'd be really nice to him and, you know, plug him and stuff whenever I could. Uh, he's gonna be my ass for the next month. <laughs> yeah, for, for the next couple months, dude, you should hear what stuff he's giving me. Oh, my God. Bears just like the aspirin. He brings the pain. Oh, he brings pleasure and joy to me too. That actually, don't make sense. Bears supposed to uh destroy, destroy the pain, but and you get it. Shut up. Uh, he, look, right now he's bringing relief to me. <laughs> yeah. Bear actually does. Power for pain relief and so much more. Oh, uh, these villains, uh, these prank men, just, just uh, they don't do anything. Get up and forget it. Well, no, they shoot at you before you shoot them. I mean, or if you, if you don't shoot them, oh, shoot yeah. them before they shoot you. <laughs> but even the smaller like enemies are a lot harder to deal with than those. Yeah. yeah, but those guys get a lot harder later yeah. on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No Tell me about it. The one really memorable stage I remember from this when you're on the old uh, spaceship with the dead like astronauts and stuff on it. Yeah. That, that was the most memorable moment of this game I've heard for me. I love this music. Oh, um, yeah. Most definitely. This is on DebtFan 93's Top 100 Video Game Songs list. Wow, it must have taken a long time to make a top. You know, well, he's still, he's still working on it. He hasn't finished but, the list yet. How long, he's been, how long has he been working on it? I don't know. I think this is... I don't know what ranking this may not. I have to go back and look. But it's definitely on there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, hey, look, Skip. I'm making a map. <laughs> Make sure you have a map. <laughs> and here's Skip, here Skip Rogers' channel doing pretty much almost as well as the ST2K channel. Um, yeah, he uh, got a lot more subscribers, but Skip hasn't done anything in a while. I wonder what's what he's up to. Oh. Isn't that weird though? I mean, you help Skip out all the time, and you're, you have less subscribers than he does. No, I got more than him. Oh, well, Ron Moore has more than him, but ST2K. Oh, okay, but yeah, uh. I don't know, the, the SD2K, we started out, we thought we were really only going to have like maybe 30 or 50, and now look at it, over 200. I say it's been a smashing success. No, the SD2K channel actually only has 46 subscribers. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You think yeah, it's only been channel? on for, well, it's only been up for not even three months. In July? Yeah. Uh, no. I guess about three months. Yeah, you're thinking my Rawmore channel, it has 266 subscribers. Oh, yeah, you're right. Pretty sure that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. But, you know, it's 2K channel. It's slowly growing, growing more subscribers. It's ready to promote the forum, so please join the forum. <laughs> yes, join the forum. We're there. It's uh, this is not a plug. <laughs> <laughs> the hey, forum. The forum, and I'll, I'm going to start writing stuff. You know, so this, you're ready to a lot about Sega stuff. This whole channel is a plug mm -hmm. to the forum. Yeah. That's please why. come on. <laughs> We're desperate and lonely. Actually, I noticed that your uh, your uh, new members, you guys were up to like 96. You guys were down to like 60 yeah. something. Last time I checked, you guys have gone up a little bit since then. Well, we've had a lot more than that, but a few years ago, Kevin cleaned out the the membership list because there's a lot of deadbeat members, and he got yeah. tired of seeing them on there, mm -hmm. and he cleaned it out. So actually, by now, we probably would have maybe two or three hundred if he had to yeah, clean it out. You guys are actually up by 30. Man. That's good, dude. That's good to hear. Yeah, so I guess his channel is actually working. Yeah, and it's getting people to tune in. And trust me, we will help out you as much as we can, Ron. At least I will. Yeah. And uh, me and Bear, I don't know about Jamin if we can ever get him, but me and Bear are actually going to finally do a Strictly Sega podcast that will be successful and awesome. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Whoever we, whoever, well, <laughs> me, and Bear have, me and Bear have promised. Right, guys, hold on. I hate to cut you off, Jeff, but we're running out of time here. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you guys in part three. Oh no, Later. not three. Alright, take care. <laughs> Welcome to part three of Super Metroid. This is Ron Moore along with the Gunstar Hero 21. Help Lost Productions. And I'm still in Brennstar. And I got a another regular missile. That's awesome. Or, it's like deja vu. Or as J-Man would say, rockets. <laughs> All right. Rockets. All right, the Mega Buster. I mean, Charge Beam. No, no, you were right with the first one. It's Mega Buster. 
more awesome brainstorm music. More sing and deja vu because <laughs> didn't you do this already? <laughs> or uh, overgrown revegetation, whatever the name of the song is. Ask That's ask. Ask Debt Fan 93. That's a weird song title. Yeah. Awesome song though. Oh yeah, I, I like this place. Except like, well, okay, I like the music. I don't like the way the place looks. <laughs> Pretty pink flowers. Okay, more like disease. <laughs> Giant wasps now. Hit new versions of the Ninja Gaiden birds. <laughs> and uh, those thorns at the top of the screen remind me of uh, that thorn level in, in Donkey Kong Country 2. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Bramble, whatever it's called. Bramble ass chafe. <laughs> and we're fighting some weird plant. Hey, doesn't the way he swings his head remind you of Streets of Rage 2? Oh, that, uh, Contra Boss or whatever it was? Yeah. Oh, ouch. Yeah, I still got him. Yeah. That should shut his big mouth. Ha! Ha ha ha. Come on, open up. <laughs> Hold still and let me shoot you. Man. This is a slow boss battle and some weird boss battle music. Yeah, I, I, to be honest, I think this was the only boss fight song that didn't fit. Huh. Yeah. He's too, he, like, too slow for it or something. Yeah. Makes you want to do a little dance or something at a party. I don't know what kind of music this is. <laughs> dance song with them rich parties. <laughs> Good old rich people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you got him. I let's, thought you missed. Let's put another shrimp on the bobby. Man, let's put Streets of Rage music for this boss fight. Yeah. Ah, uh, so, oh, you almost missed. Uh, yeah. So right here is kind of a slow process. And avoid the little, uh, whatever those Earth. things. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Turd flurries. That's <laughs> <laughs> the angel monster. <laughs> it's Archangel Plant. <laughs> he now made it mad because he's moving faster. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, gay. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> now I have to wait even longer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, even ECW mode can't save us now. Yeah, there isn't. I don't think there's no ECW mode in this game. Let's use Game Shark or Game Genie or whatever. Game Shark. It wasn't out yet back then. I don't think. Yeah, uh, I think it was only Game Genie. Yeah. I know there's any Game Genie codes or probably is now on the internet emulators. I don't know. It, well, you, they still make you put them in. They're not built in. Like, I discovered that the hard way. Yeah. I think there were some SNES games you could not use the Game Genie 4 because it didn't have that little slot where you could lock it in there. Yeah. Uh, as far as I know, you had to pull those little plastic tabs out. Huh. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's about to die. You look like a doogie stain now. <laughs> yeah. He's a doo-doo head. <laughs> right, come uh, on, come on. Yes. Lulz. Victory. Victory lulz. Ruffle copters. <laughs> James Ruffle copters. All right. Now I'm going to get ready to get the super missiles, the super rockets. You should give them to you before this fight. Uh, yeah, you like leave out the door down there and board the plane. <laughs> yeah, like I'm tired of this. I'm going home. Yeah, or, or defeat that monster quicker. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I guess it's Mario Brothers. I'm going down the pipe. 
<laughs> oh, I went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> and like you go down the wrong pipe and it's just instant death spikes like Mega Man. Hey, yeah. <laughs> well, no, it instant, uh, instant spike death don't kill your Metroid. Yeah, that would be funny if that actually happened. It, it just says you were pwned by a Mr. Billy Mitchell. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, that would be beautiful. I'd be like, oh, you suck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's see. Because I missed out. Uh, let me see. How much did you get done so far? Like... Oh, this is still the beginning of the game. Okay, just checking. Because it was like... Because I remember when you played this by yourself before you had other people in. Yeah. So, like... Yeah, you were poning there. Yeah. Uh, Those things weren't in the original Metroid. Except they... Those are the same guys that kept killing you before because they would get stuck in the door. Yeah, they won't let me get out the door first and defend myself. Oh, that was beautiful. You know, that's... Make a time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that wasn't honorable. I mean, give me a chance to defend myself. You have to make a top 10 uh, best death moments. That was definitely one of them. Top 10 cheap death moments. Yeah, that will definitely be hilarious. But you have to go through like all your games that you've played through so far. Yeah. Oh, I destroyed that giant flea. Ah, uh, that's awesome. That giant flea, it sucks. Oh, yes he does. There's no mistake. Yeah. Now I'm getting an energy refill. Yes, just because you need it, because there's no <laughs> e-barrels here. Uh, you, yeah. keep them, you don't get to use them. Yeah. Ah, uh, let me think. So next you're going to that water place, right? Meridia, I think? No, I am going to fight Kraid. Oh, uh, even better. <laughs> Yeah, Meridia is later on. I mean, like, toward, I guess, halfway through the game, I guess. Okay, that, seem, that seems about fair. Once you fight uh, Krokomire again. Oh, yeah. It would be hilarious. Yes, the Spazer. The Spazzing? <laughs> oh, whatever it's called. <laughs> the Shining. The Shining. The Shining. Shh, you want to get sued? <laughs> uh... This is a game that you could definitely come up with commentary for. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's your friends. They want to give you a hug again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, that's Meridia right there. Yeah, I like that play. Well, the music at least. Anything relating to water usually <laughs> results in death. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of water levels, except for the Water World in Mario 64. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> water Temple in Ocarina of Time. Blah. Oh man, that was hard. All right, now I'm in North Fair temporarily um, to get the high jump boots, so I can get the crate. Oh, that's right. They are here. I need to pay more attention to the other videos. <laughs> more epic item collection music. And more e-barrels. Yeah. They give extra energy to eat what? Hmm. Watch out for the alien porcupine. Hey, let's ask someone to, like, tell us their names. Do what? <laughs> tell us their actual names of the different enemies and stuff. Oh yeah, those are called uh so and so. Get it right. You're stupid. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Seriously, you think I was gonna know that? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about those little enemies? I mean, no one cares about the names of those unless you're just a douchebag fanboy. Or unless you're like, unless you have a degree in like Metroidology. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's okay if you know the names of them, but don't bash other people for not knowing the name of those uh. Uninspired enemies. Yep, totally uninspired. Oh, pwned. Pwned, but you left the missiles behind. I don't care. 
We have plenty of mo coming up. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was fast. Yeah. All right, so we will continue this in part four as I face ECW Crade, who's much easier than the mm -hmm. NES version. Awesome. All right, guys, take care. Peace. Welcome to part four of Super Metroid. This is Ron Moore, along with the Gunstar Hero 21. Yeah, I came back. And now I'm on my way to fight Crade. Oh, this is going to be sweet. ECW Crade. Exactly, ECW mode. Actually, this ain't ECW Crade, because the Crade in this game is freaking easy. Uh, eh, yeah, he's alright. The Crade in the NES is freaking hard. Now that was ECW Crade. Yeah, he went like beast mode on you. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now fight more giant wasps. Yeah, no, bastards, leave me alone. Yeah. Okay, I know there's a missile over here. Oh wait, I gotta get the mega bomb first before I can blow that up and get through there and get the missile. Let me go ahead and save. I know I got save states on this emulator, but just in case the ROM or the emulator messes up or I uh, forget to save state or I save or I do it wrong or whatever, I think the ROM will still remember that I saved in the actual game. I'm not sure, but just do that as security precaution. Plus, I want to get the full feel of the of me playing the game. The authenticity. Yeah, because when I, I I have that's a pet peeve of mine in video games. Save, 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 save. Mm -hmm. And they should do that all the time in Super Metroid as well. Yeah, most definitely. This is a game that's kind of unforgiving. Not as bad as the original, but yeah. Now there's NES Crate, and right here he's a joke, and I I don't remember, but I think when I first got here a long time ago in 94, I'm like, that's Kraid? That was an easy boss battle, are you kidding me? And yeah, I like this eerie, <laughs> yeah, I like this eerie uh, pre-boss battle music. It gives you that sense of, uh-oh, uh, yeah, he's getting close, it's going to be an epic fight. Yeah, like, yeah, you killed my kid, I'll kill you. <laughs> Uh, let me think. Now I think my Cradle was supposed to be in Metroid Prime, but because the uh, time they took him out, which really pisses me off. Huh. And I really got jealous. I want more time. Mm-hmm. I'm a better boss than you are. Uh, yeah, because, like, pretty much because Cradle wasn't put in Ridley, and Prime 1 became, like, fucking retarded. I was just like, are you serious? Like, why is it so hard to kill this bastard? Yeah. And when you first fight Kray, like, oh man, it's right here, it gets much bigger, and you're like, are you kidding me? No way. Yeah, like, I'm fat, bitch. Like, oh man, he was hard in the NES, I can't imagine how hard he's gonna be now. And he's not really that hard. Yeah, the only difference, like, because you fight him in Zero Mission, uh, the same exact way it's um you come in from the right and the damage cap that you take and give um is changed a lot like he hits way harder in zero mission huh it's fucking oh wow that was fast oh yeah you should see a speed run and how fast you can really beat him you can you can actually beat him before he gets bigger oh uh, that's that sounds hilarious yeah now I got the variation suit. Hey, transform. <laughs> More than me, the eye. Exactly. That was terrible. Yeah. Bear 13 can do it better. We'll make him do it. We'll record on Audacity and just put it in. Yeah. That dead guy right there, I think that's that was Samus' partner in Houston. According to the, if I remember correctly, the uh, comic book in Nintendo Power Magazine years ago, a, sh a short comic to Super Metroid. Uh, not, probably not Houston, but someone, I don't know, another bounty hunter that tried to fight Craig and got killed, I guess. I don't know. I think Houston survived in the comic book. I'll have to do some research on that. I don't, I don't even know if I still had that issue or not. Uh, if you do, uh, let me know. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I need to see it. <laughs> Hopefully someone on here, FCU or Metroid Fever or someone, 
some other major Metroid fan can uh, probably smarten us, smarten us up on that because I'm not sure. I greatly appreciate that. Oh uh, yeah, let's appreciate getting answers. Yeah. Beat me up, Scotty. <laughs> beat, me up, beat me up, Scotty. Grub. Fire. <laughs> streets of fire. <laughs> you know that on the streets here, boy, whatever. <laughs> streets of Metroids. <laughs> streets of ass chafe. What is that? Ass chafe, that's another word for things that, like, yeah, for things that are obnoxious and, like, over difficult, like the birds and Ninja Gaiden. That's oh, a, yeah. That's a, um, that's an ass chafe moment. Uh, what else? What else would be considered an ass chafe moment? Think of something that was hard. Crade. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, you barrel. Yep. So, who's next on the to die list? Um, I believe the next boss that's supposed to fight is the octopus in the wrecked ship, but the next mini boss I fight, I think, is Krakomar. Oh, okay, so we have a choice here. It's either Krakomar or Fantoon? Um, I think right now I need to get... Oh, man, I got no super missiles, so I gotta go back and get some before I can blow that up and proceed further. Oh, uh, damn it. <laughs> but, um, the next thing I need to do is get the ice beam but I think before I can do that I gotta get the speed booster and then after that I get speed booster I get the grappling beam and then I can go to the red ship okay so we have a bit of ways to go because I think out of everyone I want to see dead is probably Phantom because I hate him I just like his name yeah he's a pain Don 441 can't stand him either Well, with good reason. Yeah. Fantoon, that's his name. Fantoon, I forgot. I said the octopus in the ship. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Uh, speaking of him, um, you know there's a Super Metroid ROM hack where it's just all the bosses? I've seen part of a ROM hack, uh, but I haven't seen all of it. Well, it was like, um, yeah, this guy, um, Proton John on YouTube, he was, um, he did it, and it was just like, it was inter interesting because, you know, Metroid's never done that, but it's copied Castlevania in such ways where it's like, it's surprising. Oh, yeah. So. I check that out. Yeah, you might, uh, yeah, you should. And then, uh, because, I mean, it's just the boss, and I mean, it can't possibly take that long. Yeah, and I would like to see, a. Uh... A Metroid hack, a Super Metroid hack, where it's 8-bit, and look, it could be Metroid 2 for the NES, that'd be very pretty cool. Um, I don't know, I think someone might have already done that. That's what I was looking for on YouTube, I couldn't find it. Uh, I don't know, I'll probably look it up, because I know I saw it, like, I went on the site and it was, like, one of the options, and I, I don't know why the hell I didn't pick it up. Huh? Why didn't you pick it up? I'm about to shit. I'm about to leave right now. It's like... <laughs> Alright, I'm taking over this commentary by myself. Uh... <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that. That's a dick move. Alright, now, North Fair, the hot part of North Fair, and I have the various suits on safe. Well, safe from the heat, but not the enemies. Yeah, not safe from the lava either. Hey, yeah. Well, certain kinds of lava you are when you have the gravity suit. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad there's no phase on here. Oh uh, yeah. Man, it's hot in here. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. We on a yeah. mission. Come along and ride on the fantastic slide, slide, slippery slide. Wow. <laughs> Lost. <laughs> I remember, uh, uh, I heard that on the uh, one of the old S2K shows I uploaded recently, and I had to reuse that joke again. Uh, that's awesome. Ah, the burning <laughs> sensation. Uh. <laughs> I wonder what the hell you were doing. There's missiles down there. He's like, what are you trying to kill yourself for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I finally, uh, earlier this year, I finally got 100% of all the weapons in this game. And I had to get help from uh, one of the videos on YouTube because I, all my life I can only get like 98 or 99%. And I finally got 100% a few months ago. You were probably like, yes, victory. Yeah. 
That's one thing that eluded me for years and years, over 10 years. Damn, son. Yeah. Uh, Stop eluding me. Yeah, and now you can tell that to your grandkids. Like, hey, you whippersnappers don't know anything about games. I got 100% Super Metroid. <laughs> yeah. You're like Cranky Kong. Exactly. And, all right. So, I'm going to stop right here, and we will see you guys in part five. Y'all take care. Peace. And welcome to Super Metroid Part 5. This is Ron Moore, along with Charlie from Strictly Sega Australia, Bear13, and we got 1003 or 90210, whatever his name 309. is. 309. Okay. Smarty. And you know what day it is today? Super Metroid it's Christmas Day. Happy hey, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ronnie. Happy birthday to you. Okay, Charlie's being, that. Charlie's being ejected from the call. <laughs> Hello. I hate birthday songs. <laughs> oh, no, but thanks. Appreciate it. Someone's going to sing it for you, mate. You know? what, what better way to spend your birthday to play Super Metro with, with your friends? Good point. Yes. Good point. Because I have no life. <laughs> yeah, good job, Ron. Because you love you, because you love your Metroid. That's what it is. Yep, you don't have a life just like the rest of us. Lols. <laughs> uh -huh. There is no. He's not here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's taking a break from this one. Because he's and... a wuss. <laughs> you can't handle too much of the Met Super Metroid awesomeness. <laughs> yeah, really. And y'all remember the commercial for this game? No, I wasn't. I don't think I was around when he came out. What was this? Nineteen? What? Nineteen ninety-four. Oh, it was just. I was just like one, but like whatever. I don't think I ever saw it. Yeah, the commercial where they showed a, they were in a scientist lab, and the scientist said, "We're going to prove to you how how tough Super Metroid is." And they put Super Metroid like on TV screen, and inside of a, of a room with a pit bull or whatever. Then the pit bull <laughs> came out as a as a pork chop or something like that. Mm. <laughs> or it came out as a puppy. I forgot it. The commercial's on YouTube somewhere. It's pretty funny. It's pretty cool. We should go and check it out. I love I love the searching in this game. It just never seems to end. It's constantly you're searching, 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 exploring. It's a great this game. Stuff, oh, this yeah. stuff is bad, this that's going on here. Yeah. This is my first part of Let's Play. I haven't been in the previous Let's Plays. This is my first one. Good job. And if you feel special. And if you're watching this part and you haven't seen the previous parts, go back to the start of the episode and watch it from there. And and Metroids don't wear tires. That was sensational when you did that thing. That was so fun. <laughs> that was Don 441 that did that. Oh, the new background you've got, yeah. But, I mean, the quote even was, it was, it was hilarious. Oh, yeah. Metroids don't wear tires. It just came out. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, you're talking about Met Metroid on 3DO or something? <laughs> yeah, anyway, back to what's going on on screen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stay on topic, boys. <laughs> yes. Back to the matter yes. of hand. That's general. Yeah. And right now I'm trying to get, And right now I'm trying to get the speed booster. Oh yeah, that thing, that thing's awesome. Yeah. And I'm about to get it right here in this room. Or after this room. Super fast speed. What well, okay, after this room. How do you get oh, okay. Yes. Okay, after this room. <laughs> yeah, after one of these freaking no, rooms. After that room, after that. <laughs> and this the way this room looks, this bubbly uh look for the room is uh, that look was also in Norfair and Metroid for the NES, if you remember. Nope. Yep. Go, no, Thomas, run! I don't run, remember any. Run, Thomas, run! Secret missile. Yep. I would never found that out. Because I'm too dumb. I think I found out through a player's guy a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Is this it? I use, oh, yeah. I use the internet because I'm cool. <laughs> that means we're all cool. Yay! Now use the speed boost. Oh, they just Put love you me. There. There. You better run, Ron. Yeah, Sonic, eat your heart out. <laughs> yeah, there's a Who movie called well? Run Funny Run. Yeah, Run uh, with by Patrick Dempsey. Yeah. What was the movie? Crack up film. Very funny movie. Oh, oh, was crack up? oh, the one I'm thinking of is a oh. serious film. Oh, no, no, this is the comedy, um... Oh, called Run, Roddy, Run. Um, oh, Run, Roddy, Run. It's about a, a hillbilly <laughs> who always gets in trouble. 
I'm thinking of a movie. It's, it's just called Run. That's it. Run. And the whole movie is about him running from cops and getting, getting. you know, he, what happens is some guy sees him on cops and starts a TV show about him running away from the police. Bad uh, boys, bad boys. What you gonna do, what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad Jinx girls, fear. bad girls. All right, what and... By the way, you, you can do? purchase Bad what Girls, the DVD, from... Anyway, back to the topic, guys. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Please. <laughs> but uh, it's, 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 it's my birthday. I'm going to go all out. I don't care. <laughs> go all out. Take your shirt off. <laughs> Ronnie, it's your Put it back birthday. on. <laughs> yeah, put it back on. Happy birthday, Ronnie. But, um... I like the NES uh, North Fair music better than the uh, North Fair music on this game. Yeah. But it, it, this one sounds good, too. And Super Metroid has that mood, what's called mood music. It sounds like hey. op opera music, but it's called mood music. Opera! Not the kind of music to get in the mood with. Yeah, but it, it, fits, it fits this game perfectly, though. Music is the I, ultimate I, source of the game, I think. It's, yeah. mu it's mu music to my ears. It is music to your ears. <laughs> That's why it's called music. Yeah. Not music to your device, is it? You know. Super speed. Oh, you fell. <laughs> now, now, and now I'm gonna you get. You guys the, are out of video than me. Now I'm gonna get the uh, ice beam. Ice beam. The ice beam. The fire and ice beam. Fire and ice. Fire and ice. <laughs> For another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> Put another shrimp on the Bobby and Ken. Yeah, just throw another shrimp on Bobby. <laughs> Dumber Dumber. I have any gray poop on. Hey, get the grub. How you doing? Yeah, Dumber Dumber. From I like how you can freeze them. That's cool, man. Yeah. That is cool. I like the little map up the top, too. That's very cool, too. That's that's cool, no pun intended. Yep, yeah, ice beam. Get it? Boo. <laughs> Oh, ice beam! Ash Grub, Ash Grub, Ash likes the, uh, oh, ice beam! Now where are you gonna go, huh? Oh, oh, that's, that's all. It's like you've played this game like a thousand times before, Ron, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I have. Yes. I mean, I did you a, have. I did a full Let's Play on my Rumble channel. Oh, you did too, didn't you? That's yep. right. If you did it before, took, what, how many parts was that? Uh, 20? 26, because I got lost in Meridia. <laughs> yep, that's right, I remember that. And then, uh, the ending was part 26, so it's really 25 parts of gameplay. But why are you doing it again if you already did it? Because this is a different Because camp. it's not as much fun when you do it with friends. Yeah. <laughs> so if you don't like it, there's a door. <laughs> but See? This door right here. GTFO. This door that's went through right here. Yeah. Get stuff. Don't hit your ass on the way out. <laughs> so now. Oh, look at that little level. That was great. For two seconds, you got to see something real cool then. Yeah. That wasn't two seconds. You exactly two whole seconds. Oh, look at this new map that come up. Oh, oh, pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And always. You know what, Charlie? Are you watching the right video? <laughs> I, I, think, I think Charlie's watching the wrong video. But anyway. I'm watching it here. Let's play Super Metroid Part 5. Oh, wait, we're talking about a map. There's no... You're talking about a little map that up the top. Up. In the top right-hand yeah. corner, oh, there's okay. a little map thing. Oh, up there. I thought it was talking about, like, a, in Part 3 or 4, where I access the map to Brinstar or something. I'm like, wait a minute. I think Charlie's watching wait, the wait, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. What are you doing? What's the deal with maps? <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Higher, higher oh, we go. It's so, so, so smooth. It's so super smooth. Gotta, gotta just keep going up and up and up so and up. Smooth. It's insane. And now we just like that. Along and drink along. up and up and up. And down and up and down and like, up and down. Up and down and, and, and all back. around. In and out, it goes in and out. Up and down and all around. Now, 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 now. Party down now. I hate to make our own CD. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's the case. Yeah, master hands scream at the screen right now. Stay on topic. <laughs> and I'll be all like, "No, super saint powers go." 
da, and, da, Charlie da, da. Be all, and try to be all like, I don't know. Oh, you got the power bomb. Where? No, he doesn't. Well, it, he's got the I'm, power I'm, bomb. I'm, I'm, see, I'm in Australia, and we're in Australia. We're ahead of time than you guys. Ah, oh, <laughs> wow. I know it, but it never happened before on YouTube. Huh. <laughs> Lol. Wow. And now you got the missile. The mi the missile the missile. It's Metroid has a secret power glove. Yeah, so you people watching at home today, there's a major lag issue, more than usual, I guess, between the United States and Australia, as we're recording. And so Charlie's like five, ten seconds ahead of us. So that's why so, we the video is finished, so it doesn't matter now, does it? Look, we'll wait. Maybe I'll come back next part, and I'll be in sync. Wow, you're 30 yes. seconds ahead then. That, wow. Are you shooting huh. a play before I said play? play? <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, well, anyway. Anyway. That's it for me. I'm out of here because we're about to hit time now. Not for us. Not for us. <laughs> still, still in the past. It's not very easy, W of you, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that was major laggage. I never forget happened before that bad. But anyway, now we're going to stop. Now we're going to stop, and uh, we will see you guys in part six, where I will do something. I don't know. Yes. Nice. Play more Metro. Alright guys, take care. Yes, see ya. And welcome back to part 6. This is Ron Moore, along with Strictly Sega America's Jeff. Hello. And I have finally recovered from my birthday hangover, so here we go. <laughs> uh, well, I I didn't get drunk. Well, my friends did, but that's another story. Me too, me too. I usually don't get drunk. It's funnier to watch your friends get drunk. Hey, yeah. <laughs> People say, no, but if you gotta get drunk, then you say, no, it's funnier to watch your friends get drunk. Same thing. Bring a camp. That's all I say. Oh, uh, yeah. And now I am doing something. And I can't Ooh, you got a power bomb. Yep. And I don't mean the wrestling move. <laughs> What did you do this? Did you do this on an emulator or do you have a Super Nintendo? I was going to wonder. Well, I did this on the emulator, but I do have the system and the cartridge. That's cool. That's cool. No, so I understand. I got this little uh, USB hookup thing where I can do mine, but it isn't that great, so I'm going to get Dazzle. It. Yeah. I guess I'm done, but Dazzle works really well, I hear. But you do what you can, especially with a laptop, you know, you really don't have much of an option. Yeah. Oh, watch out. I got chewed out. Yeah, I know. I forgot how hard this game was. Well, it's easy to me now. I mean, once you beat it, it's not that hard. I know. I remember when I was a little kid when I first got it. It's like back in, I think, 94 Christmas, because I begged my mom for this. Like, I, you know, I had a Genesis. Mom had a Super Nintendo. But when I saw this game, I knew I had to have it. Yeah. I didn't, I, the only other Metroid I played, I didn't play the Nintendo version. I played the Game Boy version. Oh, yeah. My memory of Metroid. And I don't know why I went in here. I can't go in here yet. I need the graph. I can, but I need the graphing beam to acquire the X-ray scope. I don't really need the X-ray scope in this game, but I I want to get it. You know, I want to get the full feel of this. Let's play. I remember that was uh, one of the most like violent scenes. I remember in this movie. You go on the spaceship with all the dead people, and like as a kid, you know, I was like, oh. Yeah, really. I like this blood in Metroid. Wow. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, this game is really enjoyable. I wasn't a big fan of the Nintendo version, though. I have played it, but I would prefer Super Metroid. Yeah, it's good. It's just real hard, but it's an excellent game. Oh, yeah, very. Um, now, I might not get 100% of all the weapons, but I want to try to do what Skip tells me and get everything here. No, and, and make a map. Yeah, you always got to make a map. Yeah, that's why I go to these map rooms. Even though I don't really need to, I pretty much remember everything and where to go and what to do next. This really kind of showed off what the Super Nintendo could do this game. I mean, I know people don't think that, but I mean, just look at it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, I was wondering. I was like, how are you going to get down there? You could blow up the bridge. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can't blow up that section of the bridge. It's weird. And I'm going back here, now that I got the power bomb, I can get this missile that's hiding in this wall. Well, the S2K had 50 subscribers, and then I checked today, and someone unsubbed. Uh, but 
Yeah, we're uh, sub we on you. <laughs> I think because I posted a bulletin saying, yay, 50 subs, thanks, and someone said, no. <laughs> I don't think so, and then I'm sub. But no, I mean, I, everyone should go check out the STDK channel. Yeah, for a bunch of them out. I actually got that right. Yeah, the ST2K. Yeah, usually I say STK or ST. Uh, it's, yeah. it's ST2K, Jeff, not S2K, mate. Yeah, ha uh -huh, Charlie. Hey, you know what, Charlie? <laughs> Screw you, man. <laughs> you. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> I, need you. I am just kidding. I need Charlie more than anything in the world. Now, you know what, Charlie? I'm taking over Strictly Sega Corp. I don't need you anymore. No, do <laughs> not say that. I am afraid of him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not afraid of him. But don't say that. Okay, Jeff, that's how you want it, mate. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> now I am trying to get, uh, yeah, the grappling beam. Oh, now J-Man signs in. Too late, J-Man. You got to be in the next commentary. You missed the commentary, J-Man. What? Lost. You probably sent me a Yahoo instant message. I just signed out, though, so I can't see it. <laughs> I'm ready, yeah, yeah. Oh, too late. In game, J-Man. Oh man, what? Well, no, nah, forget. It. I'm not trying to get. Uh, well, let me see if I. I'm trying to get this missile that's in this wall over here. Oh, it's a pain as you can see. And yeah, I, I'll... I went crazy in my in my uh, playthrough on my channel when I did this about six eight months ago. Oh, okay. That's pretty difficult. Yeah, forget that. Let's just run through everything here. Woo! Hey, you can't be Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to fight Krokomar. Uh, okay, that monster looks cheap. Compared to all the cool things on this event, and now, he kind of looks a little cheap. Yeah, he does. What if I just randomly open his mouth to yell? What real villain would he run? Mm -hmm. Now, just let's expose it. Sometimes he, he'll spit rocks at you, like you just did. Yeah, it seemed like a very terrible boss. I don't remember reversing him. It's so long since I played this game. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I'm really looking back at it. This is the only way you can beat him. You gotta make him back up into that bridge, and then he'll col collapse the bridge because of his weight, and then, uh. Oh, I see. They'll burn the lava. That's gotta hurt. Yeah. Oh my god. And if you look closely, you can see him breathing down there. Yep. He's trying to be sneaky. He thinks he's slick. Ugh. <gasps> nah, it's not over yet. Ah, oh, yes it is. Looks like that did not make any sense to me. That's <laughs> actually, now that part is pretty cool because you're thinking, oh, I gotta fight him. I still gotta fight him, and then <laughs> he collapses. <laughs> I will say that was pretty unique by Nintendo. Yeah. Wonderful game, wonderful. Not me as I can Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Mi Mr. Miyagi. I keep thinking of Spirited Away. <laughs> Now I gotta get the uh, thing a regular missile over here. Watch out for the spines. Be careful of the spines. Yep. Oh man, I'm gonna hear that a lot from him and in, in our collab review. Oh boy. Hey, I wonder if I could be. I want to talk like William Shatner to him. Hello. How are you doing today? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just want to throw him off. Skip Rogers is doing great, buddy. Oh, what the heck? That came out of nowhere. 
<laughs> Watch out for the things that come from the ceiling at random. <laughs> awesome. Oh. Alright, now this is where I get the grappling beam. And it's a pretty cool way to get it. Let's play some cool sentimental celebration music as we get each item in the game. Yeah, this game I think is 32 megs or 20, 24 megs. I'm not sure. I think the limit was 32 megs on the Super Nintendo. But what was? Uh, 32 megs, I believe, is the limit on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, Super Street Fighter. Uh, was 32 megs. I know that. Actually, so was the Genesis, which is bizarre. Genesis had Super Street Fighter. The Genesis was even bigger. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I know there's a new Genesis game coming out on pre-ordering uh, a couple days. It's called Peter Solar, and yeah. the card is 64 megabytes. Wow. With a CD for audio sound. Wow. It's gonna be an awesome game. For 35 dollars, it's not bad to get a bunch of posters, all kinds of cool stuff, a box. Yeah. yeah. I think that's pretty cool. There's still people out there who do this for Super Nintendo, Nintendo, all kind of game. Yeah. We should make a game. <laughs> that would be awesome. The Adventures of Dilly... No, not Dilly Mitchell. That would be cool, Dilly Mitchell, but... Uh, no. The Adventures of Skip Rogers. I was just going to say that. You read my mind. The Adventures of Skip Rogers. That would be awesome. You must be games all day, every day. <laughs> Is you end up, it's like Captain N or something, you end up getting sucked into the games. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I still think Captain S is better than Captain N. <laughs> you can beat him in a duel. Never heard of Captain S. Really? Uh, look on YouTube. Pretty good. Let's see uh, if I can do it. Yes, I did it, yes. Oh, oh awesome. And that is it for part six. See you guys in part seven. Take care. Take care. And welcome back to part seven. This is Ron Moore, along with the J-Man 46241, and Jeff from Straight to Sega America. Hello. What's happening? The J-Man is back. Yep. Unfortunately. Oh. Uh, uh, hey, you know what, Jeff? <laughs> what? What are you going to do? Nothing. Um, okay, here we go. I'm trying to get to, uh, I think, the wrecked ship now. Uh, cool. I, that's my favorite part of the game, actually. Actually, before I do that, I want to get the x-ray scope, even though I don't need it. I just want to get the full field of... Oh, wait. Ow! That was stupid. Oh. Yeah, I want to get the full field oh. of me getting pwned. This music is so creepy, like gothic theater. No! 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 Yeah. And, but I love the Northfield music in the NES version much better. Awesome. It's kind of like, I think some people might find that annoying. Every time you get a weapon, it tells you the same thing. Press Y to use it. No, no, no. I, I like that. I like that. I enjoy that. Oh, yeah, I do too. It's just relaxing music. Oh. Uh, it's telling you, hey, you found an item. Good job. Yeah. Hey, you blew up a little porcupine. Da -na 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 -na. Make a map. Map access. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> yeah, open the door. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> <laughs> the whole game is like, like there's dead bodies everywhere. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Going up the elevator. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> that's kind of kind of sound like elevator music. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Now, uh, check out Goldeneye for cool elevator music. Yeah. yeah All right. Cool everything music. Oh yeah. All right. Now I'm gonna get the X-ray scope. Hey, why did I use dramatic voice acting right there for? Uh, <laughs> Okay there, this is William Shatner, and we are Let's Playing Met Drive for the Super Nintendo. The Commodore Big 20. 
for just <laughs> under $300, you can get the best fun of your life. I thought that was the Vic 320. I didn't think it was called Commodore 320. Nah, Commodore made it. Commodore Vic 20. I, I know they made it, I just thought that's, yeah. That's all I'm saying. That was, ever... yeah, uh, pwned. Pwned? <laughs> You've been pwned, Ron Mower. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Here we go. What? That's what. Here we go. Alright. Here we go, Nick. This is where we get the X-ray scope. It's a cool thing to have when you first get it. I mean, if you don't need it, it's nothing special, but... When you first beat in this game, it really comes in handy. And of course, those shoot Louie the Lightning Bugs, and it gets darker. Wee, this is fun! Wee! Watch out for the spikes and the things that grab you. Oh, watch out for the Galaga ships! <laughs> I always loved about this game how you can use your missiles or explosives to open up doors. I'm what if that song had lyrics? Congratulations, you just got a new weapon, oh yeah. <laughs> Game over, yeah. <laughs> or out there where it says, press and hold this button and hit the A button. <laughs> you got the X-ray scope, now press select an A. <laughs> now run to the ship. Actually, I got nothing. <laughs> pwned. You just pwned yourself. I got nothing. I got uh, pwned. Strictly think of a minute. You just pwned yourself. Yeah, I know. I'm sad. Actually, speaking of... Uh, Metroid Junkie uh, did a video where he pwned himself one time. I guess nobody has anything to say about that, so we'll move on. I've never heard of him. No offense, my friend. I thought you were going to... Further elaborate. Metroid Junkie 2007, uh, I think he's been around since, well, I guess, uh, 2007, and he has thousands and thousands of subscribers. He has thousands of subscribers? Oh, yeah. Wow. Good for him. But, you know what Metroid didn't do? They didn't have one, on, they didn't have a Metroid on Sega Genesis. No. <clears throat> Come on, would it kill them? Would it kill them, too? Would it kill Come on, it could have been like, hey, let's put one on the Genesis. Okay, this right here, my game froze because my computer messed up or something, and I'm getting chewed out for it. <laughs> Is that my fault? Hey. Oh. You know, you know what I do for most recorders. I just, if I'm ever using an emulator, which I don't anymore, but when I used to, I uh, I would just make the screen full large and use Fraps because Fraps will work as long as you have the big full screen. I try to use Fraps, but it wouldn't. I mean, the little timer was was little numbers are moving the frame rate numbers on the bottom of the yeah. screen, but nothing was recording. Nothing would record. Well, it only works for one Sega Genesis uh, emulator I used about a year ago. I can't remember what it was. But I think I got it on my computer. But yeah, see, we gonna go to the ship now. Yep. Right. I'm loving the music. Is awesome. Oh yeah. Part of uh, Super Metroid's music is in uh, Det Fan's Top 100 video game songs of all time. Let me ask you something. Are you using a controller for your emulator or are you just using a keyboard? I'm using a PS2 controller. How do you use a PS2 controller? Controller converter. Uh, where would you find one of those, can you tell me? I, had a, I guess, but Young B gave me that about a year or so ago. Well, I tried to use my PS3 and it won't work. The controller. It hooks up and it reads it, but it won't work because of yeah. the actual game controller. If you can't find it at Walmart or anywhere, um, best thing, best place to look, I guess it had to be eBay or Amazon or wherever. I'm sure somebody online. I figured, I figured I'd look at eBay or Amazon first because it'd be cheaper. Yeah. I got my eBay for five dollars. All right. Well, we you should have listened. To F <laughs> you should have listened to FCU and bought it for twenty something dollars, Jay Man. Yeah. I know, well, I mean, you know, <laughs> I was so close to that, and then I was like, oh, wait, $5. <laughs> $5 foot long? Okay, that was dumb. Uh, hey, foot long. I can't not wait to get the gravity suit. Grr. Yeah. Yeah, the worst part is when you first start Meridia, and you don't have it. Oh, yeah, you can't do Grr. nothing. Yeah. Very <laughs> How come every time you get an item, the water disappears and you see the background easily? 
I don't know. Like the lava or water, yeah, yeah. any liquid in the game disappears for a minute. I guess it's part of a glitch in the game or the memory in the game or something. I don't know. We can't show that and the water at the same time. It's too much memory. I knew Metroid was always glitchy. Well, it's a big 24 megabytes for SNES game. It's pretty big. So it got a lot. Really? It got a lot going on, you know. Yeah. All right, and here we go. Hell, uh, you. Don't fall in the water. You got to start all over. Here we go. Now we're officially in the red ship. Wow. Oh wait, I can't, I can't, yeah. I can't save yet because the ship has no power, and so therefore the save capsule doesn't work. I got to defeat the boss of this ship before I can. Where all the power gets restored. What's his name like? Uh, Fantoon? I think that's what it is. Yeah, Fantoon. No, oh, it's like an octopus or something. I don't know what it is. Octopuso? I don't know. <laughs> Octopussy. Yep. Yeah. Um, you cuss. Oh, did that word? Oh. No, it's the name. Of, Ron. It's the name of a movie. So, ha. Huh? Ron for shame. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ron Morris misses it for saying octopusy. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so lame if YouTube did that. <laughs> you cannot say I'll that. Play. You cannot say that. <laughs> well, ABGN says worse. He's ABGN. You're not. Yeah. <laughs> He's got millions of hits each second. A dead R2D2. <laughs> no. no, you bastard. What the? F and F. And now, get ready to fight uh -oh. Fantoon. And this battle next. will begin next time in part 8. See you guys then. Catch you later. later. Welcome back to part 8 of Super Metro. This is Ron Moore along with Bayer 13. Yo, yo, yo. And now we begin the fight with Fantoon. Dun dun dun. That was a good Wii guy voice right there. Uh, and we, speaking of Wii guy, him and Gunstar Hero was supposed to be in this commentary, but due to de technical difficulties and my computer being 20 years old and not being compatible with Pamela, I guess, and Wii guy's um, connection, it's Wii guy's fault. No, uh, due to technical difficulties, they uh, didn't make it in this part, so we'll get them in upcoming parts. So you're all stuck with me. <laughs> yep. Ba Bear's the last resort. <laughs> that's, that's I was the only one home on Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or early Saturday morning. <laughs> and, yeah, we're doing this at my time, 4.15 a.m. And I think it's 1 or 2 a.m. where Bear's at. 2.15. <laughs> yeah. This boss is really creeping me out. <laughs> yeah. This boss is kind of annoying, but not really that hard. How does he really summon the power of those blue flame guys? Um, uh, because he can? Eh, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of explanation I would have given anyway. Yeah, because he can. Mother Brand gave him the powers. I don't know, uh... Skip Rogers gave him the powers. Because <laughs> if you're not imagine that... Skip, you're yeah. out of there. <laughs> yeah, imagine the power you'll have. <laughs> Multiply by ten, and then watch yeah. that uh, roller coaster video on that Skip Rogers cassette. <laughs> yeah. By Kodak Film. <laughs> uh, yeah, really. Kodak's finest hour. Oh, watch out! Oh, what Skip would say right here. Watch out for the rude fireballs. Shoot the octopus in his eye. Guess the octopus. I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> it looks like it's kind of. Got like you know those bug eyes when they make them in movies, you know, and uh, the one where the movie where the guy goes into the teleporter and he flies in there too. Looks kind of like that. Yeah, I just went off on a crazy tangent there. I apologize. <laughs> what movie are you thinking of? Uh, I don't remember. It, 
uh, something from the 80s. <laughs> yeah, like that really limits it. That really uh, cuts the list down. <laughs> yeah. It was... A a 80 and 3? No, uh... <laughs> Alright, then that's, that's the end of Fanchoon. Cause Samus Saron took him down. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I'm here with Star Soldier now. Okay, and now, uh, the red ship has n now has power. So now I can, uh, save that save capsule. And I gotta fight R2-D2s and Atoms. I guess, uh, R2-D2 finally got rid of that, uh, you know, crappy other guy, C-3PO. Yeah. Or, 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 is that the robot, or is that the robot I'm thinking of? I don't, I'm not, I don't know hardly much about Star Wars. Is R2-D2 that little sidekick robot of the gold robot? Yeah, the one where the midget had to get into him. Oh, okay. Well, what's the gold robot's name? C-3PM. Okay. MP3 what? <laughs> R3-D2. <laughs> <laughs> the hell are those things supposed to be? Uh, never mind, it's dead. Atoms, I guess. Because everything's bigger in space. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can't go through here yet. I need the gravity suit. Or Skip would say, from Metal Gear, get the bomb blast suit. Bomb blast equals cool. <laughs> yeah. I can say. Skip Rogers knows everything about being cool. Yeah. Our, our, our low budget review was a success. Uh, YouTube has asked both of us to apply for partnership. But back here on planet Earth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then I woke up. Uh, <laughs> when you play all day, you need to stick this comfortable and it stands up to a lot of gameplay. That's why YouTube has asked Skipper Otters to be a partner. <laughs> I partnered up with YouTube, huh? And now I have the power. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo power, biatches. Yeah, is that magazine still around? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's just really gotten so much more commercial. Yeah, I used to subscribe to that magazine, just like some of you should, should subscribe to the SGK channel. Not that a plug. A, that was a sheepless. Wait, sheepless? I mean, shameless, cheapless. Blah, wait. That was the most cheap, cheapest, shameless plug I've ever done. It's called, it's sheepless. <laughs> shameless. <laughs> it's shame, it's cheap, it's everything. Well, wow. you might want to be that if it makes you money. Wow, the, the best random off-topic commentaries come at 4 in the morning, people. It's also the one with the with the uh, lowest uh, words per minute ratio. Yeah. <laughs> now R two D two is getting his ass boned. Yeah. And you can't kill these things. You gotta just shoot them out of your way. All for a little missile I'm trying to get over there. Dramatic pause. Da na 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 na. I love that music. I know, it's so, it's so fitting for this kind of game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my friend was making fun of that music when I was a kid. I said, dude, shut up, the music rocks. No, it don't. <laughs> shut up, dude. <laughs> I was really getting butthurt. Don't make fun of that song. Don't make fun of that music. And now he's pwned, probably. Yeah. Easy dub, baby. Easy dub. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of EC Dub, guys, you gotta go check out Star Soldier 1's ECW review. That'll play. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ECW Hardcore Revolution review. No, that, game is, that game is terrible, and him and Jason Relaxation did a great job reviewing it, because that, that game is terrible. What system was that for, Ronnie? Nintendo 64. Because when you got the power of Nintendo Power... No way, I screwed that up. <laughs> you got pwned. You pwned yourself. I know. <laughs> As I'm trying to get the gravity suit here, I'm trying to make some conversation and plug in other people's channels, so why not? So check out. <laughs> Guys, also, you might have uh, heard of this channel. It's called James Nintendo Nerd. Check him out. 
Also, check out somebody who goes by the name of, the name of Irate Gamer. No, don't Irate check him out. Also, you might also check out uh, somebody else. He, he's he's kind of kind of well known. K Wing, check him out. <laughs> All these channels, if you haven't heard of them, check him out. <laughs> and if you're listening, James Irate Gamer or uh, K Wing, send us some money. <laughs> yeah. So we can bring you fine, fine Metroid coverage for years to come. Yeah. Not a shameless plug. That's $50 per plug, per video. <laughs> Sent to my PayPal account at... <laughs> <laughs> so pay up or we're going to get IRS on you. Erwin R. Scheister. <laughs> yeah, yeah, IRS. Quit was, your one and pay what's due, or IRS will audit you. <laughs> God, it's so lame that I know. <laughs> that's more cheesier than my cheesy comments. But uh, when oh, I was a kid, I we was playing the cheesiest. <laughs> we was playing Royal Rumble for the SNES, and a friend of mine saw IRS, and he goes, "Who is that, Iris?" Goes, Dude, it's IRS. It said, "Oh, I thought it said Iris." I know some guys named Iris. I like. Okay, anyway. They're eye doctors now. <laughs> yeah. And now I finally got the bomb blad. I mean, bomb blad. The, the gravity grab suit, suit, Ronnie. Gravity suit. I meant to joke and say the bomb blast suit, and I sound like a complete blithering, bumbling, stu stuttering idiot. Like, still stuttering as I'm making fun of my stuttering. And we have, uh, this is the most off topic. We, we haven't really talked about this game. Uh, <laughs> well, if you haven't, heard of, if you haven't about, heard of it by now, then, you know, you're just... <laughs> we're talking about other games and other channels. Trying to, you know, plug for some money. We're sorry, Super Metroid, for not giving you uh, the attention you deserve. I give Super Metroid an A+. Plus. <laughs> well, see, I'm doing this level... I beat Fantoon, and I finally got the gravity suit, and now I'm going to... You're just screwing get... around for the last uh, minute. <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to get the E-barrels, because they give you extra energy to eat what? <laughs> Best. And, and uh, yeah, E-tank is up here. Through the pink door. Because it's always fun to go through the pink door. The, the door! It's so door. awesome. The door! For those of you who've seen Charlie the Unicorn, three. <laughs> if not, you have no idea what, I'm, what, I, just talked, what I was talking about there. Uh, go check out Charlie the Unicorn 3. I'll put that video in the description box. You gotta see it. And Charlie the then, Unicorn 3, you lost 50 bucks. Yeah, so between now and part 9 of Super Metroid, check out Star Soldier's video and that Charge the Unicorn video well, I'll put in the description box. So until part nine, y'all take care. Later. Alright, we are back with part nine of Super Metroid. This is Ron Moore, along with Green, We Got 309, and J Man 90210. Sweetness. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I'm fresh I'm I'm straight back from Beverly Hills. Awesome. Lovely trip. Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had to let my hair grow up and, and put a bunch of hairspray on it. <laughs> oh, fucking awesome. Yeah, so, how much did I miss? Uh, yeah, me too. I, I just, uh, this is, I think, yeah, part eight I beat Fantoon, and then here I'm just like getting extra weapons around the right ship or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you're getting it in Super Metroid. Yeah, Metroid. First is Super Metro, and then Met Metroid. What's next? Super Hemorrhoids. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> or we can still Mr. Billy Super Metroid. I remember in, uh, yeah. I remember in, uh, Cybermania 94, they announced, uh, the narrator announced the nominees, and they said, Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> I was like, it's Metroid, you noob. <laughs> Nice job, Jackass. You gotta announce that they don't know anything about video games and the video game award ceremony. Okay, yeah, you just butchered it. You ruined it. And now I'm still trying to get, uh, before I go to Meridia, I want to try to get, try to do what Skip advised me to do and get everything here. 
Yeah. Then do it. Use that freeze beam thing. Yeah. Use your Konami to get everything right now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Uh, this game has no ECW mode. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> then, then use hot sauce mode. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Adam is a monster. Yeah, that part's really hard if you just sit there and try to kill all the monsters. Yeah. And oh, you got, really? At first you got to, to open up the metal doors. Right. And now I'm going to get a... This is a miniature Star Trek ship. <laughs> yeah, it does look like the Enterprise. Oh, yeah, you got to fight Captain Kirk later on. And, <laughs> That's fuck. Uh, Star Metroid. <laughs> Oh, the mother lad. <laughs> Your mother brain. Oh. oh. Big wow, that made my face hurt. What? Face palm. <laughs> no, I said that made my face hurt. But yes, face palm also. Butt hurt. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, like a dick palm, if that makes any sense. Uh oh. Just... No, you didn't get it. You're not touching it. Uh, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> uh, I don't want to hear that. Uh... Glitch. You cheated. Yeah, I'm you so called him. <laughs> There is such thing as a dip, dick problem. I'm not making that up. <laughs> I'm wow. What it is, but anyway. Oh boy, this video is gonna get flagged. <laughs> yeah. We get flagged with the white flag. Yep. By the flag, it's. Yeah. We're gonna flag it because of just random trolls, and not gonna even be like because of inappropriate content. Like we could put porn on here, and they'll just flag it because we're talking dumb shit. Yeah. The trolls trolling trolls. Uh, this game That's is. Thing. This video is crap because they talk about monkeys. Right, I have to make a comment. Troll. Damn it! You had 69 energy. <laughs> okay, very funny. Okay, then moving on now. Yeah, what the, the video was taken down by YouTube, not flagged, but YouTube staff member saw 69 at the top in the corner. Now that's disgusting. The video taken down for yeah, Super Metroid Part 69 is removed. Yeah. <laughs> this video has been removed due to inappropriate contact or sexual in the window. Or in the window. Tendo. Yeah, and in the Nintendo, how do you say that word? Yeah. In the Windows 64. Yeah. <laughs> Super Nintendo. The old Trump. system. <laughs> this video's been removed because this person's using the ROM instead of a real game. Oh, why don't you post that damn video? <laughs> Flagged by Gaming Goose. Yeah. And this right here takes deep concentration. What are you doing? Train for the Olympics or some shit? He's doing a registered <laughs> video. Watch. Oh my god. Just spray video. Oh there was one where that guy tried for like 10 minutes to bomb jump. Oh yeah. I didn't see that, but that sounds hilarious. And he had oh, like a fail jump. He had the cursor in the middle of the screen the whole time. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, oh. Gay. This takes tremendous concentration. Well see, he was trying to make a point. Uh, and failed miserably even with that damn point. Oh yeah. Oh, what the hell is this? It's a Pokemon. It's hot sauce. You're in the hot sauce. Yo, Hydroid or whatever that Pokemon is. Uh, it's an evil mutant baby bop. <laughs> it's Kingdra. Who? Kingdra. It's Pokemon. Oh, I don't know anything about Pokemon. A Pokemon. I should make a video. Let's make Ron appreciate Pokemon. <laughs> Let's force <laughs> Ron appreciate po Pokemon. Pokemon. Was that made in Jamaica or something? <laughs> yes, we like to play some Pokemon. That's called uh, Oh That's called Smokemon. <laughs> that was skill, Ron. That was skill. It's hilarious. You broke Samus's face. <laughs> that was ECW. That's face plan. Face palm. You're doing it wrong. What the hell? Oh, uh, Samus is dead. Spaceship. Yeah. Samus' spaceship got pissed at, like, feed me gas, bitch. <laughs> the E-barrels. Look out for the E-barrels. The E-barrels so epic it made the lava disappear. Yeah. Every time you get an item, all liquids on planet Z disappear. Then come right back. Nah, all liquids. Oh. <laughs> Does that, you mean you mean all liquids, even the ones inside you? Yes, them too. When you start start dying with all your water liquids are. Well, that, 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 that's sick, Ronnie. What do you mean all liquids disappear? 
Yeah, Ronnie. They could keep lying. That's what she said. <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh, terrible. I should feel Are bad. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's not what you said? <laughs> yes, you're right. I don't know. No, I'm terrible. I should feel bad. <laughs> I don't have the spring ball here, so I can't jump back up and do that trick. Oh, let's go. Good job. Video. So I gotta go back around to get the other missile. I would just leave it. Oh, well, you gotta get everything here. Take almost everything here. Take Use your magical editing powers and like get back up there. Go back in time. Take what you can here. Use editing magic. Go Sonic, I mean Metroid. Sonic. Go Sonic. Yeah, you're playing as Metroid. <laughs> uh, no, you're playing as Zomas on. Metroid is the, the creature thing. I, I love those games where you play, uh, there's one game you play as Zelda, and there's another game you play as Metroid. Wow. Wait, you can actually play as a Metroid in a Metroid game? Because I know I'm definitely sure about the Zelda thing. No, that joke just went over your head. Somehow people people think you're playing as Metroid because the game is called Metroid. They think the character's name is Metroid. Then you get a bitch slap of surprise when you play Metroid Prime. They find out the final boss is called Metroid Prime. Yeah, and the and Zelda. I'm, when I was a kid, I made the same mistake. I thought I was playing as a character named Zelda. I thought my character's name was Zelda. I got home, I realized I was playing as Link. <laughs> I remember one time um, a friend of mine had this game, but it had no sticker on the front. So you can tell what game it was. He thought he was playing Mega Man. <laughs> remember, remember J Man and Mega Man Two? We thought we were playing as the kid, the robot masters we picked. Yeah. <laughs> I need to see yeah, that now. The original Mega Man. Yeah. I was like, oh cool, I get to be Guts Man, Cut Man. Wait, who's this blue guy? What is this? Yeah. Oh, I'm picking Air Man. Oh, I guess the yeah. play it looks different on the screen. It's a lot smaller. <laughs> yeah, same color. Like, yeah. You're like, you look at Air Man, my man, he got a big fucking head. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. They should make a game. Capcom should make a game doing that. They can play as Robot Masters. You know, that'd be cool. They already did. Yeah, well, like power battles, but that's like fighting each other. No, no, no. Um, that's the one where you go PSP through stages. Game. Like, you go through stages is different. Robot Master. Yeah, the PSP one. Oh, really? Um, yeah, cool. Only thing is you have to beat them Buster only to be able to uh, play as them. Huh. Gotta check that. And that's like... The only thing that's a bitch is um, rolling Proto Man. You have to download them off of the... Uh, like, um, the Wi-Fi for the PSP or whatever the hell it is. And yeah. it's terrible. Weefy? Yeah, the, it's like bootleg Weefy. <laughs> Weefy. <laughs> <laughs> Silliness. Hey, what was that noise? Oh. Yeah, are these praying mantises or something? Yeah, they're like cricket grasshoppers. Yeah, praying douchebags. Yeah. I don't think you kill those pork ponds up there. Those are the... Stone you one. could uh, charge through them, maybe. I'm not sure about that. Oh yeah, that, I think that's it. Yeah. Even the plasma yeah. can't kill them all. Remember, I don't know. I forgot. And now we are in Turian 57. Oh. Actually, you know what? I have 52. Fuck that. Oh, you got much louder. That was not my fault. I swear. Both. It was all we guy. <laughs> we guy. Always blame it on we guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And as, um, as I get this item, we will see you guys in part 10. Yeah. Sweet. All right, so you guys take care. See ya. And welcome back to part 10 of Super Metroid. This is Ron Moore along with Bayer13. Yo, yo, yo. And I'm now collecting more missiles. Can't get enough of those missiles. Yep. <laughs> And yeah, still can't get enough because here's some more. Dramatic music. Dramatic I know collecting music. Da -na 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 -na. Makes you feel like he accomplished something. Yeah. 
and then quickly you look around and you're still home alone. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, more uh, music, more of this music called uh, Overgrown with Vegeta Vegetation, I think is what it's called. <laughs> All right, more missiles. It's time to sign it's super missiles. Ooh. When I was a kid, and I would read that right there, like, super missiles, select that, and hit the white button. <laughs> I take it you're a strange kid growing up. Yeah, uh, a dork, got beat up every day, uh, had his underwear put on the flagpole, no, <laughs> salute your shorts, I don't, I don't know if you heard that show, but anyway. Yeah, I've heard it, but I've just never seen it. <laughs> well, Bear's, Bear's your young people, he's, uh, I think, 13. Oh, yeah, well, Bear 13, right, you gotta be 13. No. Smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> So it should be Bayer 20. No. Oh, Every man, year what? create a new year's name. <laughs> uh, yeah, one of these giant ticks, the giant fleas. Ah, uh, I uh, meant to jump right there and get the E-barrel. No, I'm not going to go in there. That's a save capsule. Don't need to save in there. More leeches, whatever they are. Ow. Watch out for the spikes. Pro tip, spikes hurt. <laughs> uh, yeah, really. Ask Skip. And these are one of the few friends I have on this planet. I don't know what they're called, but right here, if they cheat you how to wall jump out of here. Yeah, I can never really wall jump. Yeah, me either. At it. Yeah, just like this right here. I mean, I mean, even me, I've been playing this game for years, and sometimes the wall jungle works, sometimes it freaking won't. Oh, come to, on. Like, play Super Metroid on the emulator, and I'd have to cheat. I'd have to use, like, the, the game genie to use, like, a levitation or something. <laughs> yeah. Alright, come on. Ah, oh, there you go. Alright, now get in there. No, get it. Get in the freaking tunnel. Idiot. Flip! I'm about to flip, flip out. I'm about, to, I'm about to flip out. Come on. Flip now, out, break some stuff. Come on, get in the hole. Yeah, there you go. The power of bombs select like that and set it with the white button. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Making uh, bland, mediocre things sound exciting. Yeah, really. <laughs> ST2K. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I remember uh, the old motto, uh, the current motto is, uh, or tagline is, speak your mind. The old motto was actually, your source for everything cool. And uh, <laughs> uh, that would have to be right there, though, but be, your source for everything bland, or everything lame. <laughs> <laughs> Jump at the right time, yes. Energy, yeah, that was hard to do. Uh. <laughs> I have got to get a life. Uh, <laughs> all right, more super missiles. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now let's go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not sure. To, ah, dang it! Now I gotta go through this again. Come on, son of a. It's more frog things and other things. <laughs> yeah. That's basically how everything should be summed up in this game. Things. <laughs> yeah. Ah. I get pwned right here. Ah, you're stuck. Ah. Uh -huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, good. Didn't get hit. Yeah, you got shut up. I know how to do this now. Oh, well. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Man, this thing. When I was a kid, uh -oh. this thing drove me crazy. I was like, how can anybody wall jump? That's ridiculous. Unless you're Chun Li, you play the game with Chun Li or Vega. Come on, man. Yeah, well, Vega could probably just use his uh, steel claws and like rip into a ton of knuckles. Oh, uh, yeah. He had to be like that parkour girl from like Mirror's Edge or something. Yeah, he really. Uh, Spider-Man, <laughs> just crawled the wall. 
Yeah, game. but if you if you've seen the new movie, then no one wants to be Spider Man. <laughs> oh no! Uh... And here's O Drop Ostrich for making my next two. He wants to race. Come on! Uh, actually, show me how to do the this jump right here, which will take your energy away. That's okay. And you're not supposed to be up here. <laughs> Oh, you want to race again? Okay. Yeah, I won. Ah! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, yeah, you sure showed him. <laughs> and I was a kid. I went in that door over there and saved, and I got stuck right here, and I think I had to just start the game all over because I didn't know how to get out of here. I don't know. Even the officers were just, just showing me how to do it, but he didn't flat out tell me. You know, it was just it was like, so I got stuck and I had no idea how to get out of there. It's kind of like, this is how you do it, but we're not going to tell you what yeah. exactly you have to do. Yeah. Just it. Yeah. And let me go in here, and I think I need a wave beam first before I can get this, get one of the missiles or whatever that's in here. Okay, uh, go up here. Yep, need a wave beam to get through that door. I can get that North Fair later on. There's another missile around here somewhere. I think you can collect a total of 225 or 230 missiles, I think. Regular missiles. 50 super missiles, 50 power bombs. Alright, there's one. And there's another one behind, uh, hidden behind the wall down there I'll, I'll show you right here because walls are awesome yeah <laughs> just hey, enough. by the wall council <laughs> here we go you're just a, another brick in the wall get it pink pink floor and this part's pink right here my teachers leave them kids alone down 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 Alright, power bomb. Song's badass. You know what else is badass? What? The power bomb. <laughs> yep. Now, I don't mean Vader or or Psycho Sid's power bomb. I don't know if you know who those wrestlers are. Nope. Or were. <laughs> Old school wrestlers. Masters of the power bomb. Kevin Ash did the power bomb too. Alright, go through here, now they got the power bomb. Get another, I think, missile or whatever's down here, I forgot, by the sea. Giant caterpillars. I think they were cocoons or something. I don't know, the things that came out of the cocoons, I guess. Yes, here we go. What is over here? Ah, E-Barrel. All right. Energy. Energy tank. Pure tankage. <laughs> Energy tank Abbott. I don't know if you heard of him. He used to be a UFC fighter. Nope. <laughs> Actually, quote-unquote, wrestled in WCW. He looks like Jim Evan Neidhart. He has the same beard. Except his long. I don't know if you know who that guy is either. See, see Bear's a new school wrestling fan. So, Go John Morrison. <laughs> Go John Cena. No. Oh, Randy the hell Orton. with him. Oh, Randy Orton pones him again. I have a feeling John Cena's in the win. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Whoever wins or loses, it's... I like, Randy, I like Randy Orton's character. And even though I haven't watched wrestling that much, I've seen... So I've seen the match with him and Shane McMahon earlier this year, No Way Out. And then his entrance music kicks butt. Which, which is my one, the voices? Yeah. <laughs> entrance music that I had when I faced Skip Rogers on YouTube a few months ago. And... So epic and needed uh, intro music. <laughs> I like his and Jeff Hardy's entrance music. Okay, uh... And Jeff, if you're listening, come back to uh, SmackDown. Come back and uh, stay away from oh. drugs. 
come back and pwn CM Punk. Yeah. <laughs> CM Punk's a good heel, though, from what I heard in Ring of Honor. Maybe he's being a good heel in WWE now, too. Yeah, he's okay. His entrance music is badass. Yeah. And we are running out of time as I get this E-barrel. We will see you guys in part 11. E. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys take care. Later. And welcome back to Super Metroid Part 11. This is Ron Moore on with We Got 309 and for the first time with us, DeadFan93. Woo! For the first time and hopefully not the last time, Ron. DeadFan93, World Video Game Review Contest Champion, Champion, Champion. Woo! And I'm in Woo. a car. While well, this is being recorded. <laughs> Balls. You're in the car? I'm in the car because it's the only place where there's not any distractions for me. <laughs> Lols? Yeah. Don't bother me, motherfucker. I'm in a car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I'm gonna lock this bitch. Anyway. And now I'm getting... Now, now I'm getting some more items. Some more missiles. Missile pack number four million. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many missiles. Missiles. There's another one right there. <laughs> oh, dear Gord. You have yeah. such uneven amount of items in your inventory. Yeah. Ow! A visible platform there that you can only see with the x-ray scope. I love... I wish Green was here. It sounds like this is the opera song with the singing Lost! Dun 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 Lost! 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 Introducing the Lost! Taking hey, yeah. your favorite songs and turning them into Lost. Hey, yeah. Enter the Lost. Uh, a new Mega Man oh, character. Okay. A new Mega Man character, Lulz Man. He shoots flaming walls. Yeah. <laughs> Do Lulz look like? You uh, got, yeah, you, when you beat him, you got R Rufflecopter. <laughs> oh, giant uh, spotted grasshoppers, wherever they are. Giant. Yeah. <laughs> I got nothing there. Yeppers. Ooh, sudden change to awesome music. Yeah. Overgrown it's vegetation. Like awesome overgrown with vegetation. Yeah. You're overgrown vegetation. <laughs> if that makes sense. I'll overgrow your vegetation. Ooh. Your, your mom. Else, your mom's a vegetarian. No. No, she's not. <laughs> she's a vegetarian. All right, more missiles. <laughs> Everyone loves missiles. Yep. Especially I just... that Billy Mitchell. Wait, yeah? I don't know. Or as J-Man would say, rockets. Need those rockets. Yeah. Need those rockets. Stat. Yeah, this is one of the greatest video game songs of all time. And if it's on my list, it's official. Yep. Well, what, yeah. number, what number on your list is it? I forgot. Oh, uh, I don't know. It was like 37, something like that. Yeah, it's hard to remember. remember. He has to go through 100 of them. Yeah, I know it's 100. <laughs> and especially now that I'm doing runner-ups now on my backup account. Yeah. I have a whole series with endless, you know, numbers. There's no list. It just goes on till, till I just can't find any more music. I like, like Super Darky. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah, that, Super Dark Game. The one, he's list, the one that kind of started that. Yeah, well, I got a new twist of mine. You'll see. I like this one, too. I know you I know you were the one that pitched the idea to me. Of course. Of course. Go on, Matt, you won. I like this one. I like this I like this one, too. Yeah. It's very atmospheric. When I was a kid, I thought this was called opera music, but Nintendo said, no, it's called mood music. It's called 16-bit music. Awesome yeah, I thought there was women going, Oh, oh. oh you're blowing food in inducing. Did you, get, <laughs> did you have to blow your nose in the mic we got? Uh, no, I just look like a, I look like a freak in a car doing a recording and people staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> the cop is just, she's taking his computer to his car. The cops look are... Look at the weird kid over there, boy. <laughs> yeah. The cops are over there knocking your window. Sir, what are you doing? Uh, I'm in, a, I'm in a recording with Ron Moore. I'm watching a recording of Super Metroid. Hey, yeah. I'm about to. 
just lulls. You're not driving, are you? Uh. Not driving drunk. Eventually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better not be driving that ship drunk either. <laughs> you know, or ship or whatever. Saving. Everyone loves to save. Yeah. Except not the world. No one likes to save the world anymore. <laughs> so it's too overrated. I thought I said R rated. R rated. It's rated R for for Ron Moore. <laughs> yeah. Forget the, forget the world. Save the cake. <laughs> the cake. Yeah, cake. Okay, now I'm trying to get cake. I'm trying to get the wave beam, and I forgot exactly where it is in Norfair. More, more awesome music, but I like the, the NES Norfair music better. Here we go. Uh, Here we go again. Uh, Here we go. The song goes. Dun, 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 dun. Lols. 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 But that's Pokemon. Like, Here comes Gunstar Hero. Um, let's think. Um, Lols. Actually, um, this is Super Metroid. Lols. Super Metroid. <laughs> so many Lols puns. Lols Troid. Yeah. The best Metroid game to me is uh, Metroid's Don't Wear Ties. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah, that, that definitely is, is the best one. Imagine that for the 3DO where you see pictures of Samus, some cheap costu costume, and uh, that looks like Samus' suit. And <laughs> yeah, buying like naked? a Halloween store. Like in yeah. the show? And then you got uh, a male bounty hunter trying to hook up with Samus. I've been searching for you. And, and uh, searching for me, for you. Yeah, and then they do the outtake. They show the outtake in the video in the game. <laughs> the anti, the intake outtake. Yeah. Uh, anyway, back to the screen. Yeah. Anyway, back on topic to the actual gameplay. Uh, back to what's going on. Yeah. Back in Metroidville. I learned every We're time I was trying to freeze random things to get up here. Yeah. And uh, every time we get off topic, we lose the subscriber, so we got to stay on topic. Uh. I can't do opera voices. I was gonna say, join ST2K now. Join STDD. ST. <laughs> ST2D. <laughs> yeah. STD. Oh, for hidden secret path. Oh. Ah. Ow. Okay, the, the lava's not hurt me. I got the gravity suit, but it's the enemies that are. Now you just need the gravity gun. Yeah. Well, there's there's other kinds of lava in the game that will still hurt you. What about cold lava? Yeah. Alright, the R barrel. Woohoo. Keep your eyes out keep keep your eyes open for the R barrels. Ooh, they preserve the they, they, keep, they can help you. Yeah. They give more energy when you lose when you eat what they give more energy when you lose something. Say what like Anyway. Meanwhile. Yes, and insert meanwhile here. Yeah. Damn you car, if that picked up in the microphone. <laughs> Being driven down the street. Go Metroid attack. So you're in the car and the call's not dropping, but the last time you're in your house, the calls are dropping left and right. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Very nice. That was weird. I thought Metroid was actually the main character thing, but now I know it's that enemy thing. Yeah, a lot of people make that mistake in some games. Like, people thought in Zelda, you play as Zelda. Your character's name is Zelda. Or, it's just like Frankenstein. Because, you know, there's like the Frankenstein monster and the Frankenstein creator. But anyway, that, that has nothing to do with Metroid. Or does it? Yeah, it does, because we're making... Yeah, no. no. We're talking uh, about Metroid's classic like literature in a game of, where you go around shooting weird yeah. space creatures. Yeah. Weird. No, Metroid reminds me of Alien, the movie. Because, you know... You're a single woman in a space place. Oh, yeah. Damn you, cars. I'll get you. Oh, a okay. Space place, but with better music. Yeah. yeah. And Dr. Claw is with us now. Yes. I'm gonna get you, Gadget. I can't do it. Get you next time, Gadget. And there you go. You make me do that every time. Or at least the boys. Down, down. What are you, cat? Well, that's... I think Cat's the musical. Our uh, memory goes, I'm going to get you next time, Gadget. Next time. Down, down. Warning, this super part of Super Metroid contains the most off-topicness. Now, I think it was one time me and Green, we were part 7 or 8, I forgot. We were 
completely off topic for a long time. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. No, it's, you know, get, most of the parts are on topic, then you go off topic, and then yeah. you go back on topic. Well, sometimes yeah, it's the most fun when you go off topic. Yeah, as long as we eventually get back on topic, and sometimes there's nothing to talk about except, all right, now I'm running. <laughs> all right, now now I gotta go back. I go through that door again. That's why sometimes I'm quiet in my let's plays. I have nobody to talk to but myself, so I'm all quiet. <laughs> and when if you're I, just by yourself? You know, and let's plays on my channel. That's why you gotta yeah. be like me. Get a bunch of yeah. hyperness yeah. and serve her up and yell and scream like me. Or Death Fan will, will hum the tune to the song to to uh, fill the, to fill up the you, silence. You get trained after a while to make filler crap that's going. Blah, 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 you know. Not like yeah. me. I do that. I yeah. Like, <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I make them horrible puns. <laughs> puns. Puns can make a person laugh better it's than just random noises. Yeah. What's gonna do? You gonna do something. <laughs> or just You're impeccable team. timing, that works. That pun? Yeah. It should be a song. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Alright, we, we are running out We are running out of time here. Um, so there you go. We will see you guys in part 12. Yes. Alright, guys. Part 12. Take care. Bye. Bye, people. And welcome to Super Metroid Part 12. This is Ron Mower, along with J-Man46241, Bayer13, and Charlie from Strictly Sega. Yo! Yo, yo, yo. What's happening? Hey! <laughs> hey, what's going on out there? This is J-Man, J-Man46241. Hey, where are we? J-Man, if you want to know, the new generation. And, and we're... I think we're about to go to Lower Norfair. Looks like we're about headed to Lower Norfair. No, I'm trying to get the wave beam. Uh, uh, I haven't I haven't beaten Meridia yet. And as we get past the monsters from the movie Alien. They look just like them, don't they? Yeah. This is probably what, what the real hell looks like. Lots of spikes. Yeah, spikes and uh, yeah, Magma. Uh, th uh, that's hell, all right. I mean, fire, spikes, and Skip Rogers saying, "Watch out for the spikes for all eternity." <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It looked like a um, uh, sea horse or something. Yeah. Uh, legs. It's a hell horse. Well, well speaking uh, speaking of spikes, I think Skip Rogers probably hates Spike TV. Oh, <laughs> And this is where you get the wave beam. Pass this door. Why well, you gotta open it first? Ah, oh, man. Uh. I wanna see if I can get up there without having to leave and come back. Okay. Ah, whoa, that was pretty cool. I still wall jump that the alien. After it was coming out of that guy's stomach, also known as the wall. Yeah, it looks like, uh, that alien looks like it came from a Contra game, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like the alien on, on, the, on the cover of Contra. The, the alien in the background. On the cover of the game. Rockets! Yay, rockets! <laughs> yeah, okay, rockets, are they? Yeah, rocket missiles. This video has been removed. You're not knowing what the heck these items are called. <laughs> I always call them rockets. We're gonna get fanboys. Metroid Fever and... Uh, hey, you should know the names of the, of the, of the missiles, moron. You're the moron for knowing the names of the stuff. Yeah. That's good, that's more views. More views. Wave for beam. Okay. Wave beam. Wave your hands in the air. And wave them like you just don't cur. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you like the uh, of the uh, ST2K, uh... Uh, ST2K uh, Greatest Hits karaoke and 25 bucks. <laughs> no guarantee that the money won't be used for beer money. <laughs> yeah, for Bayer money. And no guarantees you'll get the, uh, the CD. <laughs> yeah. But you know we'll get us drunk. Yep. That's a given. <laughs> poning stuff and poning some more stuff. 
Because Conan is E C dub. The year. See this Metro. The year. See Metro. Is that a save? Yeah. Okay. The Metro Prime should have been like this, but with you know GameCube, Game Flip, GameCube and Wii graphics. So two two D side scrolling, but no, they had to make it third third person. Imagine Galaga in third. Well, yeah, two point five D would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, like just like Street Fighter Four. That'd been pretty easy to send money, Capcom. Send free copies. Yeah. We're we're too yeah, much of course to have you're listening to this and you start doing it. We want royalties, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, snitch. So now we're going for the Meridian, correct? Yeah, female dog. Awesome sauce. <laughs> yeah, female dog. Otherwise known as Charlie. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, 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 uh. He's gonna kick my ass tonight. You mean I want? You know what? You know what? what? You know what, polar bear? Oh, polar bear. Polaroid bear. Shake it, shake it like a Polaroid beer picture. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Back on topic. <laughs> so, was that a dolphin? Yeah. Dolphin with a uh, throat cancer or something? <laughs> Sound more like you having a stroke. <laughs> yeah, well, you're having a... Shut up. Um, <laughs> you take dead animals to the vet? Well, I'll take you to the... Got that? I'll take you to the cleaners. <laughs> I'll... That one, Meridia. Now what? Oh, dun 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 dun. Take oh, wait, cleaners. I thought, I, thought, Epic. I thought I heard Steve Austin's music right there, and the glass broke. Yeah, Steve Austin's the boss of this level. Wow, we're really we we don't have nothing. We're running out of material now. <laughs> As we play Super Metro Part Twelve, by the time we get to Part Fifty, we'll be talking about. Uh, what, whatever the cleaners or whatever Jamie is talking about. <laughs> Samus Ron kind of looks like uh, Bret Hart. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, no, Charlie got dropped from the coal. That's okay. Oh well, so long, mate. Thank you for joining us, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> he just typed. <laughs> oh, Charlie just. Typed F D F F. Okay, this is hard to do right here. And fortunately for me, it took one try right here. And it, and it gave uh, Samus uh, massive head damage. Yeah. That usually takes me 20 tries and drives me crazy. Crazy for feeling. I'll stop. Yeah, that movie made me think of Tommy Boy for some reason. Uh, there are twenty-five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I can't find the city on this map. Well, get yourself a new map. <laughs> and, oh, you know Skip Rogers. What he, you know, he would say. Draw a map. He callig, he yeah, callig, calligraphy. Fig, uh, uh, forget it. <laughs> callig, 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 uh, obligatory. Purgatory? Yeah. Pegatory. Not yet. <laughs> Get in the freaking hole! In the hole! I was waiting for J-Man to say this, what she said. No. Uh, I gave y'all opening and... Get it? Opening? <laughs> A small one. <laughs> uh, I think Masterhand wrote the script for this video. Uh... <laughs> that, that that's sick, Ronnie. Talk about opening and that's tight and <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said that's tight and he made it to a dirty joke. I'm like, okay. It ain't too tight for the Metroid. Get in the hole. Yeah, get in the hole. Uh, that's sick, Ronnie. Talk about getting the holes. <laughs> From the uh, always gonna be. Uh... Alone. 
Master Hand Collection. People, um, if you want to have the most random off-topic commentaries in your videos, try to do commentaries around 5.30 in the morning. Or just join sc2k.org. Yeah. Speak your... $25. <laughs> yeah, $25 or GTFO. <laughs> E-barrel. The Apex Energy would eat... Well You always need energy. And uh, I got a missile in this wall somewhere. In this wall right here. After you do some wall stuff. Yes, <laughs> rockets. More rockets. More rockets. It's French. Rockets. Rocky. More rocky fire. Sure it is. Yeah, well, you're... Uh, if, if you're listening, uh, studios, don't make Rocky 7. Dear God. Oh, it's been announced. The same year as yeah. the same year as Candyland the movie. Uh, Kids, but, uh <laughs> Candyland for the 3DO. That's a much more accurate representation of hell playing Candyland on the 3DO. <laughs> Bummers don't wear candy. They don't eat candy. There we go. They don't wear candy. Yep. Yeah. I envy a plumber that wears candy. <laughs> but then again, I envy a lot of pointless and stupid things. None of which being the SD2K channel. Join today. <laughs> it's the fifth shameless plug. Uh, no, it's not shameless because we have no shame of doing this. So it, it's just a... <laughs> if, if we get free crap out of it, it's not very much shame. It's a shameful plug. Shameful plug. Oh, I hate this part. The quicksand pushed you down. And, arr, jump, idiot. Shameful jump. Yeah. Jump. Jump, 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 jump. Because you gotta jump, jump, okay, jump. Okay, now we're running out of time here. And uh, so see you guys in part 13. If I get past this part. Later. <laughs> Latex. All right, welcome back to Super Metroid. Part Bayer 13. This is Ron Moore on the way to Bayer 13. And Where's BB Gunstar Hero. Ever? And BB Gunstar Hero 21. Yes, I agree with the Bayer. That was terrible. <laughs> and I am doing more Meridia stuff. Yeah, before this video gets shut down for using bad puns. Yeah. This violates the uh, bad pun policy. Wherever that came from, it was just uploaded yesterday. Oh, yeah. Kicking ass for not taking aliens' names. Uh, Whatever kicking, the hell you want to call them. Kicking names and taking butt. <laughs> that was terrible when you should feel bad. But I don't. Um, and now I'm getting the spring ball. What the hell does that do? Well, come on, Cinderella. We're going to get you ready for the spring ball. What the hell does the spring ball do? I don't remember that. Uh, you jump while being a ball. What oh. the hell's the Cinderella? Huh? What the hell's the Cinderella? You, you've never heard of Cinderella? I have. I'm just being a jackass. <laughs> I'm about to say, I know you're young, but come on. You, sir, are a jerk, but it's hilarious. <laughs> like, uh, Cinderella's old school, but come on now. <laughs> Uh, uh, this thing, this weird thing has helped me out, so I don't want to kill it. Or even after it helps me out, I can't kill it because it helped me out, and I'm going to go back to killing it. <laughs> but yeah, now I think about the only reason that confused me was because in later games, they combined high jump with uh, the ball jump. So it's just you got the high jump. It wasn't even high jump boots anymore. It's just high jump. Uh, yeah. Or just like in wrestling, when... A new wrestler starts out the long name, eventually they shorten it. Like it was Car Carlito Caribbean Cool, then it became Carlito. Yeah, good point. It would be dumb to keep calling him Carlito Caribbean Cool. And it's a horrible attempt for a uh, Hispanic accent. Uh, and there's the spling ball. Uh, Carlito Caribbean Cool. <laughs> what the spin ball? That game was terrible. Spling. Spleen, spleen ball. Spleen ball? 
movies. <laughs> yeah, the sequel to Dodgeball the movie. The sequel to like a fucking Mortal Kombat fatality. And Mortal Kombat 2, the greatest movie of all time. Oh god, that was terrible. Almost as good as Action 52. Alright, um, what are these things? Electric eels? Or worms? Hey, silly buddy. I got worms. That's what we're gonna call it. I got worms. That wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> hey, you got pwned. The polar bear is bringing the pain. <laughs> okay, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Come on, I hate this. Arr, arr, jump up, you idiot! See that? It's like in real life quicksand. It's like, just like in real life quicksand. The more you fight, the quicker you sink. And same thing on this game. So I mean, it's awesome that they did that for the challenge. But oh man, it's frustrating. It's obnoxious. Now with real life uh, quicksand physics. Yeah. Too bad that's not ragdoll physics. Don't make this game great. What? <laughs> ragdoll physics. Just watch like enemies tumble over, like when they start chasing you and stuff. It would be hilarious. Epic. I thought you said, I thought you said, I thought you said ragdoll physics. Yeah, I did. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think I did. Anyway. <laughs> Face palm. Oh, feet palm. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, face, face, feet, face, foot, <laughs> ass palm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what is it here? I forgot. Stop. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> With that. No, it says game over. Then you hear game over. Yeah. <laughs> how how bootleg would that be if you just went in a room and they got like um it would be like a map thing but it was a trap and you just watch yourself die and you just heard that in the background you should have made a map <laughs> you should have listened to Skip Rogers yeah. you should have taken those uh those uh, map making courses in high school <laughs> Like Carlito said, that ain't that ain't cool. <laughs> That's not cool. I like the hurricane. What's up with that? And he does the pose and everything. It's like, what the fuck? Why are you in this game? Yeah. Uh, another thing that would be cool would be like if you go save and they said get back on topic. <laughs> Something we can't do like after part eleven. Uh, was it part, yeah, part 11, 12, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> track, start to lose track when it's more than, like, uh, 10 parts. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? It's okay to get on top, okay? Yeah. You, you know what? I've been, out of the, I've been out of the game for, like, what, seven fucking videos or something? I'm allowed to. Y'all can't. <laughs> yeah, we can. It's my project, not do what I want. Whatever, I do what I want. <laughs> okay, mass fan. <laughs> oh, if you're terrible. not down with that, we've got two words for you. Drop the call. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, drop the call. Right, Charlie? <laughs> Send money. <laughs> ST2K fucking up topics since it started. Yeah. Off topic of lawlessness. Edutainment. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful. It makes me think of Edge's song now. On this day, I see clearly. I see clearly, Skip Rogers. I see clearly, so. <laughs> I see clearly, Skip Rogers in the shower. Oh God, make it stop. <laughs> Cut the video, we're dead now. Wow, how'd that image get in your head? Um. It's best not to. It's best not to go too deep into those kinds of things. Be clear, so see Skip as a pimply little kid when he was a kid. That'd be weird. Yeah, I can see Skip as a kid when he was a kid. Um, <laughs> it makes no sense, but it's hilarious. Well, someone will find it funny. Remember the episode of Seinfeld where uh, that pimply little fifteen-year-old was talking uh, 
on to Elaine on the phone and say all the love poems or whatever, and she found out he's actually a 15 year old kid with acne. That was terrible. I'm trying to get her to uh, get him to a. Uh... Or get her to bring him uh, booze and fireworks. Yeah, that's Skip Rogers right there. <laughs> that was him when he was 15 at least. Alright. Or oh. start save capsules. I want you to explode. <laughs> or Mega Man X, Dr. Wally, give you an item to save capsules. He should give me the Hadouken. Ouch! My head. <laughs> And like my face is now broken, but I have five more missiles. Yeah, it was worth it. I know you like my missiles. <laughs> right. That's what she said. On the stage, see clearly. And I think we've uh, Ron's in a fit of uh, edgeness. Yeah. And living on the edge. How come that's not Edge's intro song? I don't know. Actually, that would make. Total sense though. Because yeah. Edge hasn't wrestled in like a year. <laughs> Steven Tyler don't like Edge. Well, what? Where's Edge been at? Injured again? Yeah, still injured. How many times? That's one of the most injury for him and John Cena, man. Hey, Cena. The less said about him, the better. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Greetings from the J Man from the other side. Ah, uh, well. J Man, I know what you want to know. Tell him maybe. Generation. Tell him maybe he can be in part 14. Hey, hey J-Man 69, 69.2. What the hell? Where did... Oh, okay. I didn't see you go through the door for a second. I'm like, where the fuck are you? What is this place? I'm not in the door. I went under quicksand. I threw it quicksand to the other side. Oh, uh, okay. That's why I get for paying attention to J-Man for like 30 seconds. <laughs> now you can blame all, all your problems on the J-Man. They probably gonna, then he's probably gonna have the video removed and have like <laughs> have like Dirty Harry come like do a hit on me. You <laughs> gotta have the NES cartridge just come just oh I'm dead. Oh that's terrible. What's terrible? <laughs> Dirty Harry. <laughs> Dirty Samus. Sounds sexy. <laughs> What the heck are we talking about? Anyway, uh... I really don't know. <laughs> well, that's the end of part 13, Bear 13. Um, see you guys in part Bear 14? Ah! Uh, hey. uh, oh, that um, terrible. Alright, later. And welcome to part 15 of Super Metroid. Wait, part 15? Man, you have no life, Ron Mauer. Yeah. Yeah. And hey, you know what, Jeff? Because we didn't watch every single one of these. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. I don't even know what. I didn't even know we were on part 15. Last time I was here was part six, maybe. Yeah. Sure. And well, let me fill you in on a bit. We uh, last episode uh, was Green and J Man and Ronnie, and they talked about um, what did you talk about, Ronnie? Skip oh. Rogers' phone number. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. You've been officially filled in, Jeff. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> so yeah. And, oh, and how much you hate quicksand? Yeah. Uh, and we also a crap. we also here with we guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Charlie, stop talking. Let Ronnie introduce, man. <laughs> Okay, well, this is the room right here that I was talking about in the last part. I was a bit confused. The room you were just in before. Oh, I remember this level. And, and there's some speed blocks in there. Ooh, and a mini boss. This is in the, in the commercial for the game. This bit. Yeah, this is the mini boss in the radio. He looks pathetic. This boss what about music. Effects? This is not good boss battle music right here. No, it's it's creepy music, not boss battle music. Yeah, creepy music indeed. That's the same boss battle music that you fight that uh, mini boss in uh, Burnstar. Uh. That 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 plant opens his mouth and you got to shoot inside his mouth. Yep. Yeah. It's not same. Need, right? need, need He's turning other. red. Oh, you beat him. He turned red. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Need the other epic boss music. 
And apparently, that one, there. Hey, Ali thinks it's funny. <laughs> nice. We all nice. speak with Ali. How's it going, Ali? Hi! Nar! She's not really in this. <laughs> we yeah, we oh. have five people on this call, so it's gonna be tough Wait. to do this commentary. Wait. I think Cornholio's here too. We don't need no stinking badges. Oh, yeah, Cornholio! Yeah. You can do it. Points for reference. Point references. References are so reference. Your mother reference. made a reference. Watch to out name. Reference. Your mom didn't make reference. Watch out for references. The reference could reference you. <laughs> <laughs> Use, the <laughs> Use the reference to your advantage. And, here's and win. Here's the generic Metroids, from what I understand, a failed experiment that really uh, try to do, and make and cloning Metroids. Quick save. Hey, hey, can, can I ask you something? You're underwater right now, right? No, you can't ask me anything. So, anyway, um... <laughs> no, 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 okay, boys, awesome. man. Are, you're, are you underwater right now? It kind of looks like it. I, I think so. Oh. Yeah, okay, now, right. now, now I'm not. Now I am, okay. How are, I mean, when you're underwater, how is there quicksand when you're underwater? That sort of uh, makes a little bit of... I don't know, that's, that's, uh, that's plan. I've never seen, I've never seen quicksand in water before. It's just, that's weird. That's what you get when you play a game that has no sense of realism. <laughs> well, I mean, we're not Earth here, we're, we're on planet Zeebs. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Mother Brain is real. <laughs> She's my mother. <laughs> my mother. My mother brain says I'm cool. <laughs> nice. Man, we just did, did the Charlie laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we guys dying over here. I'm not dying. Doing the Charlie okay. laugh. <laughs> okay, seriously, quit that. We're we're wearing earphones and that's killing my ears, man. Woo! Take Stop having the volume so loud. Oh. 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 You oh. Oh. You angry Mr. video game nerd? Okay. Uh, an angry nerd. These spikes you don't have to watch out for because they won't hurt you. He's the angriest Tommy second nerd. Can you blow them up? Yeah, okay. You can take it from stuff and do that. And now I'm getting ready. I'm getting the boss. Yeah, now I'm ready to fight the boss of Merida, whatever his name is. <sighs> this is psychotic. This weird alien fish thingy. Yes, this music's awesome. Ah, uh, the intense. I love this. I don't know karate. I know crazy. Are you gonna use the trick? Are you gonna use the uh what is it like the lasso trick? Whatever that damn no, grapple no, not, shut up, shut up, the, shut up. Up. the lasso tool, what we're using in Photoshop? Yeah. yeah, you can use the grappling uh yeah, the grappling tool trick. Yeah. Blast arm. that mother effer with missiles. Yeah, I'm gonna use the uh, grappling hook to grapple the on the uh, sockets. Electrical sockets. Yeah, and it and kills the boss. Yeah, you, you, it, it quickly kills the boss that way within oh. five seconds. Well, you are in the water. I'm in the water now. Yeah, I can see you. Watch breathing. out! Stop standing around, you noob. Well, you'll find out why I'm standing around. It's the yep. skeleton from You're getting raped, Chris man. You're Park. going to get raped. Higgins going to go up your ass. I think you need to summon Godzilla to help you. Oh, yes. Right about now. Taking aim fucking to a new level. Wait, how are you not? How, how how are you not being electrocuted? <laughs> I question yeah, this. Was. Yeah, I uh, was. He was getting hurt at the same time. It just hurt oh. the boss a lot more. Yeah, he didn't yeah, have yeah. energy as you know all those energy tanks that it's, same as. See, it's babies. See, other than that, the only way to beat this monster is to shoot it in the stomach. Yeah, and, which is very difficult. Yeah, those yeah. babies, t take your mama, get out of here. Yeah, I'll beat some monsters. Yeah, space, yeah, space yeah. jump. Yes, finally. No, no, space jam. I don't have to wall jump anymore. It's space your jam. chance. You're your dance. That's a space, space jam. jam. Yeah. But now you really don't need to wall jump anymore now. Right. You got the ultimate That's jumping. <laughs> It's screw attack man. Not yet. Not yet. I love, I love screw attack. This is space jump man now. I love screw attack. The attack. Screw the attack. What just hit me down there? I don't know. 
Like, all I know is that this is ACW. Uh, yeah. Totally, totally ACW. Here we go. Save point! No? Okay. What is that? What is that background on? Like? I think uh, that's... that's... I, I don't know, it sounds that's windy. How do you know, J-Man? Uh, because I can hear what's going on here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. He's got speakers. Uh, no, J-Man lives in a well. He <laughs> doesn't know what's going on. I will say it's pretty cool around where we live. We have a lot of military aircraft flying past, and that's pretty cool to see. Yeah. Anyway, that's back. Bomb your house. It's open. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got. Okay, you're killing me, man. Sir. You're hurting. You're hurting. Nice. Nice. Charlie that time. Now, oh. We, oh. We Charlie's laugh. Charlie's don't killing. Don't blame but... me. I saw the white box. I saw the white box. I didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. You can't prove me. Sh shut up. Shut up. Stop lying. Sit. Don't lie. Sit. Oh, okay. No. Wow. What's going on here? That was a waste of time. Uh huh. Mutant Roly Polies. <laughs> what are these things? They're like alien hush or something. I think they're Mutant Roly Polies. They're mutant. Yeah, they're little gnomes. You grow, you grow the hair and it turns into grass. Chia pet. I think and then they you smoke it. A chia pet. Chia. 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 Just, 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 just That's what it is. Up. One of those things. The chia pets. Yeah. Yeah. Elmer Fudge chia. Elmer Fudge packers. Oh yeah. The put Elmer sand. Fudge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, secret area. We're going ECW. And Ron awesome. plays <laughs> through this game so quickly. This game's much easier than regular Metroid. Yeah, that's what you said before in the last Metroid game. Well, I'll save and then you man. quit because you're a wimp. You got a problem with that, do something. Oh, <laughs> snap, crackle, huh? Oh. Fight, 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 fight! Charlie's back there chanting, fight, fight! Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> beep, beep! Oh, beep, 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 Jerry Springer. Beep, beep. Okay, now I'm gonna try to get the plasma beam. The J Man team. I'm gonna get it in this video. Hopefully, in part 16, I'm gonna get it. Hey, 16, let's. Yeah. Part yeah. Sweet 16. Happy late Sweet 16 birthday, we got. I don't have yep. a Sweet 16. It was just. No. So, are you driving yet, we guy? <laughs> Shut up. Let's just end this. We're out of time. We're out of time. Alright, guys. We're out of time. Goodbye. Out of time. Bye bye. We'll see you in part 16. And welcome back to part 16 of Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, made by Nintendo. Copyright 1994. For Super Nintendo, a trademark of Nintendo. All rights reserved. <laughs> <laughs> all wrongs, um, not reserved. All all wrongs in layaway. Kind of stupid. Um, <laughs> This is Ron Moore. If you haven't guessed by now, uh, this is Ron Moore along with Jman46241. Hello. Hey, what's happening? I was notified by YouTube. Um, your video did not have a, a formal introduction. From now on, please do a formal introduction, even though everybody knows who you are. Yes. And uh, because of that, this video may be owned by Media in News. Yeah, watch out for that. Yeah. Watch out for the end. Get in or get out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Remember those WWE commercials when they first got rid of the F? It says, uh... WWE? Yeah, get the F out. Yeah. So stupid. Ridiculous. Yep. That was beginning the downfall right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I still call it WWF a lot of time. Like, WWF... Oh, I mean WWE. Yeah. And it's been like... How long? It's been like six years? It's been a while. 2002, yeah. But, uh... Anyway, I'm going to try to get uh, one more, I think, uh, e-barrel. And then I'm going to go back to Meridia and get the plasma beam. Ah, yes. And then we're going to Lower lower North Hill, right? Oh, yeah. Here. As Kermit would say from Kung Fu, the Dutch continues, 
Oh yeah. Kermit? You don't remember Kermit from the from Kung Fu The Legend Continues? <laughs> no. Oh man, he's awesome, dude. Remember Kermit from the Muppets? Yeah, but don't let his na the name fool you. That guy is dangerous. Anyway, speaking of dangerous, uh, oh, well, never mind. I tried to think of a cool segue. Speaking of dangerous, we're not in a very dangerous area right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now that I got the wave beam, I can go through this gate up here and get the e-barrel. Ah, yes, okay. I remember we, we went here in, like, part something and couldn't get through. Yeah, see, the, um, if I hadn't been uh, worrying about getting all the items and everything, this playthrough would have been done probably by, I don't know, part 10? Oh, absolutely. But it's nice to kind of show off everything that you know. Yeah, show off your skills, because I'm going to show off. You know, I got hanging around Skip Rock too long. I <laughs> think I'm awesome. Well, for make up, it's just to make up for my lack of skill from my Metroid playthrough, where I had to use ECW mode. You're compromising, or not compromising. A word that sounds like compromising. Yeah, see on here, I can hone this game. Right. You're evening things out. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going back to Meridia, but a different way because I forgot how to get the um, plasma beam through the other way in Meridia. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I remember the last one I was in. It was probably the last one you were talking about the wave beam. And... Yeah. And uh, another way through Meridia is to go through the wrecked ship up to the other side of the wrecked ship and then you find another entrance to Meridia. Ah, yes. Ah! <laughs> I was waiting for the laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't really do it exactly like Charlie. He really does it where he's having like a... Someone that has an asthma attack and laughing at the same time. Yeah, I don't know how that doesn't hurt his throat, because it just... Uh. It hurts mine, that's why I hate, I hate doing it, but at the same time I can't resist, because it's for the lulls. <laughs> I'll die laughing for you! <laughs> yeah. There's Ronnie's new laugh. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, my mom laughs like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ooh. Well, I got shafted. Get it? Because this is the shaft. Whoa. And you know what? <laughs> That's not funny, Ronnie. It wasn't funny at all. So now we are almost to the ship, I believe. Yeah. I just go up just a little bit more. This cloudy weather looks like Waco, Texas back there. <laughs> oh yeah, I see that I only got like three more power bombs. Thanks for the fill up. <laughs> you didn't even need it. Oh yeah. Alright. Uh, that, that area right there looked like uh, a vial uh, from the Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze. Or vial, whatever you call it, where the ooze is in. Oh, okay, yeah, they gave to Token and Razor or whatever their names were. Well, we're really uh, running out of what to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. At least we keep our commentaries real. Right, and this is another good part, you know, where you have the space jump and you don't have to do all that grappling, grappling beam crap. Yeah, really. It saves a lot of time. And that blue door reminds me of something blue. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make some lame commentary so that we can get rescue prey. Oops, I should have mentioned it. Now they know we're trying to get rescue prey on purpose. <laughs> Well, I was going to say that about your last uh, Mario All-Stars. 
where you had the oh. timer going off. I was like, oh, this is so going to get retrograde. Oh, yeah. Timers. <laughs> <laughs> and I did not do that on purpose. That timer already went off. <laughs> as, I, as, I, as, I, as I was playing live, and I did not feel like stopping. So I was like, screw it. He was like, well, let's play. Let's play a different. Let's play a different. When you're playing live, you don't feel like stopping doing it all over again. But if you do, if you're doing a pre-recorded review, that's different. That's yeah. You know. So when you do it live, you do it live. Yeah, I do it like Bill O'Reilly. Yep, that is our hero. You Roddy will do it live. He should have a video game. Yeah, Roddy. You just yell at people. <laughs> but you know, what? I I kind of agree with him when he said to play us out. That, what does that mean? That don't make sense. I kind of agree with him on that. That did sound kind of stupid. He played himself out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now this is uh, kind of a maze here, and I forgot exactly how to get through it. Yeah. 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 Okay, let me uh roll into a ball. Now, look, I'm on a roll. Uh Where's roll from Mega Man? Rock and roll, man. I like to eat rolls. Okay, that was a dumb bro. Oh man. For, uh net minus points for horrible reference. Say that for Thanksgiving. Might be a good Thanksgiving joke. Oh yeah. Did you see Happy Video Game Nerds review of uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors? I have not seen that yet, but I will be checking that out very yeah, shortly. I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil nothing. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! <laughs> All right, here we go. The second entrance to Chlamydia. <laughs> Wait a minute, Bear 13 has joined us. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, and that's all we have. That's all <laughs> for today. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Bear Aspirin. Laws, um, let's think. Um, actually, in Metro Fusion, you can jump high. <laughs> Laws, wow. Uh, we might be having another guest here in a second. Uh oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, I thought... Oh, I thought you were serious. Um... <laughs> no, a, a train came. Oh, okay, I thought you might... Yeah. Jeff or somebody joining in. Oh, no. <laughs> and you know what? I know you're recording without me. That, that's fine. That, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, it's cool, dude. It's cool. <laughs> I didn't want to do stupid commentaries anyway. Yeah, that, that train wasn't as loud as I thought it was going to be. The S2K show. Oh, it's it's T2K, Jeff. It's, it's T2K, mate. Hey, you know what, Charlie? Go screw yourself, Charlie. I'm tired of the way you guys talk to me. Oh, watch out for the claw. Oh, yeah. The claw. That never take me take me back to the other side of Meridia, and that start all over again. <laughs> now, this is where you get... Yeah, here we go. Plasma beam. Okay, yeah. It's a door you could, you could kind of get into earlier... But you have to beat that boss first, correct? Yeah, you have to beat Dragon. I forgot who told me that in the comment section of uh, of the last one, the one before that. Someone said the person's name is Dragon. Okay, Ivan Drago. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out for the eggs. The eggs could hatch you. They take away energy when you eat one. Those eggs could be hatching a plan against you. Oh, really? Anyway, <laughs> now that we the team, uh, we will see you guys in part 17. Take care. All right, see you. And welcome back, guys, to part 17 of Super Metro Boy. This is Ron Moore, along with... I forgot who I'm with. Anyway... Oh, my um, name is Banana. Banana Cream Pie. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we're... And uh, that, uh, we're... okay, you can tell who we're here with, and also here with J-Man. Yes. I think it's pretty obvious now. Oh, I'm Charlie, from Strictly Sega, Sega, Sega. No, no, Sega, Charlie, Sega, S-E-E-G-A. It's Sega. 
Sega! It's, it's Sega, Charlie, not Sega. Hey, you know what, Charlie? You know what, Charlie? <laughs> I miss the good old days, guys. I can't believe I'm even talking about the good old days, which was, what, six months ago? Uh, anyway, what does it have to do with actual video game? I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to go play Streets of Rage 2. I don't need Metroid. Stay on top before we lose subscribers. Something. <laughs> in this Stop. game, you, you jump, and you jump some more, and then you jump some more. And then, oh, and then he shot. He shot something. Oh, and he fired oh, a he shot door. Something. Oh, yeah. is that what happens in this game? Yeah, I love the logic of this game. Apparently, a missile doesn't destroy a door, it just opens it for you. That's some, yeah. that's some, that's some deep commentary there, guys. Oh, man. I think I think we've all learned something just then. <laughs> okay, now it's time to go to Norfair and face Ridley. <sighs> yes. No alien quotes. You don't deserve that, Ron Mower. What? Oh, I thought, said, I, thought said, I thought you said Ripley. That's why I was saying. Oh, Ridley. Ripley. Ridley's, believe it or not. No, I thought you said Ripley. Most, but like, you know, most Ripley. Most come out at night. Mostly come out at night. Mostly. <laughs> Okay, people listening at home, do not do more than three people in the collab commentary, because this will happen. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm taking it's my not... shirt off. Okay, thanks for telling us that. Um, <laughs> no, it's not just that, it's just that it's so easy to cut each other off. Oh, exactly. What? Pay attention, see? I'm yeah. paying attention. Yeah, I'm not what are you doing? Turn up your hearing aids! Let's all play. Hey, you know, I should do a Let's Play for the Sega Saturn. I got this awesome Gundam game we could Let's Play. In Japanese. <laughs> we should do we should do a Let's Play of... We should do a Let's Play... We should do a Let's Play of Metroid on the 3DO. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Is Japanese rap music? I wonder if you can get Japanese games to rap. I'm sure you can, yes, easily. I don't think I'd want to hear it, but hey. I think it would be hilarious. It would be funny, but still. Okay. So, so what, what part are we on here of Metroid 17? Yeah, part 17, and I'm finally making my way to Lower Warfare. <laughs> you, you just sit at home and play this all day? Holy crap, dude, you made it far. Well, I know this is... This is a 10-minute minute segment, I understand. But this, this game is easy to me anyway. I mean, i played this game all my life. It's one of those games that you pretty much remember everything. You can run smoothly through it. Yeah, I understand. Part of his childhood. Like, like J-Man in Action 52? Yep, absolutely. <laughs> I can play even the games that freeze. Ron, you should be like strictly Sega. We, we don't <laughs> use emulation. You shouldn't use it either. It's not. Yes. Yeah. Nazi. Yep. Uh, thanks, Gaming Goose. Sights. So, so, do, you, do you have a controller with this, or are you using the keyboard? Because you're moving pretty well. Yeah, but you know what, Jeff? I explained this before. I use a PS2 controller no. with a uh, USB controller converter. Oh, okay, because I'm wondering. You're moving really fast. That's why I was wondering. That can't be a keyboard. I should have just said, yeah, I'm using the keyboard. That's how awesome I am. <laughs> sure you are. And I love how that bomb only destroys the entrance to the door. It doesn't blow you up. The logic in this game is just beyond me. Well, Samus is cool. Oh, I, I, know, I know. I believe you. I believe you. That's a lot of hot sauce there. Okay, that is scary. I would not enter the mouth of that beast. And like, yeah, no. Yeah, we're now entering the mouth of hell. Oh, no, not Doom. Uh, let's not do a Let's Play of Doom. Ah, it's been done so much. Sorry. Moving on. All right. Now, now we're going to hell. I mean, Norfair. Lord Norfair. And I love the music in this part of the game. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Dramatic, urgent opera music, I guess you called it. Ouch. Ooh, that was dramatic. Ow! It's freaking sea monkeys down there. and oh. Hey, Ali's with us. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the G-Man. Special guest G-Man. G-Man and J-Man. 
G-Man and J-Man. Say hello, G-Man. G-Man! Wait, G-Man is here? Wait, we're not in Half-Life, are we? What's going on? Say it again, Madam. We play Metro! <laughs> Metro. Metro. <laughs> we are playing the Metro. <laughs> What's up, G? <laughs> you know what, I bet you he could make a channel and he'd be more successful than all of us. He has Yeah, he could do a retro gaming channel, man. He'd be exactly. huge already. He'd be baby. He'd kick all of our butts, yeah. Except I'm not allowed to put you on camera, am I? Mummy says no. No, you need, you need to put a veil over his face. Or like the Emperor cloak kind of thing. But what I'm saying is the Ninja Mops and the Ninja G, Ninja G reviews, you know? Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Wait, you have to face one of those. Ah! Run for your life! It's a giant... That's you how the focus uh, thingy. You have to fight a Pachozo statue again, just like you did at the beginning of the game, except this time it's much harder. Yeah. What is that thing, a locust or something? Uh, it's a, what's it called, Chozo, Chozo statue. Yeah. Chozos were like part of ancient planet, ancient Zebes for a long time ago, I guess. I don't know. Something like that. And those, <laughs> the statue, those are the statues that hold the items that you get all the, throughout the game. Right. <laughs> and, if you, and if you shoot rockets at him, he'll catch him and throw them back at him. Wait a minute, what? Are you serious, J-Man? Yeah. And the rockets! Use the rockets! No, I've used rockets in before, they never... I don't use them in, in this right here, but... I've done before, I've never seen them throw rockets back at me. You need yeah. greasy, yeah. fast yeah. speed! And throw them. Which rockets? The regular ones or the super ones? I think both. I gotta try that next time. Yeah. You are the dog. You are the man now, dog. And if you're, and if you're lying up you that. That's why. That's why I thought you were just using the, uh... The... That's right, that's right, I'm sad of it. If I'm wrong, oh well. What, what? I said if I'm wrong, then oh well. If you're wrong, you're banned. Um, if I'm wrong, banned. too bad. You're banned from YouTube, I have the power to do that. I will pose as companies and then remove your videos. All right, trying trying to recharge my enemy, my enemy. Ah, trying to recharge my energy. You have recharge my enemy. Yeah, now I got the screw attack Europe. <laughs> it's games that yanks can't wank. Sorry. You said that is disturbing how it's said. Games that yanks can't wank. I mean, come on, really? That's the only thing. Why? Was it? There's really a show called that? Yeah. Games. Yep. Get out on Screw Attack Europe. It's actually pretty decent. Like, beast on the PS2. Yeah. And I love the, I love the intro song. I gotta find the guy who made that. That is really good. Hey, will you be my friend? <laughs> I, love, I love that little cartoon. He's like looking really weird. I don't have any friends. Going <laughs> back into it. It's games that yanks can't wank. I, I, should, I should make a show, Brits that Yanks can't fuck. Yes, I said it. Wow. That's what we would say for Wank. Sorry. Well, it's official, it's official, folks. Part, fi part 15 has nothing on part 17. This is the most random off-topic commentary we've done on this channel. Oh, oh, what, 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 you like the show, Games That Brits Can't F? I mean, come on. That'd be an awesome show. Yeah, that show is pure ECW. It came out Thanks. in 1995. Um, <laughs> And I, won't be able, my friend. and I won't be able to get to Ridley in this part. I believe that will be in part 18. As we are we are running out of time here. Let me get this e-barrel. Let me get this e-barrel before we call it quits here and we will continue this we will continue this random off topic commentary, I guess, in part 18. So see you guys later. Bye bye guys. Da 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 da. E C dub. E C dub. E oh oh. Um. Uh huh. Welcome back to part 18. Oh, well, not welcome back to part 18. But this is the first time we hear it, part 18. I mean, anyway, welcome back to the let's play of Super Metro for the Super Nintendo. This is Armor along with J Man 46241 and Green. Hey, what's happening?
Uh, yeah, I'm back again. And now I am going to get ready to finally take on Ridley. Uh, finally, I've been waiting for this. But first, I got to get everything here. Yep, you must find the Ritalin before you can fight Ridley. <laughs> That's something Billy Boop would say. Get ready to fight Ridley. Yeah. <laughs> something that we guys should be on. <laughs> oh, definitely. Not nice. What is Ridley? I don't know what that is. I just Is it something that makes you uh, calm down or give you more energy? It's supposed to calm you down. They used to put me to sleep. Okay. Yeah, it's for uh, hyperactive kids. Yeah. And we got... <clears throat> um, yeah. Once, well, once they re reach teenage years, it's supposed to be uh, Prozac. Oh, okay. And they both suck. Reminds me of that movie, The Longest Yard. Chris Rock said, uh, you know, take uh, Prozac, whatever you white, bo white boys take and get depressed. <laughs> First thing, I don't see what you're, you're depressed about. Hey, you're white. Smile. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, awesome. Wait a minute. I got a call from Masterhand. Uh, uh, that, that, that's racist, Ronnie. Uh, Wait, it is? Not only was it was it racist, but you did not stay on top of it. Oh yeah, oh man. This video's been flagged by <laughs> Anarchy Fossic. This video's been removed by Anarchy Fossic uh, Incorporated. This was removed by me because I freaking felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Sauce. Yep. I did too. Absolutely. Speaking of awesome, or hot sauce. Hot sauce right here, rising up, going back down. Yeah, there's plenty of hot sauce going on right now. And, this and now it's all gone. Yeah. And this nope. missile right here, this missile right here, I did not get until later on this year, I think, because I watched a uh, Let's Play of it, and for years, I only got 99% of the weapons in this game, and it drove me crazy. Oh, was that one regular missile I can't find? Finally, after about 10, 15 years, I... After watching a YouTube video, I found it right there, and I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. So that was the last secret? No, I, I don't think I'm gonna, well, the last secret I found out, but as far as this, uh, I don't think I'm gonna get all the weapons in this Let's Play by the time it's done. I just want to get as much as I can. No! And whatever I'm gonna get, well, I, I, I did a good job collecting, look, look all I got, man, I got a lot of inventory here. Oh, okay, yeah, absolutely. There's, there's been a few that I've seen that I was like, whoa, there was something there. Yeah. My highest, my highest percent is uh, 72, 72 percent. My first the highest percent was 38. 30? I didn't, uh, yeah. I didn't care. I, I didn't care. I wanted to beat the game. I didn't care about collecting. Well, when I first beat this game, it was kind of done on purpose, but I ended up beating the game at 69 percent. Yes, yeah, so it was done on purpose. You did it on purpose. You know it. You damn right I did. <laughs> <laughs> what ninety six? Oh wait, that makes. Never mind. Um. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I failed. Fail, Joe. Let's fail at fail. <laughs> I think there's a video on Fail Blog channel called Fail Fail. Wait, what? If someone fails at failing. How do you do and that doesn't work. <laughs> well you know if you meant to fail if you accidentally succeeded, that's failing and failing. Oh good point. Why don't I remember any of this? Everything from this video I don't remember at all. I remember this part. You got am amnesia. Now you know what I remember? I remember you dying playing Super Mario World and then you like almost like killing my ears. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah, uh, like when you died on that ghost ship. Oh, uh, when I died at uh, Larry Larry Koopa, when I almost... That was funny too. Oh man, I lost it. That was four. Uh, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. This right here, this, this hard down is a yeah. gap. This was right here, but... Uh, and these, these uh, Chozos or whatever they are, actually know a little bit of karate here. Uh, the Space Pirates, they're you know, the douchebags of the Metroid series. The ninjas on planet these. I have respect for those guys, and it means that we're about to fight Ridley. I mean, you know, 
you get the the strongest guys soon before you fight Ruben. Yeah, that's great stuff. That room had TV monitors, I mean, but they were off. The other brain watching this or what? Were they uh, plasma? Maybe they, they might uh, be LCD. Who knows? Uh, plasma. Plasma uh, TV. Plasma beam to turn on the TV. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. That'll make perfect sense. Ah, uh, yes, what I've been waiting for all this time. Here we go. Oh, who's that? Wait. <laughs> who's that? It's Pikachu. Oh, wait. <laughs> now, this boss battle was freaking hard to me when I was a kid because I thought you used the super missiles as the best weapon to use, but no, it's the plasma beam, really. The super, I mean, I, like, use a thousand of my missiles and he's still alive. I'm like, oh, what? I go, well, wait a minute, and I somehow figured out use the plasma beam, use the freeze power, and it's easier. All I know is that in Metro Fusion, I think you get the plasma beam after you beat Ridley, so I spam the hell out of missiles. Oh, oh. We fight Ridley, watch out for this fireballs, and don't use the plasma beam. Yeah, yeah use all your missiles. <laughs> yeah. The rockets. <laughs> Try not to miss too. Yeah. Ah, uh, let me go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what he did to me in Fusion, except he holds on to you way longer and you watch your life just deplete until you like shove missiles into his chin. Uh -huh. Love this boss down music. Hey, you know what would be really funny that I just thought of? No. <laughs> no, it's hilarious. If you were fighting Ridley and then you kicked his ass and his head exploded and it was like Dr. Wily in the spaceship. <laughs> That's not hilarious. Sure it is. Damn it, Rick. You blame my... <laughs> Why, you... I want to be the guy who inspires me sometimes. Oh, shit, he's dead. Alright, oh, here we go. Fast. He falls into pieces. Let's fall to pieces. Uh, he falls to pieces right there, but he comes back in Metro Prime. Okay. Uh. Well, yeah, but he's he's Ridley, so. Yeah, but he's not the Terminator. How do he pull himself together again? Um. Well, that uh, Metro Prime is the second time he got put back together. Oh yeah. Um, I, uh, I made a metro he was good in pieces too. Oh well. I just seemed like when I see him got destroyed right there, I'm like, yeah, he's dead. I mean, you know, whoa, wait, what happened? And Dr. Lane, you know, Dr. Wally always escapes and then uh you know, so I, I see him get destroyed and I'm like, well, I guess mother brain put him back together, I don't know. Uh it was his um his oh. space pirate cronies. Yeah. It was all the king's pieces and all the king's men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of phase on, they just threw what's left in there. I got the last e-barrel. I got all the e-barrels now. Yay! Good job. Skip will be very proud. He sees this. Skip oh. won't be proud of that. Because <laughs> right. yeah. he always says, watch out for the spikes. Yeah. Very good to get the last e-barrel. But you did watch out for the spikes. Minus 20,000 <laughs> points. Like, damn! He's a strict teacher. Heck of these things, uh, eating bulldogs from Castlevania 64. Yeah, they're like evil lobster. Yeah, evil red lobster. Yeah, there we go. Watch out for the red lobster. First part red lobster, then Olive Garden. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Olive Garden or <laughs> next on my list. How a few people got that? We talked about stupid. Yeah. You guys are stupid. You guys are virgins. Yeah. You guys don't know the name of this enemy you just killed. And you don't know the names of the Bulldogs. Those aren't Bulldogs. Those are called Leecherons. And that was a random name I just made up. <laughs> Leecherons. Leecherons. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> yeah Leecheron mowers. Oh, whoa, way out of time. Uh, okay. Um, see you on part 19. Or, uh, peace. I stay on my way to Tyrion by then, so see y'all later. All right, peace. Welcome back, or welcome to part 19, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. This is Ron Moore, along with Guitar Hero 21.
Yeah, pretty much. I am the guitar hero. We apologize for our, our, our call quality settings. I don't know Skype or our connections messed up, been messed up lately. So if you don't like it, unsubscribe. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah, no, don't unsubscribe. Please don't. Please, uh, yeah, everybody says please subscribe. Oh, uh, like all the band, all the partners and their banners says please subscribe. Click here and all the annotations. Please subscribe. Please rate. Please favorite. Well, just oh, what the hell is this thing? Just keep that in mind. Has a his banner said, "Please unsubscribe." <laughs> <laughs> wow, that'll be actually really funny. Yeah. But he he can afford to lose subscribers though. We can't. Yeah, pretty much, especially me, since <laughs> I've been updating so long. <laughs> With uh, Gunstar Hero and his new Bath series. Oh yeah, bootleg as hell. That could be sweet. Bath series. Yeah, blame Christmas Carol. I don't get anyone with the episode Bob Humbug. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Mine sucked, but um, here we go with uh, Metroid Part 19 where I'm going to Turian now. So we can beat like Mother Brain 7.0. Yeah. Because there's eight of her. <laughs> Ah, good times. Oh, I finally get to see this. Now your voice quality sounds good again. That is amazing. It is the power of Christmas, even though that's next month. What did you do just now to make it better? Um, <laughs> pray. <laughs> okay. Or please fix my audio <laughs> body. All right. How do I feel? How do I sound now? How do I feel? How do I sound? Now? <laughs> you feel really good right now. <laughs> but I sound terrible. Uh, you sound alright. i will give it the 75 out of, ten, like, 100. Okay, Star Soldier. Um, <laughs> yeah, in part, part 18, uh, the second half of the video, I just sounded terrible for some reason. The audio quality, I don't know what the deal was. Mm-hmm, it, it was... I don't even know, it's just like... It, it was Bear, we can blame Bear. Yeah, it's Bear's fault. It, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. So, how much farther do we have to run? Uh, I'm almost out of North Fair. And then I'll be at Turian here in probably about two or three minutes. Oh, okay, that's awesome. So, I have plenty of, plenty of you know, time. Plenty, yeah, plenty of filler commentary as I get a message from Skype saying, High sound coming from the speakers. Oh, wow. Damn you, Skype. <laughs> And as I quickly stop my screen from fading out and possibly dropping the call, we're going to continue. And no one will have heard that. Oh, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, good times. Hopefully we get this commentary done, because Green has to go to bed early for Black Friday. Oh, God, it's going to be like hell. I don't even want to remember that. I have to go I, got, I have to go to Target of all places. Atari? Yeah, that too. <laughs> and then the sad part is, well, I'm going to be helping shopping. There's a GameStop next to that Target, and I can't go. Oh, man. That is not Lulzy. That really isn't. But, yeah, if I live, which most likely I will, I will tell you exactly what happened, how terrible it was. Okay. Maybe we'll hear about that in part 20. No. Oh. <laughs> let's let's play let's play Brack Brack. Let's play Black Friday. <laughs> Part one through two. <laughs> Black and blue Friday more likely. Mm-hmm. Alright, why now I'm gonna be doing like I'm gonna be using like a speed booster running old ladies over for like pillows and shit. Shoot. That we don't even need. Yeah, shooting people for PS3s. Uh yeah, cause, cause that's clearly gonna happen at Target of all places. <laughs> Uh, everybody's there's gonna be a big riot at GameStop though because of the uh, release of uh, the re-release of Action 52. Oh, and they, nobody would leave that store alive. <laughs> right. <laughs> everybody would have died for Action 52. Mm-hmm. Especially Skip Rogers. Oh god, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. Yay! <laughs> Hooray for blowing up planets. <laughs> blowing up planets? Not a planet hasn't blown up yet. 
Uh, spoilers. <laughs> what will be really funny is if this game was like Darius Gaiden, where one of the endings you accidentally blow up the planet, <laughs> and then you kind of just leave like, well, now what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, let me see if I got this missile down here. Yes, I did. Didn't you get that like in like part three or two? Yeah, yeah I think I did. Ah, what? <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> And you are, the audio sounded more uh, louder and clearer now. Yeah, that's good. Prank does work, viewers. Here's that music again. Laws! Laws! Dun, 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 dun. Laws! Ah, I thought he shot you. <laughs> Stupid Muppet Baby wannabes jumping off the ceilings and shit. Yeah. Space pirates, ninjas, whatever they are. Mm -hmm. You should go reload before you go to the Turian. <laughs> to what? Yeah, you should go reload. Before yeah, I... you need those three power bombs. I said I need to reload before I go to Burian. Yeah, no, before we go attack Bear for fucking up our quality. <laughs> now I'm going to save before I go to Turian. I don't know why I'm doing this. Why can't I just go to Turian? Wasting time here. Yeah, better safe than sorry. It's just like, next thing we know, like the, it's like your emulator just like, explodes. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I am fully equipped and ready to go. Yep. So that means, uh, I think this is all the inventory I'm going to get in the game. I think there's more inventory to get in Turian. So I needed, uh, I think three or four more regular missiles, two more super missiles. And as far as reserve chains, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like checking it. But I know I got all the e-barrels, and I know Skip would be proud of that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we're good. I think we're good to go. I think 210 missiles is more than enough. Yeah. I'm sure I got probably 90... Somewhere the 90 percent percentile of, of uh, collecting all items. Yeah, that sounds about right. You know, I mean, you're missing, like, petty change. Yeah. I'll get flamed out of fanboys. You need to get all the weapons. We're like so. All right, here's, got the the of them. here's a statue of each boss in the game, and as each jewel explodes, indicate that I defeated that boss, and then the statue will crumble, and I can move forward to Turian. <laughs> the new and improved one with Vista. <laughs> I'm with Windows 7. Which I still have yet to try. I think I might download that next. And then just have like a video called Let's Bash Windows 7. <laughs> well, that's if I don't like it. I don't know. I, I'm hearing mixed stuff. Huh. Yeah, um, this right here, uh, I seen, before Super Metroid came out, I saw a picture of it in, in Nintendo Power Magazine. And I saw this picture right here before the statue was crumbling. I thought that was Ridley right there. I thought you had to fight Ridley in this room. Then when I played this game, I found out, oh, it's a statue of him and the other bosses surrounding them. Yeah, what well, would have well, well, been interesting, but I don't think Nintendo would be cruel enough to do was, like, if you saw that room, and then it turns out it's all four of them. I had to fight all four at once. Oh, man, that would not be ECW. <laughs> that would fucking hurt. This was ECW, we're now in Turian. Oh, save point. Very nice. Very nice. Yep. I remember seeing a pic another picture in, in Nintendo Power Magazine of a gameplay counselor playing and talking at her desk and she was playing uh, Super Metroid and she was right here at Turian. I was like, man, that's my dream job. That would be awesome. Yeah, that was my dream job for a long time. Dr dream, drag dream job for a long time, but then that department don't exist no more because you don't really need the call 900 number anymore to get gameplay help these days. We got the internet. Mm-hmm, and that new feature that Nintendo came up with. Um, I think you might have heard of it, but supposedly what Nintendo's doing is, um, well, with New Super Mario Bros. Wii, um, Metro, get off, you're distracting me. Take three mega bombs, power bombs, get rid of that thing off you. Ah, uh, okay. But, um, yeah, they're making it so that in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, if you die, on the stage 
eight times or more, um, the game will offer to beat the stage for you, computer controlled. <laughs> wow. Uh, I think it's kind of dumb. It takes away the challenge. Yeah. But then again, it also adds to the sales because, you know, some people are kind of noobish. Uh, today's gamers are so weak, weak and soft. Back then, we didn't have that kind of assistance. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that's, that's the end of Part 19, and we will. I, I assume beat the game by Part 20, and maybe see all the ending in Part 21. Who knows? We'll find out. See you guys in Part 20. Y'all take care. All right, peace. And welcome to Part 20. Take two of our recording, because Pamela decides to suck. This is Ron Moore, along with J-Man 46241, and the pissed off, we got 1003. How am I pissed off? Because they didn't record. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, it was yeah, good commentary, but anyway. Oh, here's where you see the giant Metroid. Jesus. And oh, Jesus Christ. Right here, it is necessary to get sucked on by the Metroid. Yeah, that's when you get sucked off by the Metroid. <laughs> yeah, it's... He's, he's having his Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> you see his famous. Yeah. And for those of you listening or watching, this video was a few days after Thanksgiving. Yeah, we did this on Thanksgiving Day or, or right after that. I could do with Part 19. Yeah, even though I didn't give any thanks. But oh well. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Let's be thankful for Skype and Pamela's uh, uh, connection or recording. Yeah, that's something to be thankful for, huh? Yeah, I'd like to call that thanks taking. It's not Thanksgiving, it's thanks taking. Yeah, really. Thanks, Skype. Taking up our time, Pamela. Yeah, yeah, thanks. If this is Iron Tank, it'd be thank you. Get it? Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> thanks. Uh, yeah, it's, like a wee play. It's actually an old joke I read in a joke book. Come out. What did the gas tank say to the person that refilled the tank or something about tank you nice and you said that in my Wii play play when I was playing tanks thank you for playing these awesome games oh yeah that's right I got it from my iron tank video that's why yeah but still you're welcome yeah but you know what let's get to mother brain here okay where's father brain exactly. as I am trying to stay awake from uh, the drowsiness that the turkey's causing me here yeah, same here. I like it. Oh, oh, oh before I... Imagine Jeff. Jeff's probably asleep right now after having turkey. <laughs> Plus he falls asleep in yeah. And the quality, the quality of, of this recording sucks, I apologize. And now someone's calling me during the commentary. God damn it. This video will be retrograde. Maybe we'll have Get it. Sauce. Grease sauce. Turkey sauce. Hey, thank you. Turkey sauce. See, there we go. Finally. Turkey, turkey sauce. sauce. Gravy sauce. Whatever. Turkey sauce. Nothing. Turkey sauce. Or turkey gravy. Yeah. Or dick pudding. That's just, oh. no, Revenant, Revenant, set up, or whatever, I put it in there anyway. Get with it. <laughs> Kill their mother brain! Just call me easy. Pwned. 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 I wish every time we file a missile against the mother brain, it says Pwned! Because that'd be funny. Explode. Alright, well that mother brain, uh, that mother brain battle was easy. Oh yeah, very easy. And? Yeah. There you go. That's the end of Super Metroid. Uh, my next project is going to be, um... Whoa! Wait a minute. Oh, shit! Oh, wait a oh, minute, folks! Shit. It's the Thanksgiving turkey mother brain. Oh, God! Look out, King! Mother brain's still alive! Ah! Whoa! Look out, JR! Mother brain's still alive! What? Puppies! Oh, my God! What's happening right now? Puppies! My God! You can't do that to Mr. McMahon! Ah! Stone Cold! Stop! No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Stone Cold crazy! Mother Brain! Mother Brain! Mother Brain! Mother Brain the CEO! <laughs> Mother Brain the CEO. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's all she'll say. <laughs> it means you're fired. Now Mother Brain is, I guess, 
I guess she's happy that she knows it because she's clapping her hands here. <laughs> Someone actually got sued for downloading that song. What? For copyright. For that. Yeah, from uh -oh. uh, from because. What's this? Oh no! It's a fire in the laser. Oh, she breaks. No! Oh my god! We're getting pwned, Mom! We're pwned by the ultimate laser! Oh my god! Oh, it again. No! No! Again. No! 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 I got high oh. volume up my speakers. That's probably what happened to take one. <laughs> oh god. Scott keeps keeps telling me I got high volume. I, I can't watch it far. Ah, the night dried! Wait a minute, King! Ah! What? What's this? Ah! The night dried in the ring! Where's the fuck? Where did it go? Where did the night dried come from, King? Well, I don't know, JR! What's this for, JR? That had nothing to do with it, you idiot! Or did you? Go, night dried, go! Yeah, take that, my brain! Damn. Well, she's brain dead. <laughs> nice. Get it, brain dead? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's here with us. Yay. <laughs> the Metroid's <laughs> The Metroid is saving the law. She's still oh, she She's still up. Ah! She's full of survivor. Now, I don't mean the band. Oh my god, we have to dedicate the Metroid to saving our lives. No! Metroid, no! No! Not for the Mother Brain. For the Mother Brain! What? Uh. Oh! He was like a son to me. Uh oh. Oh, uh, she's bad now. Oh, she's on a period now. Super Saiyan Zombies. I mean, yes, yeah, Super Saiyan Zombies. We had, back. we had ECW mode, and then we had hot sauce mode, now we have PMS mode. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's PMMSS mode. <laughs> there, was, there, uh, there was a female group in wrestling called PMS. Nice, I wonder what that man means. Pretty mean. They was only on at the end of the month. Pretty mean sister. This is super. Oh, oh, since the PMS mode, this is super PMS droid. <laughs> nice. I'll put that yeah. title in the thing. What? Oh man, what are they talking about on this commentary now? They're talking about, you know, stuff. <laughs> you know, stuff. Come on, come on, lol. We're talking about lols and lols, and don't forget the lols. Uh, I'll get out of here. German tech. 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 Save animals! Yes, he must save the woodland creatures. What were they doing? My god! What were they doing, Gadgets? I don't know. <laughs> I'll get you next time, Gadgets. I don't know. I'll get you next time, Gadgets. Next time. <laughs> 
Damn, 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 I don't know what we're- Oh, yes, I do, uh, no, I don't know, actually. What the fuck am I doing? What the Fludge Packers am I doing? What? Oh, Fludge? What? Fludge? Yeah, Fludge Pack, not Fudge, <laughs> Fludge. Okay, I, I like the uh, escape music better from the original Metroid. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, you know. epic. Yeah. yeah. Of course, we've like, this one uh, all through this game as well. Here's more yeah. e Here's more ECW-esque. ECW-esque. Uh, tip, yeah. And Super Metroid wins the ECW award. I think. I think so, because this is the one Ron can actually beat. He went down the first way. Oh, 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 I, oh, I did oh, beat I did be regular Metroid. Shut up. <laughs> Look, we did in the thing we did. I don't care, did I? I don't care. I do what I want. Whatever, I do what I want. Save the creatures. Okay, overdrop ostrich and the gremlins. Go ahead and leave now. No. Thank you. Yeah, get out of here. I should have stayed out here. You're being an idiot. Uh, the time's going down. Why don't you just give a speech while you're at it? Yeah, I just want to say this is a great game. Ah, ah drowns in lava. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so as you can see, we we'll run out of time, and in part 21, we will do what we did with Metroid. We'll look at the ending, and then we'll discuss Super Metroid. So yes, it's that awesome. Yep. So yep. so we'll see you guys in part 20. Uno. Take care. See ya! It's Venta E. Una, dummy. But anyway, yeah. Bye. And welcome to the ending of Super Metroid, where we will discuss Super Metroid. This is Ron Moore along with Jeff, Trippy Sega America. Hello. And the planet blows up. Yay! Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I guess Samus died. Oh wait, wait a minute! Oh no! How did she survive? <laughs> I saw a shooting star to the right over there. Those are their alien animals I rescued before I left. <laughs> they had their own escape pod, I guess. I don't know. Wow, two hours and thirty-seven minutes. Not bad. I guess it's not bad for to get all all the items or almost, almost all the items. We'll find out oh. what my percentage percentage is of items I collected at the end of the credits. You know, there's something about the end of old games that just, I enjoy, you know. Like, they haven't done, I don't know, it just seems different than the end of games today. Yeah. Well, there's not much to this ending, but, I like I said, uh, uh, I said before, um, I forgot where I said that. I don't know if I made a video before or what, but it was like, uh, you were glad. I think it's more of my last Mario All-Star video. When I beat Mario World, I said, the ending isn't much, but at the time, you didn't really care because you were happy to see some sort of ending when you beat a game. Uh, oh, yeah. I remember uh, Thunder Force 4 for the uh, Genesis. There is an awesome little anime-style ending at the end. It's really good. They didn't put a lot of art into the ending. And, but games that have no ending, like Captain Skyhawk, that says, that this game <laughs> over, is ridiculous. I mean, that is ridiculous. <laughs> You know, Zelda for the NES didn't have much of an ending, but no. uh, it was at least with some sort of ending. Game sadly, over, game sadly I'm... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Game over is not an ending. <laughs> you have beaten the game. Get off the couch and go do something. Yeah. Uh, but I, I will bow down to the Super Nintendo Superior sound card. Damn you, Sony. <laughs> yeah, that's, well, that's definitely one advantage. Yeah, oh, yeah. The SNES had over the Genesis. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, though, if you could afford to have a Sega CD, mm, the Sony chip in the Sega CD was so much better. Ah. And Jeff's mom has joined the commentary. <laughs> I'm a little busy. Can you come back? Sure. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. George, <laughs> George Sinfield. Sinfield. <laughs> me, Sinfield? <laughs> Seinfeld. George Seinfeld and Gary Costanza. <laughs> Funny. Ooh, Gunpei Yakoi! Yay! Wait, what? what's he doing here? He makes Game Boy games. Well, he used to. Your manager. He also worked on regular Metroid. 
and I didn't get the best ending, I don't think, because you got to get the game in a, under an hour, I think, and... Uh, oh. That's 94, Nintendo. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I did oh, get the best... Oh. I did get the best ending, oh, okay. Wait, she's floating in space. Is this a Twilight Zone? I'm scared. Oh, no. Ah, she killed us. We suck. Uh, right, let's see what my percentage is for collecting items. Ooh. Oh, cool. Don't, don't, don't. What, what was that in German at the bottom? What the heck? Yeah, German ROM or something. That one. Cool, uh, John. See you next mission. All right, ninety-three percent. Not bad. No, not bad at all. Definitely. I don't know. When I was a kid. I never got ninety-three <laughs> percent. But also, it was my mom's Super Nintendo. But this is pretty much the only game I had for it. All right. Well, anyway, that's the end of Super Metroid. Um, everything is pretty much. Pretty much everything is awesome about the game. Um, the music, the soundtrack is called Mood Music, and it's pretty good. Now, when I was a kid, I thought it was opera music. Like, it goes, ah, ah, and someone at Nintendo told me, that's not a woman going, ah, it's a mood, it's mood music. It's a sound, of, a sound effect or part of the music. It sounds like opera to me, but anyway, the music is epic in this game, and... Regular Metroid is freaking hard. Super Metroid is hard at first, but when you beat it, and you pretty much memorize um, everything, and I mean, it becomes much easier in the long run. And there's so much exploring to do, so many items to collect, and the graphics for this game are pretty cool. Um, and the game has a lot of cool power-ups. And, and the Mother Brain Battle is much more epic than the Mother Brain Battle in the original Metroid. So this game is just pure ECW, and... I give this game a 9.5 out of 10. Jeff? I, I, I give it a 7.5 because it's a really good game, but I played a lot of good Genesis games. Out of Super Nintendo games, it gets a 9.0. But that's out of Super Nintendo. And now if you're considering all the other games out there. So out of Super Nintendo games, it gets a 9.0 for me. Definitely. Okay, there you go. Well, for Jeff, I'm Ron Moore, and... Good night, folks. If you want to be spoiled on what the next Let's Play is for, or my Let's Play is for the S2K channel, send me a private message. <laughs> and, um, all right, that's it. God bless. Nope. Take care. Bye-bye.